Why, hello. How are you guys doing? The AI voice is activated. How dare you? You could be any other way. Do you have a night shift tonight? Nice, dude. What time is it? 1.10 a.m. Yeah, Pal World is out, man. How you guys liking it? Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I actually started building the thing on the server for that. And then I didn't finish it. <laughs> so I'm probably going to do that right now. I'm making this section now. First stream here too. What's up, dude? How's it going? Oh, I should probably put on the TTS pins so you guys know what the hell's going on. All the new people won't know. Oh, God. Is it broken again? It's not broken. Very good. I love that the pin message option on YouTube is right next to the report button. That seems really good. Love it, YouTube. Yeah, Nasbim, uh, the community made me do that. It used to be 100 bits. And then it became impossible to get everybody's messages. So now what we did was we changed it to 500. And then after that, if I don't get to your message, I don't keep the money. It actually calculates it, turns it into a debt, and then I give that to charity. And it's all like shown on Discord and everything. We actually gave $7,500 to a ferret-related charity this last month. Which is pretty cool. Oh no, 500 bits is not $500. <laughs> that's that's a lot. <laughs> that would be weird, dude. <laughs> Have me meme on you for $500. <laughs> I don't think that's how that goes. Get borgered? I might. I might just. Yeah, dude. OBS actually, so you know how OBS had that thing pop up and it was like, hey, I've crashed and I just didn't touch it? When I hit the raid button, it actually crashed for real. Like it finally finished its crash like six hours later and it just closed, OBS just closed. It just instantly closed. Nothing happened. There was no pop up, nothing, just gone. And I was like, all right. And then my stream didn't raid, so I had to go through and manually raid and everything went to shit. This new version of OB OBS is kind of unstable, to be honest with you. I'm on 30.0.2, and I cannot recommend it. Have you seen Power World blowing up? Yeah, dude. 
My world is everywhere. And I'm glad, because I think it's hilarious. In fact, I'm pretty sure that I released a Power World... Yeah, I released a Power World short this morning. And it already has a million views. <laughs> pretty sure the game's doing well. Yeah, that one's exploding, dude. I've never seen anything like that. That's faster than like any short I've ever released, ever. You watch that short 600,000 times? Good. Good. Yeah, no, this is... This is actually wild. I'm glad that people have changed over from calling it Pokemon with guns to Pokemon with war crimes. Which is pretty funny to me. <laughs> oh. It's actually hilarious. Alright, the queue is growing. We're already at 23. Where are my glasses? Barely see, dude. Yeah, the, gen the general internet pulse has been like, now I gotta buy it. Because <laughs> everyone was like, oh, it's just Pokemon with guns. And now they're sitting there like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I can, I can capture and eat a man? I have to buy this game now. Like, everyone is buying it now. The immoral twist seems appealing. Society is an interesting place, Jen. It's gotten weird. Just a little bit. Pikachu with a gun. No, 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 no. Eating a man. Yes. Okay. You know, I mean, we did like Knuckle Sandwich, and that was also about eating a man, so... Maybe I should have seen this coming. Speaking of Knuckle Sandwich, the video for that's going to come out tomorrow. Ooh. Yeah, it's eating a man. It's called a knuckle sandwich. It's not about getting punched. It's about eating a man. And the implications. He becomes a knuckle sandwich, dude. It's a great game. It's a really good game. In fact, that I think it deserves a lot more than it's gotten, frankly. Hmm. <clears throat> I was browsing your shorts and found an interview you did in 2017. I thought the voice change was a meme. No, it's not a meme, dude. My voice drops super hard. And uh, if you watch all the videos of me from like then until now, you can actually hear it dropping slowly over time. It took like three years. That's not even a joke. It's really funny. You got the Cappy shirt today? No, I'm wearing my iHeart Games shirt right now, man. Full voice drop compilation win? Maybe I could tell Steets to do it. Steets has all the footage. It's just really funny to me.
All right. What kind of channels do you guys think I should add for the Power World one, man? Before we get started for the day. What channels do you want? Yes is unfortunately not an answer for this one. Am I dressed yet? Wait, I have to wear things to stream? My clothing has actually just been an elaborate body paint the entire time. You're just now finding out. But, you know, you should have paid more attention. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's true. You guys sent me stuff in the mail, by the way. Did you know that? You sent me stuff in the mail. And I have it. And I don't know what it is. Do I work out? I work out problems on the internet. That counts. I think that counts. I don't know what these items are. They were checked for gnomes. And that's it. They were only checked for gnomes. I know nothing of their contents. There are four of them. There are four things. I'm gonna open the first one. I can't... I can't even show the box on stream. Because USPS, in their infinite wisdom, have covered every side of the box with a sticker of my address. Which is fantastic. I guess it's it's not really even a sticker of my address because they went to the P.O. box. Also, I have to tell you guys right now, stop sending things to the P.O. box labeled to Thor Goblin Lord. Every time you do this, I have to go to USPS and they hold the package. And they say, are you Thor Goblin Lord? And I go, sure. And they go, can you show me ID? And I go... You know my idea is going to say Goblin Lord, and then I have to explain myself, and it's just like a freaking mess. This one is for Thor Goblin Lord. That was one of the four I had to explain myself for, and it looks like inside of it... This is amazing, actually. That's right, chat. We've all been burgered now. It's a Snuggle Me Snackers. It's just, it's got like, it's got like beans in it, dude. It's a burger. It's a happy... He's got a little happy face. He's a happy little bird. Who sent this to me? One moment. I have to see that package. See if it has a name on it. That isn't Thor Goblin Lord. One moment. It does not. There's no name on this. It just says... Ship Thor Goblin Lord to Thor Goblin Lord. You actually had them listed twice. It's listed twice. It's fantastic. I don't know where I'm going to put him. He's going to go over here. He gets to live on the corner of the desk for now. Where are you going to... Here. Wait. There. He's going to live over here for now. A little burger boy. Alright. Alright, next one. What is this? What's this one addressed to? Oh, this one's actually addressed to my name. Astounding. It's actually... Wait, is that a really high-res burger? What is that? That is the highest-res burger emote I have ever seen. Chain brain? Chain burger, dude? Look at that thing. Holy shit. It's beautiful. How do you get that much detail in those few pixels? Wait a minute. I have to look at this. I've been completely derailed by this burger. One moment. So one of the things you may not realize about emotes on Twitch is if you take the URL for that emote, and you go up here and you change it to 3.0, it makes the real version of it. Look at that thing. This is the one that you get in chat, by the way. That one. And yet it still looks amazing. That's incredible, actually. That's inc that's really good. All right, what is this? It's brown. What are these? There's four. What is this? What is this? The hell? Oh.
Which one of you did this? It's it's a set of four ferret socks, dude. They're they're ferrets. <laughs> <laughs> There's four of them. Who did this? He's got little teeth. Did you make these? These are insane. Look at that. He's got little teeth. Who did this? These are the cutest goddamn things in the... I can't even wear these. <laughs> I feel like wearing these would just like... There's four of these. These are insane. Which one of you did this? Did you... I need to know if these were made by one of you. Because they're incredible. There's four of them. Look at this. They got little teeth, man. Oh my. That is ridiculous. <laughs> That's very funny. They all have these little, like, little pink flower nose. And then this one doesn't have a nose. <laughs> He's noseless. One of them is missing a nose. I don't know who sent this, but these are awesome. These are fantastic. Can you make yourself big so we can see? I mean, yeah. All right. Ooh, look, I'm enormous now. There, this is what she wanted. Look at this. Here, wait, wait. I'm going to put them on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Putting it on my hand. It's a sock. But it's also a ferret. And it's got, like, teeths. Look at it, dude. <laughs> These are amazing, man. No, I'm not going to stop. There's nothing you can do about it. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You can't do a damn thing. This is awesome as hell. Thank you. I don't know who you are. Who did this? But this is red. What, wear them to the streamer awards? I will. What are they going to do? Stop me? I'll be like, look at these. And people will be like, what What are you doing? Leave. How did you get in here? We already had security remove you once. That's how that'll go. That'll be the conversation. It's true. Face cam isn't the same size as it was before. Here, let me fix that. Is that better? Hope that fixes the problem for you. On to the next one. On to the next one. This one was addressed to Thor, King of Goblins. You have to stop doing this. The USPS is going to stop allowing me to use this P.O. box if you keep it up. I mean it. I mean it. They're so mad at me. You have no idea how angry they are. Their rage is enormous. What is this? It's a shirt. Wait a minute. Look at this shirt. Make it at large. One moment. Whoa. Get. <laughs> That's so damn funny, dude. That's amazing. That's so good. That's so good. Thank you. It has your face on it? Dude, I hope so. Does it? It better. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have my face. Thank you. What do you mean on the person? What do you mean on the person? It doesn't have my face on it. No, that's not my face. No, my face isn't on there. Don't lie to me. You're the swimmer. Chad's the swimmer. How dare you. This is fantastic. Is it my birthday? No. People just sent me stuff in the P.O. box. It's really nice. It isn't my face. No, it's not. I'm looking right at it. It's not my face. It's the original Jaws lady swimming, dude. Your face is on the inside? I don't think that's true either. That seems fake. That seems fake. There's one left. Wait a minute. This one actually says who sent it. It's from Sonko. Sonko, are you here? Sonko, are you here?
You here. I don't know if Sanko's here. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait if Sanko's not here. I don't know if he's here. I'm gonna wait. We need a channel for crafts to share socks and plushies. Done. I will put it under hobbies. Whoop. Actually, that feels like it would go under art. You know what I mean? Crafts feels like it would go under art, Sam Page. Wouldn't it? You agree with that? How old am I? 36. Yeah, I'm putting it under art. Boop. Alright, it's in art now. Done. It's called crafts. Did you manage to have DLSS on? Uh, when you played Power World? I didn't even check, to be honest with you. Also, I've discovered something today. Something actually glorious that most people would be upset about, but I am I am overjoyed with. Overjoyed with. For the longest time, let me actually let me go get my Amos Paint out. Ah, good. Flash banging myself. Fantastic. For the longest time, this was the case. One moment. For the longest time. I had a single white hair out of this spot in my head. Just a single one. And it was like, it was like the one called a wizardry that I had. The one white hair. Hopefully, I thought it would spread. I was like, man, I just want all my hair to be bright white. And it was, it's, it's like brilliant, blindingly white, that singular hair. Now it's a shitload of them. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them right now, and I don't know where they came from, and I don't remember this happening. I don't know, I don't know how long it took for them to be there, but I was like brushing my hair. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a bunch of them now. There's like twenty of them. It's not even stressed though. It's great. This is what I want. I want that. I want. I want the white hair. I want as much. No, it's not lack of sunlight, you goblins. I've had the same level of sunlight that I've had most of my life. It's just called getting old. I love Chad MD. You are the worst. All right. It's not. It has nothing to do with stress. I'm 36. I'm lucky to have hair. All right? That's There's people that go bald at 12, right? This is... That ain't me. Instead, I get to be a wizard. I'm, I'm happy about this news. This is good news. This is good news. All right? I get, to, I get to finally be a wizard. I have like 12 gray hairs. It's fantastic. There's a bunch of... I got a pack of them. All right? I'm going to let them... I'm going to let them do their thing. And hopefully they make friends. And then more of them, more of them end up being like this. It's from being sick so much. No, it's not, Chad MD. No, no, you're bad, and you should feel bad. How dare you? I'm gonna be happy about my wonderful gray hair, and there isn't shit you could do about it. I'm, I'm really happy about this. I've wanted this forever. You can't take it away from me. It's gr wonderful. It is a wonderful day. Yeah, my hair is pregnant. Hair cancer, fantastic. A little past you in this regard, same age. Look, all right, it's not a race, okay? We'll either go bald or we'll go gray. I'm trying to go gray. At least faster than I go bald, right? Yeah. I'm excited for this.
Am I going to the streamer awards? Well, I bought a plane ticket today and a hotel room and people are voting on me. So I feel like if I didn't show up, it'd kind of be stupid, right? Just a little bit. And this weekend I have to go get a suit. No, I bought a plane ticket. I can't buy a plane. I don't want to own a plane. That's horrifying. Yeah, I gotta get a suit. I have to get a suit. Look, you forced you forced my hand. I have to own a third pair of pants. And it has to be fancy. I have to own fancy pants. I have two pairs of jeans, both of which are like six to ten years old. And now I'm gonna own a pair of suit pants, which is the worst. It's deeply grim. I know. The third pair of pants. The, the coveted third pair of pants is happening. Train ticket? Hell no. It's two hours and 45 minutes to fly from here down to LAX, my dude. That is, taking that on a train, I'm, I'm going to have to go like two days in advance. That shit's so slow. Like, <laughs> you're not just renting them? Oh, so I can wear pants that someone else farted in? That seems bad. Yeah, I'm not into that. Nope. No. I don't want to rent that. That's just wearing someone else's farts. You know that. I don't want to do that. I don't want a fart rental. No. No, something about that bothers me. That's like... That's like... Buying secondhand underwear. Can't do that. I'm not doing that. They clean them? Nothing cleans that out. Nothing cleans out the knowledge of secondhand underwear, dude. Nothing does. It's grim to me. And to be real with you, I'm an adult. I'm probably not going to change shape or height for most of the rest of my life. So if I get myself a suit, I can just have it. And then I could put it in the closet and then wear it when I need it, which is never. Until moments like this, right? That being said, I'm also going to be making a tie out of red carpet because it's a red carpet attire. Yes. So that'll happen as well, and that'll be in the closet. It's going with it. Yeah. Yeah. That's how that's going to go. And it, n no one can stop me, because I already asked QT about it. She said it was cool. So. <laughs> you should have worn wizard robes? Dude, I asked her if I could. I was like, hey, can I make an entire like wizard outfit out of red carpet and she was like do it and then i was like wait a minute you were supposed to say no because the red carpet is heavy and sweaty <sighs> carpet is not a fun thing to wear <laughs> i made a mistake oh. you get shorter after 50 not if i don't stand up not getting up out of this chair she did call my bluff she 100 percent called it Fursuits are wearable carpets. Not the same. Not the same. They have things like... Like fans and shit in there. Dude. They got a portable AC system inside of that head. Alright, I'm just gonna be wearing carpet if I do this. And a wizard hat? That's just all the heat collects into a, a cone on the top of your head. Imagine sweating into carpet all day. Like the rough side of the carpet. Not the, not the fluffy side. The rough, crunchy side. You know? No. We got ads, by the way. Add PC fans. Get some Noctuas in there, dude. Be a steampunk wizard. On it. My fluffy side is crunchy, too. Take a shower, dude. That's gross. Should never have to describe yourself as crunchy. I'll see you there. That's got very, like... I'm gonna make a lamp out of you vibes there, Kingdom Con. Thanks, though, bud. <laughs> Uh, the nightmare is real. Do we have ads? Only some people do. What time is it for me? It's 1.40 a.m. We kind of spin up for the first ad break, and then we then we get to the queue. The queue's at 37 right now, so we've got a good... We've got a healthy queue, you know. Your voice is serenely amazing amidst a panic attack? Well, I hope you don't have a panic attack anymore. And I hope that you get to hang out, man. That's a rough thing. I can also dial up the voice all the way to 11 like this. And then I can just talk like this the whole time. What would you guys do if I went up on stage? If they if they give me an award, right? And I went up on stage and I tried to talk like Lemon Grab. 
<laughs> oh, just memed it the whole time. Be funny as shit, dude. People go wild, dude. I hope so. I just get like a really nasally voice. Thank you, everyone, for the award for software and game development. <laughs> Uh, I could do it. I could do it. Just push my, put a big wad of tape on my glasses. That's the way to do it, dude. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, I know a lot of you guys are voting for me. I actually don't know who's going to win. I know everyone's like, oh, it's going to be you. But like, dude, you don't know. I don't know. Worries the hell out of me. I have no idea. Let's actually go see. Did they finish the... I think they finished the nominations. Did they finish the nominations? They haven't finished the nominations. Ooh. Today's the last day. Today's the last day to vote. Go vote for people, you nerds. There's 28 categories, and no, you shouldn't put my name in all of them. Put it in, put in the creators that you think are cool. And if you don't know who to put in there, skip one, because I skipped a bunch. Yeah. No, not too late. I'll do it. Vote early, vote often. That's true. That's This is a democracy. Yeah. Yeah. Where can we vote? Right here. You gotta vote. Go vote. Go vote for whoever you want. Doesn't have to be me. Vote for the people you want, dude. Do you have to wear a suit to vote? Unfortunately, no. Yeah. Yeah, no suit required for voting. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? Deeply shocking. Hmm, I have an idea on how to fix this. One moment. There's a new kind of bot that is showing up in chat. One moment. Wait. That's weird. That's really weird, actually. Hmm. Nightbot? Are you broken? Ah, there we go. All right, let's see. Let's fix all this stuff. I have fixed it. I have fixed it. Can you serenade us with a song of your people? Yeah, actually I can. Um, I know this is going to be really impressive, but... <clears throat> That's it. That's the song. It's very special to me. It's, um, it's an ancient ballad of my people. Thanks. Thought you should know. Glad to have shared that with you. Now go vote at the streamer awards, you nerds. <laughs> you seem a little bigger today. Thank you. Here, let me fix that. Is that better? Do we have the queue working? Let's see. I need to make sure that everything connected correctly. It looks like it did. Um, all my shit exploded the other day because OBS decided to bite the big one and instantly delete everything in itself horrifically horrifically open the box why is Sonko here Sonko are you here Sonko I don't know if Sonko's here maybe not yeah OBS just crashed dude it keeps doing this thing, like, so something is going wrong with OBS, and I don't know if anybody else has experienced this, but what is happening is it pops up a thing saying that OBS has crashed. 
and it is usually related to some kind of audio related shit and I don't really know what's going on and then it has this thing saying yes or like no on it and I just don't hit either and then OBS keeps running if you hit either of these it instantly closes if you don't hit either of these it keeps working Apparently until I raided yesterday, and then when I raided it instantly closed, which was not the best. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on, but it, it started in, in 30.0.0, and we're on 30.0.2 now, and I've never seen this bug before that, and I've been using OBS for like seven years. Yeah, future OBS will allow parts of OBS to crash and keep going. Is that true, Alka, or are you memeing? Because that seems really weird. Yeah. This is, yeah, it's a stable release. You're actually you're actually being real about it? I don't think it's a memory leak. I read the commits every day. Yeah, it's super weird. So like something crashed and then it ran for like another six hours. And then it just crashed. Do you use any plugins? Yes. I use many plugins. Yeah, I use a lot of plugin stuff, dude. This this machine is ridiculous, frankly. I mean, like all the shit that makes all this possible is it, it's a lot of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Someone said Cardboard Cowboy advertised Hardbound. He, so Cardboard Cowboy does something really amazing. You know how we just show a picture of the worm during the ads? He has started a thing where he actually makes ads for his ad breaks. And he has an ad for me. <laughs> which is really funny. It tells people to sub to me. Which is the best. Also, it talks about stealing video games and has my logo. Can we see it? I don't have a copy. He didn't even tell me about it until I showed up at his stream and then he played it. I was like... I was like, that's amazing, actually. It's actually incredible, frankly. Yeah, no, it's really good. He plays his own ads, and they're just... Oh, do you have it? Oh my god, it's so good. Hold up, hold up. We're gonna watch this. This is the funniest shit on the planet to me. Look at this. Wait for this, wait for this. This is so goddamn funny, dude. He set this up. Let me grab this. Where's my audio? Audio browser, there we go. Look at this. <laughs> it's freaking pirate painting. Oh, it's so good. It's downloading free games, dude. It's downloading free games. Downloading demos for free, dude. He played this on his channel, just unprompted. God damn it. <laughs> oh, it's so good, dude. I'm going to clip the oh, here. Take this. Enjoy this. I know it's made out of an old TV commercial. It's so freaking funny, dude. All of his stuff is so good. It's so damn funny. So if, if you don't know, he started this new thing on, um, on his channel where basically there's like a role play and each of the characters can talk. And I just... I... I spent $10 on bits, which is not something I've ever done on Twitch, by the way. This is like the second time I've ever bought bits on Twitch in seven years. And I bought $10 of bits, and I sat there and I, I just made the wizard say stupid shit. For like two hours. Just randomly. I was just making him say stupid shit the whole time. And it was really funny to me. It was, it was really, really... And then eventually the wizard leveled up and he got really buff. And it was fantastic. Yeah, it was really good. It's really good. It was a fun time. The ad worked. That's true. That is true, actually. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. It's a good time. Carpet Cowboy stream is incredible. Dude does amazing shit. Could he cast Punch? No. He mostly talked about beans. It's so damn funny, dude. Thank you for helping the wizard become his best self. Anytime. If you didn't vote for Carpet Cowboy for the awards, what are you even doing with yourself? I did, actually. Yeah, I voted for Carpet Cowboy. Here. Yeah. Ah. There we go. Yeah, I voted him for League of Their Own. This streamer is a pioneer that creates one-of-a-kind content. You'll never see anything ever in the world that's like this. Uh, the creativity and out-of-the-box thinking, they're a trailblazer in the streaming industry. Someone who relies on themselves for their content ideas and is genuinely in a league of their own. Nobody has ever done what Cardboard Cowboy does. Ever. 
and it is unmatched anywhere else on the platform. It is completely wild to me. So I put him as League of Their Own, because, like, nobody does this shit. What he's doing is completely new. And it's always completely new. Every single time he does anything, it's completely new. It's freaking incredible. Like, really freaking incredible, honestly. Yeah. They had a poetry slam on topics of sausage and beans. Yeah, I was the one who was making the wizard talk about sausage and beans. <laughs> it's a good time. It's fantastic. It's a, it was an interesting stream. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I was writing many wizard poems yesterday. It's quite funny to me. There's a bugged pixel ferret in the fart stream. On the fart stream. No, on the ferret stream. That's not a that's not a bug. It was cute at first, but it's been over 12 hours and it's getting uncomfortable. If you're uncomfortable because a pixel art ferret on the stream is walking around generating hearts on other pixel art ferrets on the stream, you probably shouldn't watch that stream. That's that's weird that you are uncomfortable about this. But also it's clearly a person doing it with a bot, and I don't care. It's nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's fine with me. Uh, the way that they're doing it is they're actually sending the message to me in a DM, and then it goes through anyway, because you can DM it to somebody. So I think they just have an automated bot that's just doing it, and that's fine. Graveyard Keeper win? What? I beat Graveyard Keeper. We had a world record on it, remember? Yeah, playtime. One minute. We proved that Steam doesn't know how to, like, pluralize minutes. One minutes. Doesn't make any sense. But, yeah, we beat it, dude. I did the get to the, um, get to the main screen logo and uninstall speedrun. That's what it was. I, I don't want to mess up my run, so, you know, it's just gonna, it's gonna stay like that. Yeah. What was the reason? Who was it the troll? Was it Confidant? I think it was the troll Confidant. I think it was the troll Confidant. I think that was the point of it. I can't remember now. The meme is too deep in the community. Star play guest with 500 bits said Yashir 500 good morning Thor, good I morning. wanted to ask what you like about social sandbox MMOs. I know it's probably great to build a community but I'm mostly afraid of getting my rocked even though I was somewhat into multiplayer games before, like Rainbow or WoW. Another pro is that you could be the Duke of Dukington. Also hmm. have you bought tickets for the Geneva Convention yet? You could sell your demo there. What? <laughs> no I didn't buy tickets for the Geneva Con- who made you this way? Why are you like this? Why you like this? Will the Game Jam Twist be announced on today's stream? We're actually going to wait until the end of the Game Jam. So the twist itself is um, there's a secret prize. We're not going to talk about it until the jam is over because we don't want it to change the way that people think about the jam, which makes sense. So we're just not going to do it. Not going to do it. That being said, I do have a part of this to talk about that I talked about the other day, which I think is cool. And now that everybody is through, everyone's in. One moment. We have a number of judges that are lined up. One of them is Admiral Baru, your resident glorious panda. That is one of the judges. Uh, In-game Asylum. Good old in-game. Glorious badass that he is, is one of the judges. Kit Boga. Fantastic human being. Going to be judging your stuff. Ludwig. Yes, that Ludwig. He may bro for bro you. Yeah, it's true. It's true. So Ludwig's going to be judging. And then also, we have Co Carnage. So Co is going to be judging as well. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. 
And some of us, I don't, I don't know, there's no like obligation for anyone to play any of this stuff on the streams, but some of us are going to play them on streams. I don't know which ones everyone's going to play on there. It should be fun, you know? And it, it's something that I, I'm keeping kind of open-ended. We don't want to keep it super rigid. The only thing that's rigid is like we have a certain amount of time to vote on everybody's stuff. And um, that's what it is, right? They're going to play 7K games. It is unlikely you guys will submit 7,000 games. Usually we get like maybe 10% of the people who sign up submit and maybe half of those work, usually. So there will likely be between 700 to 1,000 games, potentially. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how many it is, right? There are like 8,000 of you guys who signed up. And I'm guessing about 700 to 1,000 games. Yeah, is the jam page out? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's been out. We've made a lot of announcements about this. It's been everywhere, my dude. Look. it's In fact, we're halfway through the jam. Yeah. It's been... I don't know where else I could have announced it. It's announced everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, we've got 16 entries so far, which they have seven days left. So you guys have a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, 7,900 people have joined in. Have you announced a secret prize? No, that won't be announced until the jam is over. And you guys will be able to see what it is on the day that we finish, which it'll either, we'll either do it on the day that the jam is done or we will do it when we announce the winner, it's probably going to be when we announce the winner. I think that's it's more fun that way, you know. Yeah, seven days is enough. Seven days is enough for the rest of the jam. Yeah, they're already seven days in. It's a it's a fourteen day jam, you know. Yeah, go make some video games. Do it. Are you going to hack the winner's surprise? No, 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 we're not. Link, yeah, dude, because we're already halfway through it. You know, YouTube shorts. On the pooper. Nice. Targeted, dude. Yeah, that's right. Your phone was targeted in that moment. It's probably dead. It's probably true. Thank you through YouTube Shorts. What's up? Yeah, so this is this is actually what we've been doing the last, like, week or so. The community's been, like, hard at work doing this stuff. Um, I'm going to announce this over the Game Jam announcement channel, which will be cool. In fact, there's a lot of you guys that are... If you're on the Discord and you haven't signed up for the Game Jam on the Discord to get announcements, you probably should, by the way. Inside of Channels and Roles, there's a section up here specifically for... Where is it? Compete in Game Jams? You want... Do this. Do that. You get access to the Jam section, which is part of Announcements, where we announce Game Jam stuff, which you should probably be on, you know? If you're doing the Game Jam, do it. When will the next Jam be? In six months. We do them every six months. Any plans to make a server for Bow World? Uh, yeah, there will be a plan to make a server for that. I've already made a section in the Discord for it, so you guys can get a role for it, and I'm slowly working that out. Trying to watch Twitch on my Nintendo Switch? F, dude. <laughs> January and July? Yeah, July's my birthday, so we it's a good it's a good month for it, especially before the holidays, you know. Yeah. We're going to find the Discord. Discord.gg slash pirate software. There's about 64,000 of us in there, which is terrifying. How to play submitted in game jam? What? How do you play games submitted in game jam? When we're finished, you this entry section should show you all of them already. And you should be able to, uh, like select that. Can we submit the game design doc as a website? It says specifically on the um, submission. Make sure to include it in downloadable files with your submission. Please do that. Yeah. If you put it in any weird location, it's going to make it harder for us to judge it, and we have a lot of them to go through. So, so your Power World short is any good? Yes. I enjoyed the hell out of the game. I don't normally play a game for like 20 hours straight over two days on like days where I normally do other stuff on stream, and I really enjoyed it. So, yeah. Yeah. You need game design document too, Sag? That'll take you an hour. At max. Like a WinZip file? No, like a... A file. Just a file. Text file, my dude. Design docs are being... Do you, do you guys just not read the submit? Did you, did you just be like... You just went on there and like, I submitted a video. You gotta read. You have to read. You have to read. I even give you an example one. You have to read. There's a game jam. <laughs> You ever read a game design document ever? Look. Look at it. We give you one. If it'll load. 
Did you crash it? Did you kill Google Docs? There it is. Look at it. Look, it's already here for you. Just copy-paste it, man. Just copy-paste it and put your own shit in it. Takes you maybe an hour. Goblins, every one of you. You have to read. I know, I know life is going to be difficult if you don't read, so you have to read. It's, it's mandatory. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah. I can't inject the news into your brain. Doesn't work that way. <sighs> yeah, you have to read. I know, I know, I know. Amazingly, you have to read. You have to. You're not illiterate. You're not illiterate. Because you're writing. Every one of you is full of shit. Every one of you is like, I can't read. Lies. Lies. You're typing in chat. Called out. I can write but not read. I don't think that's how that works. Speech to text. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Nah. I don't think so. I never lied. Ken Khan, you've been trying to lie to people and say that you're a moderator for like three years. How many times have you been timed out, timed out for that? Outrageous, dude. Alright. Alright. So for Social Sandbox MMOs, now that we get back to the question, for the Social Sandbox MMOs, the reason why I like them so much, and this is, this is going to be like deeply long after, uh, I didn't answer the question. The question... 14 minutes later, like a slug. There we go. I put that there. Um, <laughs> gave it a dead name in the answer TTS. So I like Social Sandbox MMOs because you, you write your own story. There is no story that is provided to you by the video game itself. Generally, that's how MMOs work. MMOs will hand you a story and they're like, you are the greatest hero in the land. No, nah, that's not how that works. That's not how that works at all in a social sandbox MMO. You want to be the greatest hero in the land? Other human beings are going to determine that you are. Other human beings are going to tell you, holy shit, you're amazing, or oh, holy shit, I hate you, or wow, I don't even know who you are, right? You, you make a name for yourself based on the deeds and actions that you perform, and you are fully judged by the rest of the player base, not by some weird system in a video game. And I find that to be incredibly compelling. Incredibly compelling. I've always loved that about Social Sandbox MMOs. It is why I, they're my favorite games ever. And um, yeah, just, that's it. That's what it is. What world is that? I want to join that one. We're going to be doing... That's Ashes of Creation is what we're going to be playing together. And I've got a whole guild set up for this. I've got everything set up so you guys can, you know, have a wild time in this. New World kind of like that? Mm, not so much. New World tried to be like that, but it just wasn't deep enough, frankly. Uh, these types of games are generally built on restriction of materials, right? You have to have enough materials for you to succeed, and you obtain those materials by basically running over other players. Like, it's always built on conflict. And unfortunately, New World doesn't really have a lot of restriction on materials. You can just go get a lot of shit. doesn't matter, frankly. You don't even need to own land. It's, it's like kind of irrelevant. At the end of the day, you can own it if you want a PvP, but there's no real reason for it at all. Like, it doesn't really matter in New World. And I know that because I played that game for over a thousand hours. Like, there's no scarcity. Yeah. There's no scarcity at all. You want you want a material again? Wait 15 minutes, it respawns. Like, it doesn't matter. So, like, that's that's a big thing with this, is we have to we have to manage that correctly. So I built out an entire guild for this, and the reason why I did that was because uh, I was the largest Triglavian Alliance leader in EVE Online. And I played EVE for about 15 years. I had an alliance of about 1,200 players. And out of an, an MMO that only has about 30,000 active players, that's a lot of people. Kronos, in chat there, was the uh, corporation leader of the oldest corporation in EVE ever. The very first one. And between the two of us, we have over 30 years of experience in EVE and social sandbox MMOs. And we're running the guild, so we're going to kick a lot of ass. He's actually the minister of truth, and I am the executor of the guild. So we're going to be... Doing a lot of cool shit. Yeah, 15 years in EVE Online, my condolences. Both Kronos and I have won EVE, by the way. We won EVE. We're done. We beat it. So, we've moved on. Ministry of Violence is going to be headed up by Excessive Profanity. So that's going to be awesome as shit. Because Excessive Profanity is all about the violence. Yeah. Do you start your guild? Yes. Yes. It is actual pirates, is what we're calling it. 
And we've got a lot of stuff there. I think the funniest thing is right now I'm actually in the process of creating a corporation for, you know, pirate software so that we can hire on the mods and like do stuff like to give them benefits and everything like that. And I I was talking to the the business manager man to try and figure out all the stuff. And he was showing me all this paperwork and he was like, This is all the things that you have to do and like here's how te- like stock works and here's how minutes work and all this shit. And I was like, I already know how to do all this. And he was like, What are you talking about? I was like, I was a corporation leader in Eve and he was like I don't know the words that you're saying because the mechanics in Eve are exactly the same as running a real corporation. And I had no idea. And it was deeply horrifying to me. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I know all of this. <laughs> so I got a one up on it, you know, it's, but the difference now is instead of the game dissolving your alliance or corporation, the government does it. So that's, that's worse in every possible way. So I'm just going to make sure that doesn't happen by by not screwing it up, right? You know, that's the whole point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it made me laugh, dude. Yeah, Ashes is creation. We're going to be playing the shit out of it. Strybug Clade LLC, dude. Yeah. What does Witness Me and the Bomb do? The Bomb makes a bomb. Witness Me makes you blow up. Do you play WoW sometimes? Pretty rare, but yeah. How, did you, how do you win EVE Online? You stop playing EVE Online. That's the win condition. The win condition is realizing that EVE Online hurts you and stopping the pain by selling all of your shit and giving it to your alliance so they can pay off all their debts. That's what you do. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next alert. MNEMOC with 500 bits said I just sold my Steam account so I could afford the demo, but I couldn't find a purchase link. No, Help. Free. Love your long form content on YouTube. Wanted to ask if you know the game Detroit. Become Human. It's yes. a story game with an about 12 hours long story would be perfect for a long form video. Yep. Since you are yourself an Android, it would be perfect. I am not. I am not an Android. Did I like Power World? I loved it, dude. I love the hell out of it. I made a section on our Discord for it. I'm going to be adding new stuff to it. If you guys want to have that role, go ahead and go add that role on Discord. It'll be up at the top in the roles channel. I'm not an Android. Not an Android. Yeah. You speed ran Eve by never playing it? That is the... I'm going to be real with you. The best way to play Eve Online is by not playing Eve Online. You've already won. You've already won. Congratulations. You've done it. You've done it. You've done it. Well done. Well done. Do a caption and prove it? I don't have a caption on hand, dude. What do you, how do you want me to prove that I'm not a robot? I don't know what you want from me. So proud of all of us for not playing it. Well done. What's Power World? Uh, you know that game everyone was memeing on saying it was Pokemon with guns? It's that one. Good ads. Is that game good? I really enjoyed it. How much is a game pass? I don't know, man. I don't own game pass, to be honest with you. I've seen ads for Albion Online. The game looks good, but I never played it. Albion Online is actually not bad. The the problem that I have with Albion Online is I don't really know anyone in it. But it's also a social sandbox MMO. And so is block game. So I just spend my time in block game instead. Which is like a thing. You played Raven Dawn? No. Power World is 10% off. They launched it 10% off? No way. Did they actually? I'm surprised. That's a really nice move from them. That's not one I really expected, to be honest. Yeah, that's not what I expected at all. That's really nice of them. God damn. I'm actually going to be leaving a, re- a review for it right now.
Or he bought it and installed it, waiting to play after work. I hope you enjoy it. No crossplay, see? No. It's early access, my dude. Tips on good gaming posture? Get a chair that has lumbar support. I've had the same chair for years, dude. I bought it for the wrong account. Why do you have multiple Steam accounts? What? Did you actually buy it on your secret porno Steam account? You know you can make yourself invisible now, right? You do know that. You know, you don't, you don't have to hide your Steam account anymore. What's the matter with you? So I'm actually putting this on uh, Pal World. I'm giving them a positive review. Um, 100%. I did receive the product for free. They sent it to me. So I, I'm going to disclose that for sure. Most people, myself included, thought this game was going to be a meme. I was going to buy it, by the way. They sent me a key early, which is really nice of them. It's actually insanely detailed, extremely well optimized, and compelling as hell. For something going into early access, this was a very strong start. Can't wait to see what they're, they do going forward. Yeah, 100%. I'm going to allow comments on that. Boasted. Yeah. Yep. Really good. Can't hide the achievements. <laughs> Are you just going around, like, looking at people's achievements and seeing if they have any, like, like porno game achievements? It's quite funny. That's grim, dude. You can hide games, can you? What chair do I have? I have a secret lamps chair, and it's, like, really old, and I built it on stream. You can private your account? Yeah, but that's just... Then everybody knows, you know? Here's... Here's my suggestion, all right? Maybe just don't play those games on Steam. Maybe just don't. Maybe just don't. You know, there's a whole internet for you where you don't have to reveal those things to your friends. Maybe just do that, you know? Just... Or just do it proudly, you know? Like, leave it open. Display it proudly to your friends list whenever you're playing those games. And when they right-click and join, just let them. Just let them do it. Yeah. What are they, what are they gonna do? Make fun of you at that point? Doesn't matter. You're immune. That's it. Own it, dude. Alright. Next alert. Grim underscore cynicism with 500 bits said there is no truth in flesh, only betrayal. There is no strength in flesh, only weakness. There is no constancy in flesh, only decay. There is no certainty in flesh but death. Would you ever get an implant, Thor? I yes. saw an article a while back about subdermal implants that allowed yeah. you to feel Wi-Fi. That's exactly the ones I wanted. What do you think of them as far as hacking goes? Yep. Praise the Omnisire. <clears throat> praise the motive force. Praise the machine god. Oh, it's one of those white hairs. Hell yeah. So there's actually a group of people at DEF CON uh, called biohackers. Biohackers are people that modify their bodies in different ways so that they can gain extra sensory abilities, things like that, or different types of things that they can do. One of the things that they do is they'll do subdermal implants on the tips of their fingers uh, that are magnets. The reason that they do this is because they can actually feel electromagnetic waves, which is a, a new thing, a, a sense that we currently don't have that they obtain by doing this. Yeah, body modders, dude. It's a normal thing in the hacking community. It's biohackers. This is what they do. Yeah, it's a real thing. One of the things I actually, I've talked to a couple of those dudes, and one of the things that was a really interesting piece of feedback was... Um, when you do this, you can actually feel that some devices are shitty compared to other ones because, as funny as it is, the vibes are wrong because they they give off different electromagnetic waves and you can feel when it's not correct, when it feels weird, which is a sense that we can't really understand, but they can because they've modified their bodies to do this. There's also things where people have injected their eyes with certain things to get night vision temporarily. Um, there's that one dude that made it so that he was uh, no longer lactose intolerant for a couple of years by injecting himself with a, a homemade virus for that. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff in the biohacking community and it's completely wild. Yeah, it's, I know not eye injections is horrifying. I know, I know, it's horrifying. But it, it, that's that's part of the biohacking community. It's people that are just on the fringe, on the front end fringe of like, what can I do with my body? Yeah, and it's it's cool as shit. It's actually really cool. Thought Emporium did the lactose thing. Yeah, Thought Emporium that did it. And it was like, it, it worked for like two years, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Modif it was a modified virus to make it so that um, he could produce lactase naturally, which is just nuts. Yeah, it's cool as shit. And I think it's I think it's amazing, dude. Body modification is a really interesting like field of hacking. I, I think biohacking is cool as shit. Yeah, it's super cool. It's also not for the faint of heart, man. But no, I've, I've thought a long time about doing the magnets and the fingers thing. Um, apparently, they're small enough that you can even do an MRI and it won't it won't hurt you because they're so tiny. But you can feel when they're interacting with stuff because they're they're super super small, like super super tiny things. Yeah, 
really, really small, which is interesting. No, you say definitely not, but it, it's it's we're talking like incredibly tiny pieces that don't interact with anything, which is kind of wild, to be honest with you. And it, the reason why you can feel it is because it's it's subdermal, so it's it's right up against like your dermis, not the epidermis, and then you could do that. The magnets will definitely rip out an MRI. They've they've got ones that are small enough that they don't, and they've tested it before. Like I I I know people in the biohacking community that talk about this stuff all the time, and it's wild as shit, dude. It's really really wild shit. How expensive are they? I don't know. They used to be a lot bigger. They used to be like a thing that you couldn't get near an MRI, but now now they've got them small enough where you can. I think Nexplanon counts as biohacking. I don't even know what that is, dude. Max roommate did the magnet thing. It freaking worked. Yeah. They they used to be a lot worse. They had like bad coatings on them and they would get like rejected all the time and all this kind of stuff. Now they got really, really tiny ones, like super, super tiny. Like you can't see it, but you can feel it sort of things, which I think is really interesting. Yeah. Not for me, but really cool. I think it's cool. Implantable birth control. I guess, yeah, that's biohacking. Yeah, next one in, implantable birth control. I would say that's biohacking, for sure. Yeah. I would say that that is. I mean, you're modifying your body with a, a thing, right? That makes sense. Current, quite interested in transhumanism? So am I. Yeah. Yeah, let me... Like, I, I, I want to look more into this, because this is something that I wanted to do for a long time. I just think it's cool as shit. I've always thought it was cool as shit. Let me see. Subdermal... Magnet, finger, implant. Do 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 do. Where are they? Yeah, there was like an injectable biomagnet that's like super tiny. There was one that could be done with the MRI, and I don't remember what it was, but it, it was supposed to be super super tiny, but it works out of your body eventually. It's like too small, and then it, it works out of your body. I don't remember what it was. I need to find it again. There's also ones that are big. There's ones that are actually large under the skin, which is, that's freaking weird. Yeah, yeah, here's what it does. Um, even This was even seven years ago, is... A dude was actually talking about his experience having the really tiny ones and getting an MRI is that it vibrated uncomfortably and then nothing more, which I would never do that shit at all. <laughs> if I had a magnet in my finger, I'd be like, I'm not going to the MRI. But they were like, yeah, it vibrated uncomfortably. It felt bad, but it didn't go anywhere. And it's just like, yeah, <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. you know. There's a whole bunch of people that have discussed their um, experiences with MRIs, specifically with that, in the biohacking forums, which is pretty interesting. If you want to read up on that, I think it's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird shit. No wonder I never get to your stream. 6 a.m. you started holy. Yeah, in your zone. 1 a.m. for me. What shampoo do you use? I use some weird coconut slime that I get from the, like, cheap-ass grocery store. Which is deeply distressing for some of you, I know. Anyway, next. Chris R34444 with 500 bits said good morning Thor and everyone. Good morning. Excited to play Pal World once I'm off and finish my art designs I need to do Dude, for it's the fun. jam. It's fun. It's really fun. And I'm excited for you to play it. Imperator 109 with $10 said morning Thor. Thanks so much for your content as it makes my very long machining shifts pass by far more easily. I also love Armored Core 6. Any chance for a VOD sometime? So, I played all of Armored Core 6 and I don't know if we recorded that VOD. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know where it is. Because Armored Core 6 was fun as shit. That game was awesome, dude. It's one of the few games that I've 100%ed. Because I, I re the New Game Plus in that is one of the most compelling New Game Pluses in a game I have ever played in my life. They did it so, so well. They did it so well. It was awesome, dude. Yeah. There's new parts since the update? Oh, I gotta go back and play it. Oh. Yeah, no, Armored Core is so good, dude. Can I link the Google Doc for game design doc in the in the game? I mean, I guess you can do that. That's fine. It's not the best, but I guess, you know. Recently got the first ending, felt a stone in the heart. 
there's worse endings. It's grim. All of all of Armored Core Six is grim, dude. I think so. Like, yeah, Armored Core is a is a fantastic, beloved series. I think Armored Core Six is to the Armored Core community what Monster Hunter World was to the Monster Hunter community. It is the most accessible version of Armored Core I have ever seen, just like Monster Hunter World was the most accessible version of Monster Hunter that I've seen. And I think that it has brought in so many new fans to that series, far and above anything else that Armored Core has ever done. And it has completely revitalized that community, hands down. It's the exact same as Monster Hunter World, which Rise didn't do that, because I don't like Rise. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not good for new players that's all you can like it that's fine I wish Rise was good for new players I think World is incredibly good for new players yeah I literally said the exact same thing almost word for word earlier did you actually yeah no I super agree with it it, it, it is that is that is absolutely it it's Armored Core and Monster Hunter are some of the the most impenetrable communities that exist and they managed to make games that allowed new players to join that. Which is just a, a godsend for those communities, frankly. Is Monster Hunter World hard? Yeah. By the end, yes. Absolutely. But in the beginning, it really helps you out. It really teaches you about what Monster Hunter means. And I, it's the same with Armored Core 6. And I think that's something that's important. You know? Do you have any YouTube videos working offensively and explaining what you're doing? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Actually, wait. I have one video of me cracking a safe, but it's on my personal account, and it's it's hidden. <laughs> uh, especially if no one will join you for a pink to fight a pink Rathalos. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a hint here. If you're trying to fight a pink Rathalos and you can't kill it, you're gonna have to get good. I know, I know, it's difficult. It's hard. It's hard. Maybe just learn Insect Glaive. Just learn Insect Glaive like me, dude. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. And it's not even Pink Rathalos, it's Pink Rathian, by the way. Just to let you know. It's Azure Rathalos and Pink Rathian. Yeah. Very funny. Insect Live, yeah, 100%. I'm actually, I'm really sad because they, they finally released Azure Rathalos on Monster Hunter Now. And they have Pink Wrathy and a Monster Hunter now. The Azure Rathalos gear is not very good, but it has crit damage on it, which is sick. So I kind of want that now. But there's no Insect Glaive. So I'm just like sitting there with Sword and Shield, and I have all these Elemental Sword and Shields, and they're freaking rad, but there's no Insect Glaive, and I'm sad in my bones. And I'm really upset about it, frankly. Deeply distresses me. Yeah. There's no Axe yet either. No Switch Axe yet. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. A crystal soul with 500 bits said, Ya cheer 500. Thank you very much. It's very nice of you. High cage lol with 500 bits said, 777 burgers on the wall. Also, they moved dad from ICU and H is doing much better. I'm, gl I'm glad he's doing better. Also, get burgered. That's right. That's right. There he is. There he is. Look at his tiny little face. Look at him. Look at him burgering you. And his lettuce is gray because the green screen. <laughs> Get burgered for real. It was sent to me by one of you. I don't know who did it. I don't know which one of you did it, but thank you. It's very nice of you. It's fantastic. Top three video games of all time. Uh, Secret of Evermore, Secret of Mana, and WarioWare. And Earthbound's in there somewhere. Three is too few. I'd say five. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? $50 to the moderators? Chris, thank you very much. That is incredibly nice of you. Chrono Trigger is going to be in there too, yeah. Secret of Evermore, Secret of Mana, WarioWare, Chrono Trigger, and Earthbound. Those are my big ones. And you could go outside of that for things like Illusion of Gaia. Um, the original Gauntlet on Arcade was something I really enjoyed growing up. Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3. Dragon Crest Quest Warriors. That's like a big thing. Hollow Knight's cool. Yeah, Hollow Knight's cool. I'm down with that. Tunic. Tunic is amazing to me. Incredibly well done. Yeah. Tunic is incredible. 
Which WarioWare? Yes. Let me be clear about this. Which WarioWare? Yes. Yes. That's that's my official answer on that. 100%. I love the shit out of all WarioWare, dude. That is... Anything Wario-related, I'm in. You have no idea. Like, here. Let me show you something. Uh, where is it? A lot of people actually try to demand weird things from me for, like, Heartbound. They always ask me, like, hey, what was your inspiration and why is it Undertale? And, um, it's not. I actually have all my inspirations listed out here. What inspired me to make Heartbound. And that's Secret of Mana, Secret of Evermore, Earthbound of the Mother series, and WarioWare. <laughs> and it's always been these four things. And it always will be these four things. And then Lost. So Lost is actually the puzzle master at DEF CON. He was for a number of years. I don't, I don't know if he's doing it now. I'm not sure. But he uh, he makes really amazing shit. And made me... Basically inspired me to make an ARG in Heartbound. It's a big thing. Yeah. So WarioWare, Earthbound of the Mother series, Secret of Evermore, and Secret of Mana. And I have all the reasons listed out in there. Now you can see it. And now the website will die now that I've linked this. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. What is this? If you've looked at it, can you show chat the website I DM'd last night? What is the... What is it? Is this going to be a gnome, dude? What did you DM me? Oh! I'm actually adding that to part of the website. That'll have... That'll be out soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The control paint thing. Yeah. It's good stuff. When will we get a Golden Sun stream? Oh. What if I told you that I have a new device sitting on my desk that would allow me to play Golden Sun without having it on that? What if I told you that? One moment. I'm going to show you something really neat. I'm going to show you something really neat, actually. Let me, let me hide this for a moment. I'm just going to hide it. Don't worry about it. Give me a moment. Give it a moment. I picked up a piece of hardware. And that piece of hardware sits on my desk. And it's this big. It's very tiny. And I can take games like this original cartridge of Bokhtai. Plug it right into that. And it detects it. And shows it's an official cartridge. And then lets me play it on stream. I get to play this shit on original hardware. Yeah. It's not an emulator. Not an emulator original hardware that it can read that's right now the interesting part is it can even tell when it's a fake cartridge like this copy of mother 3 that is fan translated let's see if it'll actually detect it and you can see unofficial cartridge rewritable cartridge Ooh, ooh, fantastic actually fantastic and we go pull this up you say it just rips the ROM, though? Doesn't matter. It's playing it on that original hardware, dude. Wait for it. Wait for it. Don't make me do it again. There we go. There we go. Original Pokemon Red version, dude. You gotta lick it. Nobody licks it. What's the matter with you? So what's the plan? What's what? What's the matter with you? So anyway, I'll be playing some games on that sometime soon. Um, I find it really important to play to play the games that inspired me to make games today, and um, I have a whole bunch of them in a bag sitting right here. So. There's a lot of cool shit in here. There's like a lot of cool shit in here, actually. Like the original Fire Emblem. Oh. What else is in here? Or, strangely enough, Rock and Roll Racing. What's that called? It's called a Game Boy Operator. Which I'm excited for. Yeah, there's so many games in here that are just going to be weird, though. A virtual Casper, which I used to play all the time. Do you have the original Fire Red? Yes, I do. I also have the original Leaf Green in here, too. There you go. There's Leaf Green. 
Although it looks like it's void. <laughs> it gives a green screen, goddammit. That's funny as shit. Yeah, I also have Zelda 1 and 2 that I want to play on this, too. Leaf Void, dude. Yeah, Game Boy Operator from Epilogue. I'm actually... I'm pretty blown away by it. It's cool as shit. Use it for all my physical copies of games, yeah. And somebody said that it's just pulling the ROM from it. Um, it is likely pulling that off the cartridge because there's no way that they could pull that in any other way, frankly, because this is a modified cartridge. Like, this is this is a fan-translated version of Mother 3, and it played it off of the cart. So it's not just, like, pulling it from some database somewhere. Yeah, it pulls it off of this 100%. Whether it's downloading it from that and then emulating it locally is kind of irrelevant to me. Because that's the same as as the original, you know, system pulling that and pulling it into memory. It's exactly the same. Yeah, it's exactly the same. It's not OG hardware, but I don't give a shit. I think that's fine. The fact that I can make this more accessible and I can play them all on the original cartridges, I'm fine with this. I think this is great, dude. Is there one for SNES? Yes, there is. In fact, I have one. Um, it is sitting... Where is it? I think it's in the corner over there. It's actually a handheld that's about this big. And it. I have... This is going to be weird. I call it my Game Man, even though it's got a, it's called a Retro Duo, if you've never seen this before. I call it the Game Man because it's an SNES cartridge handheld, and I've had it, I've had it forever. Here, let me pull this thing up. Retro Duo. It's the Game Man, dude. Yeah, yeah. You, you actually plug... I have one of these. I love the shit out of it. You actually plug the entire SNES cartridge into the back of this thing. Yeah, it's a it's a huge Game Boy for SNES. So you just walk around and play SNES games on it, and I I have. Yeah, it's a game man, dude. I told you it's a game man. Yeah. It's not a boy anymore, it's a man. He's grown up. He plays SNES now. Yeah. Let me see, see if I can find one with a retro retro duo with a cart in it, because I want to show you what this looks like. Let me see. It'll even play Famicom games too. Which is cool. Is it? Oh, they actually had like a Retro du Duo version 2 at one point, which is interesting. I got the original red one, though. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Literally just plugs right into the top. Look at that thing. Isn't that wild? I love this shit. I love I love weird stuff like this. That's massive. Yeah, no, it's huge. It's actually enormous. <laughs> I think it's cool though. Like I, I just love I love like weird hardware devices. Like on my desk here I actually have a Game Boy Micro. Like an original Game Boy Micro. I've shown this off a couple of times, but like this is normally what I play Mother 3 on, right? It's just in there. So it's for playing old you know, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. Yeah. The micro is awesome. It's cool as shit. I just, I love weird hardware for this stuff. Like, I really do. How's it in terms of grip? This one was hard plastic, so it kind of sucked on your hands. And after a while, your, like, hands would cramp up playing it, which was, it was not like a good handheld in their first version. But I guess they iterated on it, and I haven't seen it since. So, like, I don't know how well it did, you know? Yeah. Game Boy Micro is Game and Game Boy Color Incomplete. The Micro is Game Boy and Game Boy Color in, Incompatible. Okay. Yeah, this is Game Boy Advance on here. It's Game Boy Advance game. Does it not actually work for Game Boy original games? Is it only Game Boy Advance games? Hmm. Because I do play Game Boy Advance games on it, and it's fun. It 100% plays those, and it plays it in full color. So, remember the magnifier light combo for the OG? Do you mean the little twirly light thing? That is the only light that I found that actually worked to trick Boktai into thinking I was in the sun. Also, I used to read the Harry Potter books at night underneath my covers, hidden away so my dad didn't know I was still awake, using that light. That's <laughs> probably why I wear glasses today. <laughs> uh... All right, next. Evangeline with $5 said 777. If you are reading this, then you are confused now. Have a great day and thanks for keeping me sane at work.
But. Donating my sodas to the other goblins. No sodas for you. Donate your sodas today. The micro only has an ARM processor. It doesn't have the GB... I don't know what that means, man. All I know is I play this this game on my micro, and it works fine. Both take Game Boy Advance games that use an actual solar sensor? Yeah. Yeah, right here. So, if you haven't seen these, let me actually show these real fast. These are actually Hideo Kojima games. Good old Kojima. There you go, Boktai. And if we look right in the back, I've got Boktai 2 as well. If we look in the back, you see, you can kind of see it sort of. There's like a black square right there. It's hard to see because the voiding. You see that little black square right near my finger? That's a solar sensor. These games work by detecting the sun nearby. And then you fight vampires using the actual sun. How do you emulate the sun? You don't. That's it. It's got a solar panel, like a sensor to detect the sun. And a normal light doesn't work. It's not just a light sensor. It's a solar sensor. Yeah, you have to use the sun to solve puzzles and fight vampires. That's it. Yeah. It's wild as shit. It is the only game I've ever played where I got a sunburn. And that's not a joke. I did. You have to touch grass to play the game. Basically, Kojima's always done wild shit. And I'll play that one on stream. I will. I need to get a tiny lamp that works with this, and I've been testing different lamps to try this. I don't want to use a UV light, because if I have a UV light in here, I'm going to blind myself. So, I, I actually want to play Boktai with the original hardware, like with the original stuff, and then uh, try that on the Game Boy operator and see if I can get it to function. Because I'm excited for that, you know? Because if it, if it is pulling any information off the original hardware, and it works, then we might be able to get that sensor to work. And that's it. Would radiation work? I don't know, dude. I'm not going to put a radi radiation source next to it. What's the matter with you? All right, next. Philo Dragon with 500 bits said, Hi, Thor. I'm making a game for the game jam, but I'm incorporating the theme into the narrative of the game, and I'm worried that the judges might not have enough time to play through the entire game and see it pop up. Hmm. So my question is, can I explain in my GDD how the theme is incorporated and count yes. on the judges to read that, or should I try and change my game story a bit so that the theme pops up sooner? We read the game design documents, so yes. Yeah, put it in the game design document, that's totally fine. Don't restrict your gameplay because you're worried that the judges won't see it. Make the best game you possibly can, and put your expectations in the game design document. 100%. Yeah. Would a Neutron Star work? Definitely. Yeah. Do we have to have a game design document? Read. You have to read. You have to read. You have to read. I write this for a reason. I write it for a reason. You have to read. It's worth 50% of the grade. You can get an F at best. Does it matter if it's made bad? No, that's the intention. Make it bad. Doesn't matter. It's your first game. Make it bad. Does it matter if it's a taco? Well, a taco is delicious. So you get points for that, but minus points for it not being a video game. I know. I know. Unfortunate. Deeply unfortunate, I know. Where does someone join this game? This game? Game jam? Like in words? There you go. We're seven days into it. Is a video game in Wellington? Yes. Is a taco Wellington? No. Our taco soup. The interior of the taco is soup. Adding the exterior makes it a sandwich. If the taco is layered, it is a sandwich. If a taco is fully encapsulated, it is now an empanada. And thus, is a Wellington. 
Thank you for the rating party of five, by the way, Cost. How you doing? Max Hero, this is going to be a common theme today. In order for your TTS to be read, you need to read the pinned comment. Amazingly, you have to read. You have to read. See in the bottom left corner of the screen? See the pinned comment explaining how TTS works? See the channel where I answer each one of these. It may be surprising to you, but this is a community of knowledge, and you must read in order to obtain it. It's difficult, I know. Deeply difficult. Incredibly hard. But yes, you do need a game design document when you submit, which is why it says so right here. And we made it easy for you, where you can just copy-paste this one. There is no pinned comment, there is on my screen. Is Twitch doing a tomfoolery? Is Twitch doing some bullshit again? And failing its own pinned comments? No, it's not. There's a pinned comment right there. You're wrong. You got him? Here's what you got. You know what you're gonna get right now? There you go, Kingdom Con. Enjoy your time out, dude. Sit in the corner. <laughs> Timing out Kingdom Con is a national, national pastime here, alright? It's not gonna change. Not gonna change. Never gonna change. How many times have I timed you out now? Let me look. Oh, wait, you can't tell me because you're timed out. 99 plus. Kingdom Con has 99 plus timeouts and three bans. When did you get... How long did you get... You got banned for four minutes once. You got banned for three minutes once. You got banned for one minute once. How many times you've been timed out? 99 plus. It doesn't even tell me how many times you've been timed out. Because you've been timed out so many times. That is outrageous. Insane to me. National pastime, dude. He's been tied out like a billion times, dude. But yeah, this is super important. Um, we do have secret prizes that are coming up for this, and I hope you guys enjoy those. It is... It's going to be a really big deal. It's going to be a really big deal. Anyway, I'm going to get back to the queue because we have 75 in queue. If I don't get back to it, people are going to lose said, their minds. Hi, Thor. Thanks for Hi. inspiring me to make games. Unfortunately, I have decided to quit after several months' work because I realized that I'll have to do front-end development. Wait, what? I've decided to quit after several months of work because I realized that I'll have to do front-end development? Do you, do you not like front-end development that bad? As a game dev, I hate game design documents. Why? If you're if you're spending so much time in your game design document that you hate them, you're doing game design documents wrong. You need to spend a, a little bit of time writing down the general ideas that you have for the game, and then move on. A game design document in whole for something like a game jam is going to take you under an hour. If you're spending over an hour on that, you are spending too much time. It is a way for you to describe the types of things that you want to do, the kinds of mechanics you want to have, the kinds of technologies you're going to use to accomplish this, and now you have a framework to move from. Yeah. It was a joke that I quit, but yes, I despise front end. I totally understand. I get it. I hope that you do, I hope you don't quit because of that, you know? Yeah, it's just an outline. And it, like, to be real with you, there is no reason to hate a game design document. It's, it's best practice. And I'll give you an example of why this is important. Our first game jam that we ever did, our first game jam went like this. Nobody wanted to do a game jam because they were afraid they couldn't make a game. And I said, okay, we're not going to make games. We're going to make game design documents. Everyone's going to design their dream game, the game that they want to make. I want you to design a game, something small, right? A little arcade game. I want you to design that and then make a game design document for each one of those. You got seven days to do it. We had over 100 teams do this. Through the act of making the game design document, they had to familiarize themselves with tools. They had to understand all the technology that went along with this. They had to go and test things to see if, if you know, their timings would line up for this. They had to give reasoning for each one of the things that they were going to do. They spent all the time doing that. And then I pulled a switcheroo on them. After seven days, I said, okay, now go make a prototype. We had almost every single team do it. 
almost a hundred teams of people that were too afraid to make video games before that made games for the first time because they were no longer afraid because they now familiarized themselves with everything they needed to do to make games. Game design documents are king, dude. Do not skip this step. Don't. It is so, so important. It gets rid of all of your inconsistencies. It gets rid of all of your fear because you familiarize yourself with the tools. Do it. 100% do it. Don't skip this. They missed the secret prize. It won't be announced until the end of the jam. We don't want to change the way that people feel about the jam till it's over. Realize that it would be... It would change people's objectives. I don't want to do that. Please tell me to get rid of the hiccups. Well, you have to go to a hiccup wizard and pay them, unfortunately. Um, yeah. I'm not a hiccup wizard, so I don't get a price for you. It sucks. It sucks, I know. A crystal soul with 500 bits said, Yacht cheer 500, have you tried FFXIV? If so, yes. what if your opinion of it? I played Final Fantasy XIV at 1.0 when it was shit, and then I, I was there when they blew up the world, then I was there when it was 2.0. Uh, Realm Reborn had a blast with it, played it for a very, very long period of time. I was a tank for a long time, and I ended up quitting the game because my guild fell apart. And there was that was about it. I really enjoyed it. I had a blast. I was a tank. I was a warrior tank, and um, home ganged my way to the top. Had a lot of fun. And uh, trolled many people in that video game because I played as a Rogadin, which is the large man class. The large man race, rather. And I would go to Limsa Lominsa because I was on Balmung, which I didn't know was the RP server when it started. F, right? Feels bad. Feels bad to find out you're on the RP server when you're not the RP player. So I would go to Limsa Lominsa and I would do calisthenics in front of people that were trying to RP only wearing Subligar. And if you know, you know what that means. And, um... The Rogadin's butt is about the right height for every other race's face when you're doing that. I have a lot of pictures of that. I have a lot of pictures of that. It's very funny. It's very funny to me. Especially when people are crafting, because they can't look away. They're stuck crafting. And sometimes when they get, like, a good one, it looks like it's glowing, so it looks like they're crafting your glowing ass. Which is deeply hilarious to me. Share a pic? Sure. One moment. Let me go into my Imgur album. Because I have it. I have it. It's deep in deep in the Imgur, in the old lore. Which page is it on? Like fifteen? It's super deep in here. Ancient even. Oh, found it. I found the exact thing I was talking about. You ready for this chat? You ready? There it is. So if you ever go to Limsa Lominsa and you see a man crafting my ass. You know why. Told you. I wasn't lying. That's real. That's real. I love Final Fantasy XIV. It's one of my favorite games. Brilliant game. Deeply hilarious to me. You have the context now? Go forth. Show people the wonders of crafting asses. I did it in Limbs and Lamenta most of the time. Most of the time. I had to move around sometimes because they get spicy. Excited for 7.0? I haven't played in years. I actually have not played F Final Fantasy XIV in years, dude. I want to, because it's so much better than it was. I actually quit... Titan Extreme is when I quit. We we managed to beat Titan Extreme, and it was like the, the content at the time. That was like the top-end content, and um, that was it. And then I was done. Yeah, our guild like imploded after that, so... Story's conclusion is the best stories I've experienced lately. Yeah. That, it was a long time ago. I know. It's been a very, very long time. Yeah. Yep. I have a lot of cool ha stuff ahead of me. Yeah. I, I got back in and I played a little bit, but like, I I feel less connected to it because I just didn't have a guild, man. There, I just didn't have a guild because I, I enjoy MMOs because I enjoy raiding. That's what I like doing. I like end game difficult content. You know, and I, I find that if I don't have like a rallying team of, of friends around me to go play D and D with, you know, effectively, it's just not that fun for me. So I, I got my character leveled up. I have like summoner class unlocked. I've got all my relic weapons. I've done all the shit, right? But I just don't play it. You know, yeah. I don't even remember what level I am now because I I played a long time after um after that. I just pop in every once in a while and just like burn through a bunch of quests and stuff. 
What about PvP? Never really did PvP. Yeah. Yeah. Currently playing a Final Fantasy 14 while I watch. I should do some Final Fantasy 14 streams. I think I should probably do that, to be honest with you. It's like I should actually play Final Fantasy 14 on stream. Because it's been a long time, dude. It's been a long time. What is the right server? New character? Mm, nobody makes a new character in Final Fantasy 14, Felix. We don't... That's not how we do that. That... Ooh, that is a lot of work, dude. Mm-mm. That sounds awful, dude. I'll just... Yeah, I'll just stay on Balmung then. We don't do that here? No. No, we don't... We don't make a new kit. No, I'm not actually doing that. No. The hardest boss in Final Fantasy XIV is the character sign-up website? No. The hardest boss in Final Fantasy XIV is finding out how to pay for your subscription. That, what, whatever the hell that, that Moogle website shit was forever, it, did they ever change that? M Mog Station? That shit sucks, dude. Mog Station is an awful website. It is a horrific website. That was the worst thing. You have no idea how to cancel your sub. You have no idea how to start your sub. It's better now. God, it was it was awful. That was the worst part about Final Fantasy IV. I was like, I, I just want to give you money just so I can play the game. They're like, nah, nah. You got to find it first. You got to find it. And the website loads like shit. Good luck. And it was, God, it was so bad. It was, it was the worst part about that entire game was Mog Station. It was terrible. I don't understand why it was so awful just to give them money. I just wanted to give them money. I just wanted to give them money every time. Do you still have your save character? It's an MMO. Why would I not have it? It's still incredibly bad. Was it made by a third party? I don't know. I actually don't know. Anyway. Next. Lexiferous with 500 bits said Ya cheer 100 yard cheer 100 yard cheer 100 yard cheer 100 yard cheer 100 Hey Thor, I Hello. just wanted to shout out two games you might have heard of for the cool take on art styles. One Hour One Life and Pseudo Regalia. Both of them really fun too. I don't think I've heard of either of those. Let me look at them first, just so we can make sure. One Hour, One Life. We have looked at this one before. This one does look cool. We've talked about this a few times, this game. Yeah, no, it does look really, really awesome. It's funny because it's a very simplistic art style, but it's really deep. Like a super deep survival multiplayer game. Yeah, how often do ads appear? Every 30 minutes. And we pause for them anyway. Pseudo Regalia, I have not seen. Let me look at this one. Wait, we have seen this one. We've seen both of these. Yeah, no, we've talked about both of these, man. Both of these games look really good. Super Gali is really cool because, like, look at the, the low frame rate style of the animations. Even though it's, like, a 3D environment and the rest of the environment is moving at, like, maximum frame rate. The character itself is, like, lower frame rate, which is really interesting. It is super interesting. I love the hell out of it. Yeah, I love it. I think it looks fantastic, to be honest with you. More Power World today? I don't know. Maybe later. I love that game, by the way. I'm going to give that a strong maybe. Yeah, no, it's really cool. I'm going to link this to chat. Was it on GDQ yesterday? I don't know. I I actually think this, this game is really cool. We've talked about this a few times. Just like the the low frame rate stuff is neat, but there's one more thing too, and it's it's the freedom of movement in this that gets me. Like, watch this. That is brilliant. Like, that kind of platforming is so compelling to me, dude. And look at all the different moves you can do to do different kinds of platforming. It's very technical. Like, really technical. Like, jumping off of the, the little brassiere there. S wall slide into a kick, into a kick, into a kick up. Like, this is... It's really good parkour, yeah. I, I think it's fantastic. I think it's really, really well done. And I, I love that kind of stuff. Yeah, never seen this? Gonna wishlist it now? Yeah. Actually, I don't even know why I don't have this wishlist. And we talked about it before, and I was like, this looks cool as shit. Yeah. The the fact that you can you can hop in that way, and you can parkour in that way, is just good. It's just really good, dude. All right, next. Tom's of Plays with 500 bits said, Thor just wanted to say thank you for all that you do. I've found time in my schedule now to fit you in these last few months now, and happy I have. 
I'm glad. I've been going through depression with no longer getting to marry the women I was just with but listening to your streams and getting back into the gym is helping now. Thanks for being awesome. I'm glad you're getting on the other side of that, man. It's a tough thing. It's a really tough thing. But you're focusing on making yourself better, and that's what matters. So, keep it up, dude. Keep going. Grim underscore cynicism with 500 bits said hark ye, and praise. For I proclaim it, him on earth once walked among mortal men, but now sits upon the golden throne on terror as a god. <laughs> it is in his holy name that ye are to purge the heretic, beware oh, no. the mutant and the psyker, and abhor the xenos. How dare you? Every human soul has a place in his imperium, and by word or eviscerator shall ye be brought into the fold. Praise be, kindred, praise be. Oh wait. I play a psyker in Dark Tide. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mmm. 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 I don't know about that. I don't know about that. How's everyone's game jams going? I hope well, to be honest with you. I really do. And, um... But sanctioned, right? Yeah! Sure, man. Hey, what's that singular cryopod dropping? I'm gonna get out of here. Don't worry about it. Next. Miko underscore makes with 500 bits said been working on my game jam game and am for once in my life ahead of schedule on a jam game. Existed to see everyone's work. Let game dev spread. Yeah, dude. I'm... I think the thing that makes me most excited about this is the fact that there are so many of you that are willing to try for the first time. There are so, so many of you willing to try. And I, I think that is absolutely brilliant, frankly. And it's... It's something that is difficult. It's something you may not succeed at. You may not create something that works. You may not create something that you're proud of fully, but you've learned something through this process. And that is the entire point of this. So I'm excited to see what you make. Even if what you make isn't the best, even if it isn't the coolest thing you envisioned, because you've learned something. And if you do manage to execute something well, something clean, that's playable, you might win. And that's a big deal, man. It's a really big deal. And you'll find out how much of a big deal it is soon. Freddy underscore Svenbear with 500 bits said howdy Thor, I hope you're doing well today, and I hope I the am. ferret bite didn't hurt too badly yesterday lol. Oh dude, I got Just wrecked. Just two quick questions. Is the fandom wiki for block game made by you or another person that works on the game? Not by and me. also while playing block game the other day, I noticed that when I looked some things up on the wiki there was no info for some things like items, materials and such. Would it be alright if I took time to edit the pages to possibly help other new players? Yeah, please update that. I know there was somebody that was supposed to be like heading that that wanted to head it, but we're at the point now where it's just empty. Just go, if you want to update the block game stuff, not on fandom, we have one that's like set up um, internally. Don't do the fandom one. Let me go show you this. It's piratesoftware.wiki, and there's a block game related one. Let me find it. Block game wiki. There you go. So it's blockgame.piratesoftware.wiki, and it will take you to this page. Let me log into it real fast. Buh, it's taking 50 years to look. Oh, my God. Just do it. Just log in, please. You guys killed it, didn't you? I talked about the website, it's dead. I just... I... Okay, it's back up now. So this is actually the block game wiki. Um, so it's blockgame.piratesoftware.wiki. We have a separate instance to run the wiki sites. There's a piratesoftware.wiki as well. It's all, all on the same server. I might have to split those off, or I might have to upgrade that server to handle the load that you guys are doing, because it's just going to be too much. But the, the block game wiki is, is woefully out of date, and I, I think you should definitely set that up. If you want to help update this so that people know what's going on in that, please do. Yeah, please do. That's totally fine. What load? The millions of people trying to look at it, dude. Share the load. <laughs> Jesus, dude. No, it's my website. My precious... Right, Uncle next. Harkinian with six Canadian dollars and ninety nine cents said, "Howdy, sir. I just wanted to let you know that it is possible to gnome you with HD radio, as we can push photos to HD receivers." That is true. That's one hundred percent true. And you will never be able to pull it off. It's true. Never gonna happen. I got bit. Yeah. No. I get. 
I get bit by the ferrets every single day, dude. Every day. However, yesterday, I was a dumbass. And I started doing the squeaky toy. And what happens to ferrets when they hear a squeaky toy is they go into this, like, hunter doom mode. And they don't understand what's going on. And they just have to take the aggression out on something. So I squeaked the squeaky toy to get them to jump up to do it. And they and two of them instantly bit my arms. And they bit hard enough to break the skin. And I got, like, cut pretty bad. So, yeah. Yeah, it's not great. I think the video's right there. Let me, let me see the moment. Yeah, here we go. I was squeaking this because it squeaks. And she was instantly just like, ah, it's like, oh, bit the shit out of me, dude. Like, actually bit me bad. Right there. You can't see it because the head is in the way, but you can see my reaction. I was like, Jesus. Yeah, no, it, she hit me real hard. Like, real hard. And there's like a, there's a cut on me now. Who bit me? I think it was salsa in that. It's either salsa or onion. Let me look. That's 100% salsa. Bastard. <laughs> Are the parents okay? They're fine. No, no one got hurt but me, dude. Yeah, spicy salsa. Uh, nah, she got me really bad. We call her salsa because she's spicy anyway. Maybe I should create my first game. Well, you got seven days left for the jam, dude. It's also in feral. Yeah, and that's a pretty normal thing for ferrets. They do bite, dude. Like they're they're rambunctious little dudes. They um they like they like roughhousing. They want to roughhouse with you, and that's it. Am I gonna become a were ferret? Probably, dude. We'll find out next full moon. Oh wait, I don't go outside. Yeah. Yeah. Is Kingdom Khan saying yo my dude to you, Zoltralord? She tried to buy your demo from the arm. Nice. I love this dude that I just banned in chat. That's just like... F-bomb. As his first message. And then he's like... Shit. And he's like, F-bomb again. Like, maybe someone will notice me. Maybe... Maybe... Maybe I'll get the attention that I crave. Banned. <laughs> that's like all he did, dude. It was he, he's like, what's the filter here? <laughs> filter is us, you dumbass. Thanks. Gavin Fraser with 80 South African Rand said, Hi Thor, I want to start an online business as a service, and I would greatly appreciate your insights. Could you please share your advice on how to begin this journey and any resources you recommend? Mm, so I can't, I can't really do that. Um... That kind of advice could get me into legal advice territory because a lot of starting a business stuff is going to be legal advice stuff. You need to talk to a lawyer. You need to find talk to a business lawyer, find out what's correct in your region of the world, in your country, in your county, in your city, right? That is an important thing. Talk to a, a business lawyer um, with starting a business. I, I can't give you legal advice beyond talk to a lawyer, unfortunately. Yeah, welcome to the world of, I can't give you legal advice because then I might be legally, you know, in trouble because if it doesn't work and then you sue me, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, um, I'm going to tell you right now, ChatMD also thinks that it's a lawyer, so don't. Don't listen to chat. Don't take legal advice from chat either. Yeah. 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 It's true. Not a good idea. It's not a good idea. Yeah, attorney chat. Chat attorney. Chat attorney? Chat attorney. Chat attorney and chat MD are not good. Yeah, don't listen to them. Don't do it. Zachary Edwards with $1.99 said, What do you think about the new Suicide Squad game? Suicide Squad game? They have a new one? Is that real? I didn't even know there was a new one. Oh. Hmm. It's called Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League. No shit. I don't know anything about this yet. Let me watch some videos tonight and I'll get back to you on this. Because I don't know anything about this. It looks cool. 
Now, here's the thing. Here's the flags that I have in this. These are the, the major things that they're talking about for this game. Let me actually pull this up real fast. One moment. Because there, there's a couple things I do want to talk about in this because I find this to be interesting. I don't like hype for video games. I want to see substance. Play Su Suicide Squad. Okay. The game is called Suicide Squad. This tells me nothing about the video game. Uh, drop into expansive and dynamic open world metropolis. Compelling. I like that. That seems fine to me. I think this is going to be cool. I'd like to see how open world that is. I'm interested in that, right? Experience gameplay that brings together a unique... Together and unique fusion? Brings together a unique fusion. And unique? Isn't that supposed to be A? Well, one out of three ain't bad, I guess. Is Anne grammatically correct? Is it? That doesn't feel right. Like, I've no... I've... English is my only language, and something about that feels wrong. Is it supposed to be an unique fusion? Is it gr grammatically correct to do this? It's supposed to be A? I like how Chad is fighting over this. Because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be A when the vowel sounds like another letter. What is this? Since unique begins with a U sound, should use A unique instead of an unique. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought too, Mitch. Yeah. That's why I'm like, that doesn't feel right. So no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that an F. Of enhanced traversal gunplay and melee combat. Combining free roaming exploration and combat verticality for an unforgettable experience. So... Verticality seems cool to me. Open world seems cool to me. And unique, minus one. Plays the Suicide Squad, minus one. The game is called Suicide Squad. If you couldn't play as the Suicide Squad, I'd be deeply impressed, frankly, because then the game would be opposite of what you expected. But um, I am interested in this. I'm actually really interested in this. They meant and? I don't think they did. That brings together and unique fusion? That's even worse. You've, you've gone in the wrong chat wrong again. Couldn't be. Yeah. Yeah, it's even worse now. Ant? Ant-Man? Ant-Man. Ants? Ant-Man? I could see it being Ant-Man. I could. It's actually, they just, they misspelled Ant-Man. That's fine with me. But no, I, I am actually interested in the open world mechanics of this. I find a lot of the times, mini games kind of advertise open world mechanics and they fall flat. It just ends up being like a large level that has nothing in it. I, that's not really what an open world is to me, so I'm waiting to see what their op their take on open world is and how that works, you know? Like, when I think open world, I think of something like The Division, where I can just go anywhere and do anything, and there's monsters, and there's pickups, and there's stuff, you know? Or, you know, Breath of the Wild, you know? Anyway, we got ads. We're going to wait for the ads. I am not compelled by this page, though. That concerns me. Give me just a minute. I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So yeah, this is kind of this is kind of the stuff that I look for in AAA games right now is attention to detail on things. This bothers me from a lack of attention to detail. Um, large claims. So I'm interested to see if they actually pull off the open world correctly, right? The other thing is, is this isn't really a lot of substance to this. It's like, play as the Suicide Squad. This sounds, to me, it sounds more like a, a legal obligation of like, hey, this is a Suicide Squad game. You get to play as the Suicide Squad. Hey, everybody, did you know that this is the Suicide Squad in this game with these characters, these legally bound characters that we have to bring up, right? That doesn't really give me any information as a player. It just kind of looks like we have to talk about each individual character that is being licensed for this. Yeah, so that doesn't give me anything. Like, I don't care about that. I care about this. This is probably the most compelling thing on the page. And I'm interested to see how they pull it off. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah. I Yeah. And it, you feel like every open world game calls their world dynamic when it isn't? I agree. That's the reason why I'm interested in this. A dynamic open world game, if you want it to be dynamic, needs to change the world in some way based on the actions that you perform. And it, it could be as simple as you did this event, so this area of the town is safe for a little while, whatever, right? Like, I think Division 2 does that quite well, where you take over different areas of the map, and, like, you beat back the enemies, and then that little town becomes a, a node that you can go and interact with NPCs on for a while, and that's fine, right? That's that's technically a dynamic open-world map, which is good. I don't think that's a problem, right? Yeah, I think Guild Wars 2 does that well as well. I agree with that. Guild Wars 2 events work the same way, and I think that's okay. Dynamic world only changes the color on the flag. You got to have at least a little bit more than that. I I agree. You know, I really agree. So like, I'm waiting to see how they do this. Maybe it'll be cool, but this doesn't do anything for me. This does. This is, this is the concern. This is the, or not the concern. This is the thing that I'm interested in, you know? Yeah. So I hope that makes sense. I don't, I cut right through marketing. I don't like marketing shit. I know, I know when I'm being marketed to. Especially as a dev, and I just don't enjoy that. Ray VN plays with 500 bits said Ya Cheer 500 Hello Thor. I Hi. was watching Wednesday's VOD where you were talking about administrating your home network. Yeah. Would you recommend the use of VLANs for keeping personal devices and stuff yes. like printers separate? Yep. Yeah, VLANs is a super normal thing to do. Um, that is, there's nothing wrong with doing that. I have a bunch of VLANs set up inside of my home network. It's an onion. It's an onion. The VLAN. That is the whole idea. Onion Network, dude. Wish.com with 500 bits said I was not aware of that about the missed TTS messages. That's really cool, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how it works. The, the way that I feel about the missed TTS messages, if, if I don't get to your TTS message, then I don't deserve the money therein. So we do something cool with it. Um, the last thing that we did was pretty neat. I'll pull these up here. We actually paid off $7,500 of the debt. And that went to ferretdreams.org, which is a ferret rescue found in, in Colorado. Uh, I talked to Katie Brown, who is the vice president of that, so that I could, you know, talk to them about it and, like, learn about their, their rescue. It was about an hour and a half on the phone. And uh, we just talked about their whole operation, everything that they do. You say you deserve it, though? Yeah, but I don't get to it. So I don't deserve it. So it goes to that, right? How much is the TTS worth? However much you donated. So the way that this works, they freaked out. They were like, holy shit, this is enormous. The way that it works is every time you guys donate something for bits or super chat um, or channel points for that matter, it goes into this queue. And I, as I select these, as I get them, they actually go into the answered TTS channel. So I answer your message. It gets a timestamp on it and your message goes on there. So you can search your own name. You can actually search for your message. You can have your timestamp for that. So you know exactly what happened. And um, at the end of the day, if I didn't get to it, it goes into this debt system. Now, super chats or bits are easy because it's one to one. It's one bit to one cent, right? And I don't get the money. It goes to the pile. With super chats, it's different. And the way that that works is we have to determine the actual US dollar value of it. And YouTube takes 30% right off the top. So there's nothing I can do about that. So if you give money in like Brazilian reals, I have to convert that. So the way that we do it is Geosim and I work together to create a system that pulls the conversion rate in US dollars of your currency and then takes 30% off the top and then puts that in the debt. <laughs> so we actually pull the live conversion rate for the currency and then do it, which is quite funny at the time that like the donation or at the time the stream ends is what that is. It's very funny. Yeah. They can't be, they can't be refunded. 
Yeah, they don't go into the debt. Yeah, channel points get refunded. Channel points get refunded. Nothing else can get refunded. So we just do it to the debt. Channel points you go back to you if you don't have the, you know, if yours didn't get answered. So don't worry about that. All right. Next. Keshen Wings with 500 bits said got my final diagnostic call for ADHD today. Nice. Crossing my fingers for answers and helpful meds if necessary. Good. Chat. If you think you got it, speak to a professional. Just sharing because it's good to be open. I am stressing a bit, but you can only do what you can. Take care of yourselves, goblins. Go make games. Dude, 100%. I, I, I can't speak highly of that enough. Um, there are many people that will just be like, well, I have ADHD. Well, how do you know? Because I read something on the internet. No, no, don't do that shit. Don't self-diagnose. Go to a doctor, get diagnosed, and get the help that you need if you need it. That's it. Don't. Don't ascribe, you know, labels to yourself for medical reasons if you are not a doctor. And even if you are a doctor, you know better and you need to go to another doctor. And you know that. You know that damn well. Yeah. So that's it. Go go get diagnosed from a professional. That's the point. Always. Always. I don't know if I have ADHD. I know I got problems. It's time to go see a doctor. You come to TwitchCon in the Netherlands? Wait, Stein. What do you mean TwitchCon in the Netherlands? Wait, 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 What do you mean TwitchCon in the Netherlands? TwitchCon Netherlands? What? No shit. TwitchCon EU 2024 will be once again hosted in the Netherlands. In Rotterdam, Ahoy. It's a great name, by the way. It's going to be in Rotterdam. Multi, it's called Rotterdam Ahoy. It's a multi-purpose complex with a convention center. No shit. No shit. I finally get to meet Stein. When is it? How far away is it from you, Stein? Is it like a long trip for you? It's in June. Oh, it's like a month before my birthday. Oh. If you don't greet Stein by saying ahoy, the world will implode. That's probably true. I don't know how big the Netherlands is. Netherlands-wise, it's kind of far, but it's an easy day trip, to be honest. How many hours of driving is it? That's the big question for me. Two hours? Oh, so it's a daily commute. All right. <laughs> America moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah so it's going to the supermarket is what you're telling me right yeah you got it understand you can crash on my couch if you want sick I get to crash on a couch dude what do you mean two hours a day like you meant one hour to work one hour back dude you think I'm wrong I'm 100% right you know it 100% right you know it welcome to the United States I lived in California most of my life. That's some normal shit. And it's two hours if you're lucky. It's two hours if you are lucky, dude. And you don't get paid for that time either. In the US, you don't get paid till you get on site and you are doing your job. Oh, God, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Ugh. I had to look at the light to make it happen. Ugh. Only when you clock in. Yeah, you got to do it when you clock in. Pretty sure I'll be here in June. That's awesome. Where would you... Be? Wait, Stein, where would you be? I swear to God, if I end up going... If I end up going to TwitchCon in Netherlands and you don't show up, I'm going to be so sad. I'll be deeply sad. Is that a Rebecca Roni emote? Yeah, it is. Hell yeah, Rebecca Roni. You got that light sneeze trigger too? Yeah. If I'm about to sneeze, I have to look at light. I gained that superpower by staring at the sun as a young child. The Alps are Spain... But those are in July and August. What do you what do you mean the Alps are Spain? You gonna go on your yacht, dude? Like what's going on over there? The Alps or Spain? <laughs> it just sounds so posh to me. Like what's happening over there? Road trips? That is outrageous to me. Go yachting in the Alps. Yeah, done. That's how it works. I don't even know where the... I think of the... You, you want to understand what I think of the Netherlands? Here, 
let me let me ex- expose to you how how deeply American I am, Stein. I don't know where the Netherlands is on the map when I think about it in my head. I think of the Netherlands like a square based island in which you have told me that there are mountains that are just hills on it. And that's it. That's that's the Netherlands to me. That's how it works. I have no idea what happens there. I am a like at least a level level ten American. Please throw it no. I refuse. Netherlands is flat. No, Steiner's told me that there's mountains in the Netherlands and they're actually just hills. I believe Stein. What is a mountain? Something that doesn't exist in the Netherlands. <laughs> they're called the mountains. I'm going to pull up the actual Netherlands. The country is oddly shaped. You know, I don't think I got it wrong. All right. You can get upset. It's it's almost it's like a broken up square. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. You just squish it back together. If you if you take all the empty space and you squish it, it turns back into a square. I'm not wrong. It's not an island. I mean it kind of is. You got Germany and Belgium next to you. How far is this though? What is the distance? Distance in miles across Netherlands. Wait, what? Your whole country is 194 miles wide. Really? Why is everything in Europe so tiny? It's so tiny. Yeah, 264 kilometers. Sorry, you guys have to measure in those. It's unfortunate. Let me, let me show you something. So, my state, which is Washington State, and I'm going to show you a map of the U.S. Walkable cities? No. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you the United States of America, all right? We're, we're up here. That's where I live. This is all of it, right? My state is 360 miles wide. Your country is 264 miles wide. I could drive from one side of the Netherlands to the other in one go, no problem. The biggest thing that I think that's weird in the United States that is surprising to other countries, we have a very routine culture of driving long distances, and we have no problems with that whatsoever. Like a two-hour drive is shocking to some people in Europe. In the U.S., that is a standard. That's like a normal day of drive. That's like whatever. It's like a normal thing. Yeah, we're very car-oriented. So, like, when I see things like that, I was like, oh, that's really tiny. And it's really tiny because they think about how far I would go on a road, right? Oregon Trail for commute? Yeah. The cars aren't the same size? That's fine. Same thing in Canada? Yeah. No, a true size of is pretty good, Felix. Yeah, true size of. We can go pull that up. I always find that interesting, though, because, like, I don't, know, I don't know the distances in other countries, and I have to go and check them. Let me go pull these up. Uh, where is it? Netherlands. So we're gonna we're gonna grab the Netherlands. Let me let me actually grab this web page. True size of. I love true size of. It's a great website. Filled with many countries, full of stuff. So we can go up here and go to Netherlands. Grab the Netherlands. There we go. Hello, Netherlands. And pull it all the way over here to American land. And you can see. Just basically how ridiculous this is. Like, you can see just how absurd just my state is. Right? You know, like... You... <laughs> that's why That's why I'm sitting there, I'm just like, oh, it's very small. This is just my state. It's just my state. America is enormous, dude. That's why we have such a car culture, because it's not about walkable cities. It's about, dude, there's a lot of land here. We have a lot of walkable cities. They're just separated by massive distances in which there's nothing but the environment, you know? That's just kind of how that works. Like, if you want to go to Yakima, you can. It's just a lot of driving to get there, and then you can walk around Yakima all you want, you know? It's kind of how it works. Twice the size. Yeah, just for that, you know? 
trains and buses, trains take forever. Like somebody told me, they're like, oh, you like here, I'll give you an example. I'm going to be flying from Seattle down to LAX. Los Angeles is all the way down here, right? I'm going to be flying from there to there soon. And someone's like, oh, just take a train. The train is like an 18 hour drive. Like it's, it's like 18 hours or more. The flight is three hours. The flight is three hours from there to there. Like that's it. It's a long distance. Yeah, it's a three-hour flight. That's what that is. That's what I'm telling you. Is it's most there's actually people that will commute via plane here. That is a thing. Don't you have high-speed trains? No, not that high-speed. They're they're trying to do high-speed trains in some areas, but the problem is, is we just have very rough land for that like mountainous lands, and they have to do a lot of stuff for it because it's just super long distance. I, I think China has a much better train system than us, legitimately. What's the size of New Zealand? New Zealand's huge. Here. New Zealand. Whoop. Whoop. You can actually see it's like the size of most of where Australia has people. It's true. It's actually true. All of Australia is like there and then here. And then all of this is sadness and burning sun sunlands. Yeah, New Zealand's actually not as small as you would think. It's surprising. Look at it. It's actually huge. Yeah. Large. Enormous. And it's got these weird little islands. Yeah. No disrespecting Adelaide. I'm not disrespecting it. I'm just saying, you know, it's where people live. Oh, I have a question for you guys. I did something that I haven't done in like... I don't know how many years. I bought a soda. Which is something I don't do. I don't drink soda. But I wanted to celebrate the fact that we hit 400 million views on YouTube. And I got a Bundaberg. Which is a soda I think is quite good. Yeah. Australians. Is that a good thing? I always wanted to know because it's it's here it is marketed as being an Australian soda. Bundaberg, yes? Okay. I always wanted to know. Which one? Let me go grab it. I got the Bundaberg ginger beer. One of those. With like the... You pull it. You know? Yeah, it's, I only I only ever liked the ginger beer one. It's still got a shitload of sugar in it. Based OG. It's good. Is this the... Is this the... The good thing? Okay. Thank you. Because this is... This is one of the few sodas I used to drink. And I don't ever drink sodas anymore. So I got one for myself. And I wanted to celebrate 400 million views on YouTube. And uh... I bought this, and now we're at 424 million. <laughs> so I'm going to open this now. This will be the first one that I've had in many, many years. And it's not going to be a norm. Not going to be a norm at all. I like Bundaberg a lot, though. It's a good day. It's a good day. Mm. That is just as good as I wanted it to be. <laughs> I love ginger beer. Flip it first. Am I supposed to flip it? You want me to flip it? Huh? 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 You want that? Is that what is that what you want? You're right. You're right. No, you're hundred percent right. Yeah, you're not wrong at all. You're hundred percent correct. The flavor changed entirely. Did you ever play Diablo 4? Yeah, a lot. That actually, that looks big. It's not that big. I don't know. It's not that big. It's just wide. That's good. I haven't had one of those in forever. Flipping it mixes the ginger in. Yeah, no, it did. It did. 100%. It changed the flavor completely. <clears throat> what language is Heartbound developed in? It is in Game Maker language. Very similar to C Sharp or Java. Object oriented language. Very easy. Now drink it out of a shoe. I don't. I have one pair of shoes. Oh, God. Do you guys think that I could go to the the streamer awards wearing my shoes? 
I have one pair of shoes, but they're black. Do you think anyone would notice? Oh, no, you need leather shoes? Mm. I've had those shoes for 10 years. They're black shoes. They're black shoes. I wonder if they'll notice. <laughs> solid, yeah, they're solid black. Yeah, I've had them for like 10 years. <clears throat> dude, I, I, don't, I don't buy shit for myself. This is like a splurge, my dude. I don't, I don't buy things for myself. Ever. If you go as a red carpet wizard, they certainly won't notice your shoes. That is true. That is true. It's a good point. Next. Giggles the girthy with 500 bits said most days at work I have an egregious amount of downtime, sometimes even the entire shift. Instead of spiraling ever deeper into the YouTubes, I want to continue learning Godo at work. Hmm. I've cleared it with superiors, problem is I just can't seem to focus, even with noise cancelling headphones and or music to help. Hmm. I talked to a doctor for that, man. Legitimately. So, let's see, you have egregious amount of downtime. The entire shift. You don't want to spiral into YouTube. You want to do something with it. You want to continue learning Godot at work. You've cleared it with superiors. Problem is, you can't focus, even with noise-canceling headphones in or music to help. So you're having problems with focus, like legitimate problems with focus. You know exactly what you need, right? I, I would straight up talk to a doctor. I would. Because if you're if you're having levels of focus problems that are that bad, there's a couple of different ways that it could be. It could be your environment. It could be the fact that you're at work and you, you don't feel like you need to be doing it there and you'd rather do it at home. It could be um, maybe the obligations at work are like, drawing away from it there's all kinds of different stuff for that but like i would still talk to a doctor and i wouldn't listen to chat yeah i wouldn't do it and to be honest with you when i say environmental factors try to do the same thing at home because it could even be the lights at your work i used to sit under those shitty tube lights all the time and i couldn't do a goddamn thing i hated those damn things they made me feel like shit all the time those like long crappy tube lights you know what i'm talking about those are awful they're terrible they're terrible they, they feel so bad. Chad MD. Yeah, that's when Chad is trying to be a doctor. It It's basically every single time a human being says, I can't focus, and then Chad starts screaming ADHD and Ritalin like a million times because they think that they're doctors. Chad is not a doctor. Don't listen to Chad. Don't do that. It's not good. It's not good. Yeah, Chad's not a good doctor. Chad MD is not someone you should listen to. Yeah, fluorescent light is the worst, dude. It's horrific, to be honest with you. So yeah, I would, I would talk to a doc, man. Like, I find that like once you've implemented all the other stuff of like, I tried this environment, I tried making a change in my life, I tried taking a nap, I tried doing all these things, and I still just can't do it. Then you're like, hey, now I need some help. And I think that's fine. I don't think it's wrong with that. That being said, if it turns out you don't need it, you don't need it. You know, you may find something that does help. So Netherlands actually has a great train, train network is what Geosim is saying. Hmm. You try washing your ass? No, Zoltra Lord. Unfortunately, you are still unbathed. Yeah. You're the only ass I know, so... Unfortunate. Kenny Next. Roy with 500 bits said, Would you take a moment and address devs working on multiplayer games? Sure. I've met two more who have tried to get clarity on the plan for judging, and the response has amounted to, There's no plan. You might not get judged. Options exist. A plan just needs to be put together, and I think it would put some hard-working devs' mind at ease. Yeah, nobody, no, nobody should be saying that there is no plan. Um, if a moderator is telling you that, tell them to stop. That's that's not the case. If um, if you do have a multiplayer game, we will find a way to play it. That being said, it is discouraged because of the fact that a lot of these machines are going to be disconnected from the internet. If I need to take a burner laptop and connect it to the internet over not my home network, I will. But it should not be generally a requirement it's usually outside of the scope of like a game jam you know uh that being said if it's something you want to do we'll figure it out so I, I know somebody was like i'm doing a multiplayer game with twitch integration i am not hooking that to my twitch account to be honest with you there's no good way that i can test twitch integration for this that's going a bit over scope at that point so like do understand that you know doing twitch integration with something like this is is adding an extra layer of difficulty for the judges and actually adding an extra layer of concern for security related stuff so please 
please stay away from that if you would. But uh, just for multiplayer stuff, if you want to do multiplayer, I suggest local co-op as the best way to do it. If you can do local co-op, that would be the easiest for us to judge. If you can do multiplayer, like local co-op, that's cool. If you don't want to do local co-op, I understand. We'll figure out something to do with it. Yeah, local co-op should be just fine. There should be no issues with that. Local co-op is just fine. Yeah. Are there good resources to introduce kids to computer science? They're starting to use these resources in STEM course in my area? Yes, they're fantastic. So, Godot and Scratch, Game Maker Studio, these are great to introduce kids to, man. Super, super good. Uh, you'd be amazed at how quickly children will pick these types of things up and the rest of their lives will be bettered as a result of being introduced to technology at this level. Like, 100%. 100%. They they will learn logical process. They'll learn how to program even even in a minor way, and that will help them with problem solving and understanding of technology for the rest of their lives. Hands down. Spooksy VT, thank you for the rating party of thirty one. Hope you're having a wonderful day, dude. Yeah. Just run the games in a remote disposable VM. Yeah, there's this thing called VM Escape that I don't mess with. I've been an offensive security specialist for over twenty years, and I don't mess around with that stuff. We're running unsigned code from the internet, so we take precautions. Normal shit. Is there a theme for the game jam? Yeah, it was actually chosen by you guys. The theme is called It's Spreading. This theme centers around making a mechanic or narrative that consumes or expands in some way. Things like a pandemic, zombie apocalypse, idea, or bagel toppings come to mind. Be creative with it and work it into something unique and unexpected. Themes are there to get you to think outside the box. That's the point of it. Yeah. So we've, we've already started the game jam about seven days ago. We're almost at the halfway point. We've got 14 hours left to go. Yeah, bagel toppings, dude. Bagel toppings. So we've got, we've got 14 hours left for the midpoint. Yeah. My son is 17 doing computer studies. He started with Scratch and then Python UK. That's fantastic. Kid's going to go places. Hands down. Yep. Yep. And uh, I think it's a great thing. we got ads, by the way. How many will be about those examples? Probably a lot, to be honest with you. I have not had something like this in ages, man. God, it feels good. It is nice every once in a while to do something small that is outside the norm. And it is nice to do this. You see Power World concurrent players over 200,000? No shit. Oh, man, that's so good to see. They're at 235,000. That's a huge success, dude. This is just Steam's numbers. That's just Steam. I'm really glad you guys are playing it. We'll play it again later today. Thank you for showing us. Anytime. It keeps crashing for you? I haven't had a crash at all. Yeah, I've been playing Power World on stream for the last two stream days. Can it run a potato? Yeah, dude. Their minimum specs are pretty small. You can go look at it on the on their Steam page. It's twenty six dollars. Yeah, For the amount of game that it is, that's a steal, dude. It's crazy. All right, so this is a massive success. Thank you, by the way, Matthew, for the rating party of four. This is a big deal. Um, we covered this game. It was really fun. I had a blast with it. They gave me an early access key, and I was able to, you know, have a, a, a good amount of fun with this. This is nuts. The game is doing really, really, really well. 235,000 active players right now. That's enormous, dude. That is absolutely enormous. 
It's also amazing the game released already discounted. Yeah, that's not something that they normally do, that most studios normally do. The fact that they did this... Let me go pull up Power World real fast. They did a 10% discount on launch. They didn't need to do that. And that that's an, a wildly good for players thing it's also on game pass at launch yeah power world dedicated streamer we're going to do a power world get dedicated server that's the thing that we're going to end up doing and i'm i've already created a new role in the discord for this and i've created a new section of the discord for it as well time to non-stop stream power world for the rest of the year i'm gonna i'm gonna play it later today actually so this is good shit i think this is really good shit actually I, I don't think they, they realized how big this game was going to go. I think they've caught a piece of the internet that is impressive. You know, a piece of the internet that everyone was like, they kind of got memed on really hard, where everyone was like, oh, it's just a Pokemon ripoff. And then it was like, oh, it's just Pokemon with guns. They can't be real. Myself included. Felt the same thing. Then we went to go play it, and I was like, wait a minute. This is something unique. And then I was like, wait a minute. This game is really fun. And it's super deep, and there's a ton of mechanics. The crafting is insane. Like, it was good. It's good. And I think that surprised me a lot. And then other people watching it, it surprised them as well. And it's it's basically solidified itself as something unique and different. Which is not what any of us expected. And I think that's a very good kind of origin story for this game. And I hope that it just kicks ass. And they're going to get so much money from this launch, dude. They're going to be able to make this any way that they want it to go, frankly. You got a shiny? Yeah, I got one before. It was the Pokemon that was needed to be made. I think one of the things that I always kind of laughed at with Pokemon is that they, they added dark stuff in Pokemon, but to the Pokedex. They're always like... They, they, they talked about like how Drifloons would come down and steal children, you know, that kind of a thing. But it was always in the Pokedex. It was always kind of like hidden away. This one's just like, oh, you want to... You want to shoot one with a gun? Like, whatever. You want to steal a man in a in a pal sphere and then butcher him? Sure. Dude, you want to sell him? Fine. We've got a black market guy that lets you sell all your pals. Fine. Whatever. Yeah. Like, this... They just let you live that dark fantasy in that same kind of a world, which is something that's... I think there's a piece of everyone that was like, I want to try that just to see if I can, right? Every single person was just like, I'm going to try that. Just, just... I just want to see if it works. And then they do it, and they're like, oh, God, that let me do it. That let me do it. And you you grow to like that sort of thing in the game because you're surprised at the allowance of that morbid curiosity. Yeah, you're you're surprised that they let you do it. And it's it's neat. I think it's really neat. You should play Awkward Dimensions Redux sometime. I don't know anything about that game. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher him. Wait a minute. I, I fully expected... That when I clicked the Butcher Zultra Lord button, that it would be like, are you sure or you can't butcher a man? And it was just like, no, you're in the animation. He's dead now. <laughs> it's just like, holy shit, dude. Like, that's not what I expected at all. It completely blew me away. Completely blew me away. It's like, all right, you selected it. It's happening now. You know, like, how long till the Pokemon company declares a lawsuit? I doubt that they will, frankly. The fact that the game has gotten to this point without them budging on it is surprising, right? If they would have done it, I think they would have already done it. If they do at this point, I would be surprised. They might. They might try to go after them, you know? You definitely think they will? Ah, I think there's a lot of talk about it, but it doesn't really matter until something happens. That being said, there's nothing in the game that is visually the same as Pokemon. They have their own monsters. There's other monster games that sets a precedent for it. There are other monster games that exist. Things like Cassette Beast, things like Temtem, like all of these other types of like monster games that Nintendo hasn't, or like that Pokemon company hasn't gone after. And that's it. Monsters look really similar, though. Visual style-wise, there's a lot of other games that exist like this. Because you have things like Digimon. Yeah, exactly. You have Digimon, and that's not a problem. You have Temtem. Temtem is very, very Pokemon stylized, right? And you have no problems there. You have... Uh, what is it called? What is the one? Shay always plays this. I can't remember the name of it. There's a... Not Monster Hunter Stories. There's another one. Not Monster Rancher. Oh, it's something. Dragon Quest Monsters. That's the one. Like, let's go pull up Dragon Quest Monsters. Shay plays this one all the time. 
So if you pull up Dragon Quest Monsters, you have that that unique like Dragon Quest kind of style, but it's the same I have a monster bright color combat stuff, you know? And I, I think that's something that's really important here is this is not unique. There's a lot of this stuff in many, many different games. So it really comes down to the whole point, right? The, the whole point of do they have any grounds to even sue? And I don't think they do. I think a lot of people are just like, well, they have they have grounds to sue. Why? Because it looks like a Pokemon. I'm like, okay. So do a lot of other things. <laughs> it's not really relevant, right? Yeah. So I'd be surprised if they sued at this point. I'd be really surprised. It's not only a monster look. You're saying like the Pal Sphere and stuff like that. We have that in many other games as well. Yeah, even even Persona had that. Even Persona did. Yeah, the Steam DB charts are incredible. They're really good, dude. This is highly compelling. Highly, highly compelling. Infinite Fusion has been up for a while. Yeah. It's rather an anime art styling rather than Pokemon theme. I think all of... You, you say that looks like a Pokemon 100%. All of them do. And that's the thing, man. Like, I'm, I'm kind of surprised at sort of the internet's take on this. And here's why. Tell me that doesn't look like a Pokemon to you. Tell me that doesn't just look like a slightly higher def Pokemon. Right? Look at this. Right? If Nintendo was going to go after Pal World, they would have gone after Temtem. If we're doing it just on the basis of style and I capture a monster into a thing, right? And you look at this, he's summoning a monster out of a thing. It turns into the monster. <laughs> the monster has bright colors, no shading, simple model. This is why it doesn't make any sense if everyone's like, Nintendo's going to sue. Like, I don't think so. I really don't. Yeah. Power looks more similar, not going to lie. <laughs> okay. Have you heard of Yokai Watch? Yeah, I played them all. Love the hell out of Yokai Watch. Look at Koromon. What is Koromon? I haven't even seen this one. Oh, I love this little pixel art style on this, dude. Modern taking the classic monster taming genre. You know what's funny about this, too? You want know something funny? We're actually making a monster taming game. That's the next one that we make after Heartbone. Did you know that? <laughs> so I'm well acquainted with all, pretty much all of the monster and like taming games that exist out there. And I, I know all the things that Nintendo has gone after. And you know what it goes after? It goes after fan games of Pokemon. That's what it goes after. When you make things like Pokemon Uranium. And then they go, oh, I get to delete you now. That's how that works. That's what they do. They don't go after similar style because there's no there's no grounds for that in this. It's never going to happen. That's the project with Tofu? Yeah, Tofu's going to be on that team. We're going to have some fun. I'd be incredibly surprised if they went after him. Incredibly so. Is it going to be like Monster Rancher? It is more going to be like Shin Megami Tensei. I like... Here's kind of the inspirations for this. For the next game. I like... Shin Megami Tensei. I like Etrian Odyssey. I like Yokai Watch. And I like Cthulhu. Because it's going to be all based on Eldritch Horrors. The entire thing. 
Ooh. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It is cosmic horror. Yeah. So if... The way that I feel about this is I always liked the idea of creating a cosmic horror game. And in cosmic horrors, you can never see the cosmic horror. Because to see, or visualize, or fully experience such a great, horrible thing would kill you instantly. So you can't fight them directly. You can only fight their influence as it breaks into your reality. So the idea behind this is that you would be fighting with the drippings of these creatures. The things on the very edges of reality that are just kind of bleeding over into the world. And those are the monsters that you would fight with. And I, I like the idea of doing something like that. I've thought about doing something like that for a long time. So that's kind of the next thing that we build. And we've got a bunch of pictures and stuff kind of like as a mood board to feel it. And this was actually made by Tofu Pixel, who's going to be one of the artists on that project once we start really ramping it up. And it really kind of solidifies the way that I feel about it of like what happens when you feel the influence. Like this is the influence of being watched, right? That is that is what it feels like. That's just the echo of it. That's just the 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 nothing of it bleeding over into reality makes you feel that way. We also have things like like looking at the way that media works. So media creeping over and like changing your perception of reality. Doing things like this. So you can see like the drippings of that, the way that it, it creeps off into reality and changes your perception of the world, changes the way that you feel about other people. That's kind of the whole idea with that. Um, I like the idea of, of moments where you think something happens, but it doesn't happen again. You know, that's not going to be a thing that you, you see happen again. Or things that you notice that no one else can see that are persistent. Just kind of uncanny moments like that. I like the idea of succumbing to the madness. Giving in to the thing that only you can see, but you're sure that it's there. And no one else can see it or back you up. You know, I love I love that idea for that. And, um... Yeah, I've just got a lot of weird shit set up for this. Like the Waffle House. The Cursed Waffle House, chat. The horror. So that's sort of the idea for that. Heartbound is kind of like my, my beautiful game baby, right? Like I've always wanted to make that game, and then everything that comes after this is me just being weird. Waffle House will always survive. Yeah, the demon waffle. <laughs> the demon waffle. Ghostly Method, what are these horrible eyeballs? Are you just collecting eyeballs from around Twitch? It's fantastic. Daniel Radcliffe approach? Hey, dude, I like I like Daniel Radcliffe's shit. You ever see Swiss Army, man? That was a great movie. You should run a Call of Cthulhu campaign? I should. I should. All right, next. Mihos underscore gaming with 500 bits said Yashir 500 the lawnmower is a fully automatic knife and the F15 EX Strike Eagle 2 electric boogaloo has an onboard turbo encabulator to help Throngle the baggles get chainburger chainburger. You're a chainburger. God damn it. Nospimi99 with 500 bits said Yashir 500 it feels like every single tutorial I find out there is either for literal square one new learners or stuff that's entirely over my head. Where do I go to learn stuff that's between brand new and intermediate? I'm willing to pay, but I don't want to take out a loan for school. I'm feeling like I'm hitting a frustrating wall. Stop doing tutorials. You're doing what is called tutorial hell. So the way that you need to do this is start a project to make something. Have a goal in mind. You want to make a game, you want to make a program, you want to make a calculator, whatever it's going to be. You will eventually get stuck trying to do this without any documentation. You go to the documentation when you get stuck. If you cannot unstick yourself, you go do a tutorial. If you try the tutorial, eventually you will unstick yourself, and then you quit the tutorial, and you don't do them anymore, and you move forward until you get stuck again. This is how this process works. If you are just doing tutorials over and over and over again to get ready to one day make something, you will never stop doing tutorials. Ever. Tutorial hell is real, and you will put yourself in it. Do not do this. This is a mistake. Use it as a way to unblock yourself. Nothing else. All right, next. Father C0 Lieutenant with 500 bits said animals and fungi share a common ancestor and branched away from plants sometime around 1.1 billion years ago. 
Yes. Only later did animals and fungi separate on the genealogical tree of life, making yep. fungi more closely related to humans than plants. Yep. So yes, furries can be a mushroom. Toad is a furry, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's a thing. That's real. We've talked about that before, actually. That is 100% real. Yeah, you could be upset about it. Yeah, I had this on Twitter ages ago. Let me pull this up. From Pirate Software. Toad is a furry. I put this on Twitter July 26, 2023. Computational phylogenetics comparing eukaryotes revealed that fungi are, clo are more closely related to us than to plants. Fungi and animals form a clade called Opish Thoncota. I can't even pronounce that. Which is named after a single common ancestor. A furry can be a mushroom. Toad is a furry. That's right. That's right. You'd be upset about it. But that's fine. That's fine. It's beautiful. I don't like this fact. That's fine. You may not like it. But it's real. Yeah, it's a quality shit post. It is. I I am a big fan of the quality shit post. I like high quality shit posts. That's kind of my bread and butter. I grew up on things like Oh god. I grew up on things like YTM and D and Newgrounds and Homestuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's high quality shit posts. High quality shit posts are my life, dude. Like that's that's the whole deal. All right, next. Wyatt Price with ten dollars said, "How would you go about making content in order to grow when streaming, learning, game dev, and making a game? Like outside of the Q and a, do you have a different method for it if not playing games? Teach people in chat the concepts that you learn and take clips of those and then turn those into shorts over on YouTube. If you don't know." about the tools for this, if you're worried that you have to buy an editor, like pay an editor to do this stuff, you don't. Let me pull this up. You will not have to pay an editor in the beginning, whatsoever. Because if you go to your clips page on Twitch, which is right here, you can click on this, go to clips, then go over to here where it says crop the portrait, click that, you have an editor. If you change the split, you have an editor. Look, we now have a clip of Toad being a furry. There it is, see? And you can literally just move these around any way that you want to to make this work out to be as funny as you want it to be in any way that you want. See, look, now we've got that. You don't like the, the logo on there? You just get rid of it. And then you export this directly from Twitch. Editors for captions? Editors for captions, my dude. That's it. So, like, you have full control over this and you should be doing this. And then you take that and you just put it up on YouTube afterwards. And now you have shorts with legs and it already has your branded logo for your Twitch account. Leads people back to Twitch. Done. Ta-da! All right, next. Hayes plays with five pounds said, Hi Thor, just yeah, wanted to say them. thanks yeah. for the tip you gave me about the rubber ducky trick. Yeah. Huge help so far. Using coding, I might finally afford the demo. The demo is free, you come. I swear to God. Limester with five dollars said the game jam is hard. I feel like if I'm not settled with the idea, I'm not motivated to make the game and nothing comes to me. It's weird. No, you've learned something, right? So it's okay to feel that way. It's okay to feel like you need to have more context before you move forward. It's okay to make you feel like you have to have a more settled idea. That is part of what building the game design document is for. It is for people like you that get stuck on there because you don't have a fully formed idea and it makes it hard for you to move forward. When you make a game design document, it forces you to put it on paper and structure that idea in a way that is attainable rather than just being something in your head. So if you haven't done your game design document yet, I would say do it now. You, it is part of your submission anyway. And doing that allows you to solidify the things you want to make and makes it easier for you to attain that. So do it. 100% do it. Are the headphones a prop? No. They're just so loud that I can hear them even when I put them down. They plug into this. Now I can't hear anything. There we go. Much better. Is it morally acceptable to use junior developers as rubber duckies? Yes. Junior developers get something out of it, and you get something out of it. Everybody wins. I use chat as my rubber duck. I feel like that's pretty morally acceptable. 
Next. Warmaker 777 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I have a jam question for you. Sir, I'm tracking the limit for team members is 5. However, would voice actors be included in those team slots? Cause if voice actors don't yes. count then I'm within the limit established. However, if voice actors do count then I'm at risk of exceeding the 5 team member limit. ATM I have one person that's been in charge of gathering the voice lines and applying the required audio effects and balancing to them. Yes. Someone who is working in your game and producing assets for your game counts as a member of your team. Yes. <laughs> that, that shouldn't even be a question. Yes. That is a, that is a member of your team. <laughs> what? You're going to have to choose the five that are on your team and the other ones aren't going to get anything if you win. Like, that's that's the whole point, you know? Yeah, do you put them in the credits? Member of your team. Are they not under special thanks? Member of your team. Yeah, no, anybody that's working in your game is a member of your team. Anybody. The basis of phrase anthropomorphizing something something non-human. So Toad, yes, that's correct. Brave little toaster, camera heads from Skibbity Toilet are all furries. The brave little toaster is a furry. Camera heads from Skibbity Toilet are furries. Because Toad is a furry. You know what? I accept it. I accept that. Wait. Does that mean Mario's hat is a furry? It does have eyes in that one version of Mario. Remember that? Remember when it was like a parasite? That version of Mario where the hat was a parasite that like takes over things? Cappy's a furry. Yeah. It's a mind controlling parasite. Terrifying, frankly. You know, we've learned something today. We've all learned something. We've unlocked hidden knowledge deep from the internet. If I can talk, which I can't. Yeah, um, it's actually a ginger beer. So, I haven't had a soda in years. And I was celebrating 400 million views on YouTube. And I got a Bundaberg ginger beer. Which is non-alcoholic, by the way. And uh, it's delicious. It is really good. Yeah. Australian ginger beer. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. And it's almost gone. It's crazy good. I always enjoy ginger beer. Always have. Ginger with beer in it? No, there's no alcohol. I'm allergic to hops, so. Have you tried butter beer? Yeah. Is it bitter? Mmm. I wouldn't say bitter. It's a little bit bitter. Wash your mouth now with water? Why? Ginger's great. Do you drink alcohol, though? Not very often. It's very rare. I drink alcohol on usually New Year's, and that's it. Butter beer? Not bitter, bitter beer? Yeah, I've had butter beer. Yeah. I don't drink soda. Like, this is not a thing I do anymore. So this is a deep rarity for me. Super deep, deep rarity for me. All right, next. Zolat Cam with 500 bits said greetings, gracious goblin leader. You once said David Bowie is the true goblin king. I yes. present the following argument. He had illustrious hair. You have illustrious hair, as he is, sadly, no longer with us. By the transitive property of illustrious hair, that makes you at least the goblin prince and therefore the rightful heir to all goblin dom. Get burgored seven times every seven days and on every seventh day at seven. Oh yeah, have a great stream. I don't know, man. Like, my hair's pretty okay. I think. But, like... My hair isn't, like, 80s okay. You know what I mean? Like, look at that shit. That's on a completely different level. That's on, like, a different plane of existence of hair. That is some... Outrageous wild shit. You could pull that off? I don't know, dude. That's fluff... That's so fluffy I can feel it from this photo like that's that's ridiculous dude like i could i could do this you know i could 
I could do it. I can make it all, like, out. But, like, no, I can't do that sh Like, what is that shit? That's, like, that's gotta be, like, 50 pounds of hairspray. It's gotta be, like, 50 pounds of hairspray. No, way, it's real. No, it's real. They just spray it with hairspray. Yeah. S chemicals and static, yeah. Labyrinth is awesome. I actually have a poster for Labyrinth, an original, original poster for it, over in the shipping room. It's wild to me. How do you get an inner rhythm? I don't know what that means. I don't know what an inner rhythm is. Style your hair? No, I think I'm just going to let it grow out. Yeah. Does your game come to console as well? It'll be on Switch eventually. That's on Bow World? It's awesome. I played 20 hours of it in the last, like, three days. Awesome as shit. I love it. Just came in for software and game dev and got a free hair analysis. Yeah. We do a lot of talking here. The reason why is because I'm trying to help people get into the games industry, so I take a lot of questions in. Uh, we do game dev Q&A, basically. And that leads us into the tangents about the glory that is David Bowie. Sometimes, you know. Power World will write We'll play Power World later. I know. I know you want to see me shoot guns again. Probably because no, very few other people have unlocked the guns yet. I know. I know. Link to Game Jam, please. It's right up at the top of the screen. We have to burn through this queue, though. We're going slower than the queue could possibly go at this point. It is a nightmare. I've only gotten 33 of these done. 32 of them. Next. Fox Hollow Games with 500 bits said, I'm Joe at Fox Hollow Games. Whoa. You tweeted about a video of ours that stole your face for its thumbnail cold sweat smile. Thanks yes. for mentioning us. Yes. Every day, I loved it. I've been talking with oil riggers who got laid off, graduating no. students, and people who feel stuck in their careers and never even considered making games. Oh, okay. Never you mind. inspired me to get out there and try to build something to help others. Thank you. I thought you were going to piggyback on the meme where people said I used to work in an oil rig, which I didn't. <laughs> I was like, not this shit again. Oh, meme PTSD right now. God damn it. <laughs> we got ads. We're gonna wait. No, I didn't work on an oil. God damn it. My one yearly soda is finished, guys. The Bundaberg is done. Dundaberg, dude. Oh yeah, we got the Cursed Quest to do too, that's true. We have a lot of Cursed Quests to go over as well. We'll have to do that, I think, on a Wednesday. We'll do that on a Wednesday coming up. Answer the phone, I refuse. I'll never answer it. There's nothing you can do about it. My hair is so static out right now, man. Wait on these ads to be over. Alright, the ads are dead. We've done it. We've beaten the ad goblin. Jeff Bezos crawls back into his hole. Be gone, Bezos. I thought the phone was in Power World and I got really anxious. Yeah, they're calling you. Alright, are we ready? Ready for the next one. Let me see here. 
I'm really glad though, Fox Hollow. And yeah, I did tweet about it. Um, I tweeted about about their video. Don't worry, I'm not upset. You used my face. I I put it out there because I want you guys to use it. It's something funny. And it was this. The reason why I thought this was funny is because I I opened up YouTube, and I was two of the shorts in my shorts feed. So I'm looking at myself, and then I look up, and the videos, there's my face staring back at me from the videos, and it was your video. <laughs> and I was just like, I'm there's. I'm three of the videos on my own homepage right now. Like, this is ridiculous. It is very funny. <laughs> it's just really funny to look at. I was like, okay, that's that's getting absurd, right? Yeah, everything is Thor. I'm, I'm, it's spreading, chat. That's what it is. It's spreading. That's all it is. It's spreading. It's spreading. It's just funny as hell. Yeah. It always makes me laugh. Oh... Ooh. You guys want to play Power Room? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave it up to chat. You guys vote. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it up to chat. We're gonna do this. Cause you guys always choose. It's up to you. One moment. We're gonna keep doing the queue for a little while though. Just a little bit while. I'm gonna start a poll. I'm starting. I'm starting it. One moment. Power room. Yes. No. I'm gonna do a 10 minute long poll, and we're gonna make it vote early, vote often. Non game day. What a treat. I know, right? It's because it's their launch. You know. There we go. I'm gonna leave that one up for a little while. Over on the Twitch side. Let's gonna leave it. Submit it to your game jam. Didn't even realize. I'll submit it to your game jam. Submit what to my game jam? How often do you organize game jams? Twice a year. I see you on TikTok every now and again. I just started my B in digital games art. I felt like I should hop in stream and actually learn some cool stuff. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. That's awesome. What's, this, what's the secret reveal today? We're actually going to do it at the end of the jam. Uh, the reason why is the secret prize is something I don't want to reveal until we're done with the jam. Because I don't want it to change people's perception of what we're doing. You should be doing this because you want to learn and you want to make cool shit. And that should be the only drive. Vote early, vote often, shit. Is it Robux? Definitely. Yeah. I'm actually giving you your weight in Robux, dude. You figured it out. Can't believe you ruined it. You ruined it for everyone. Laughin Panda with 500 bits said thanks for taking the time to answer my questions. It's very cool of you. Much appreciated. Anytime, dude. You rock. Hyderar with 500 bits said ya cheer 500 hello, Thor. Hello. I still haven't had any luck with learning to code, but I have been channeling the motivation into other projects. Somehow ended up trying to create mods for Cyberpunk and also modifying textures for a VTuber. That's sick. Not sure if this was what I had in mind, but at least the energy is going somewhere now. See, that's Thanks. great, though, because you're going to learn a whole bunch of new stuff doing those things, and, like, that's kind of what this is all about. Sometimes you'll start something and you're like, you know, this doesn't really feel good. Sometimes it doesn't feel right, and you're like, I, I kind of want to learn something else, I want to try something else. And opening the door to just creating something can s show you there's a better path for that creative outlet, right? And that's the whole point. So I think that's awesome. Keep it up, dude. Hi, Phaser with 500 bits said any thoughts on Pal World, especially now that it's been released? Well, I played it for 20 hours of the last three days, and we're about to go play it again, so... Let me, um, let me actually pull this up. Most people, myself included, thought this game was going to be a meme. It's actually insanely detailed, extremely well-optimized, and compelling as hell. For something going into early access, this is a very strong start. Can't wait to see what they do going forward. Power World's, Power World's great, dude. Like, I'm actually really impressed. Make a server so I can make a character? How do we make a dedicated server for this? Is there a way to do it? You Temtem? We were talking about Temtem earlier. Because I don't see any options for this. Hmm. Use the Steam tool. Steam. Get the software from their site. There's a toolkit on Steam. I'm gonna have to set up a... I'm not gonna set it up on my computer, though. I'm gonna have to go set it up for a different... Like, in a different area.
Yeah, I'll have to... I need to set up an actual piece of hardware for this, which I will. Yeah. Dedicated server guide? Yeah. It's running over Steam command? Okay. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not gonna be running this out of my home network, dudes. <laughs> if I am, I'm gonna VLAN the shit out of that. And I'm gonna be putting it in a separate outbound connection, too. Isn't dedicated server 32 people max? Yes. Otherwise, it's four. So. We're not, we're not running a server over Cloudflare Tunnel. No. No, I'm just going to set up a server. Like a normal human being. As well, might as well end the poll. I refuse. We wait ten minutes. As is tradition. I won't look at the results till it's done. You know, we... I'll just set up a normal one. Next. Umar Hay said, Hi Thor, how are you today? Game Dev Helpline Er, how do you animate text by word like in Heartbound? Also rent the Demo 7. So this might be kind of surprising for you. Um, let me go pull this out real fast. Boop. 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 If we go down here to Objects, Inside of dialog text box. See this right here? This object is actually every letter in the game. That object is every letter in the game. This object is what moves and wiggles around and lights on fire and disappears and changes colors, but it's actually just got a sprite assigned to it, and that sprite is my font. Because I drew it. The whole thing. For every language except for Japanese. We use JF Shinonome for that, which is a uh, available for commercial use font. So we assign this sprite to this object, and then the object changes the colors and changes the way that it works. And that's it. That's the whole point. So if you're wondering how this kind of a thing works, set up an object, assign a sprite to it, and then after you do that, animate that. If you want to animate the text, you just have it rotate forward by allowing it to do image speed, and allowing it to animate, because it's just a sprite. And if you want it to change colors, you can make it change colors. And if you want it to be a rainbow, then we can just do this. That's all it's doing. It's just taking the HSV and rotating forward in the color and adding more to the color. That's it. Easy. Easy peasy. Do you know the letters by hand? Yes. What else would I do them by? <laughs> yeah. I made all of them inside of GameMaker Studio using the pixel art tool, just like this every single one of them and I made this because I wanted a, a mono spaced block style font that I could use for my game that was not no royalties associated with it no issues associated with it whatsoever and I wanted to set that up in a way that that worked right and I wanted it to be at this certain form factor that it was so that we could fit it on the screen yeah do it by AI no when I started this game AI wasn't even a thing for like generating assets dude yeah. Any jokes inserted in the font? Um, not really. I mean, there's the heartbound hearts. That's about it. I think it's all the jokes that are in there. Really? Yeah. You're looking for that Z? What language is that from? Because that's not one that I think I've done, because I don't think it came up in any language. It really depends on what language. Because we only... It's Lithuanian? Yeah, no. We have it in Brazilian, Portuguese, French, Russian, Spanish, Japanese... And I think that's it. Brazilian, Portuguese, French, Russian, Spanish, Japanese, English. Yeah, that's it. That's all it is. So, how long did it take you to launch Heartbound? I mean, I don't know. We've had it in early access for a long time. I just keep making stuff for it. OBS crash ate the debt. Yeah, it did. OBS crashed, and then it was just a mess. Everything broke. Nothing worked. It was a, It was just complete shit. When did you start working this game? Um, technically, it was a. It was a comic book when I was like sixteen. And I was like, I wanted to make the video game eventually. And then I went off many, many years. And then I started working on it. was like 30, 29, somewhere in there. And I'm 36 now. I just keep making stuff for it. That's really kind of how this works. And eventually I just keep, you know, I just add more things and I release another patch and I add more things and release another patch. It's usually a cadence of like once a month. But uh, the Cambrian explosion that is this stream has changed that cadence quite a bit. Don't you? Oh, I'm sorry at my age. How dare you? How dare you? You goblins. You run out of time soon, AOC will addict you? No, I I can just manage my schedule quite well. Um, 
I have a Google like calendar that is just immense, so I I pay attention to my my schedule pretty heavily. Yeah. Two years older than me. Yeah. I'm from YouTube Shorts, just like everybody else. Nice. Well, welcome. Welcome to the land of longs. Twitch longs. You into evolution as well? What does that mean? <laughs> Are you into evolution? Yeah, dude, I love evolving. I decided to evolve today, man. I'm on my way. Today I'm going to evolve myself right into a pair of pants. It's going to be great. <laughs> oh, man. So I, I hope that makes sense for animating text. Off Wave Surfer with 500 bits said hi Thor, just wanted to thank you, Shay, Stain, the YT editors, the mods, the wigglers, my fellow goblins and anyone I'm forgetting to mention. This community is a really positive place to be and I feel like I've found somewhere that I actually belong. I'm glad. Also, what is your general approach for designing, architecting systems in software, like the Heartbound Dialogue System? PS rips Ultralord seven times and please replenish our goblonic and piratic energies. So, the way that I design complex systems like that is I make those systems kind of shitty. I make it really shitty first. Like, the bare bones of, like, I need to put text on the screen, right? And then after that, I was like, okay, now that I made this kind of shitty, how do I make that text move? Okay, so I re-architect it now. I've got the ability to put text on the screen, but I want to make it put text on the screen in a particular way. So I made each letter out of objects, like I showed earlier. And I assigned sprites to each of those objects, and now we can make those objects do something, right? And you're like, okay, cool. Well, how do I make it clean up? Because now that I put these on the screen, I can't get rid of the goddamn things. How do I make it so they light on fire? How do I make them fly around the room? How do I make them follow a sine wave? How do I make them do any of this kind of stuff, right? So each of these is added as an individual component. And if you want to see what those components look like, well, they're right here. If I want to rotate a glyph character, this is how it works. The reason we had to make Japanese work with all these particles like this to rotate is because otherwise it may create a really negative phrase unintended when somebody goes to screenshot it because it's going to show a snapped in letter, right? If I want it to fade out, this is actually it fading out. If I want it to wiggle, this is what the wiggles look like and it's based on the level of wiggling. If I want it to advance a rainbow, this is what that looks like. Each of these is a component that I could just throw away at will by getting rid of it, right? Or changing it, modifying it in some way. And that's the point with this is... I build things in a modular way, and the way that I like to do that is just by adding another brick. If I wanted to do something new, I add another brick. If I don't want it to do it, I get rid of the brick. That's it. Easy peasy. <sighs> We're gonna throw it a wiggle. Here, let me get it right on that. One sec. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. You ready? You ready for the wiggling? Are we just gonna That was a really intense wiggle. I'm glad you guys got to be a part of that. Yeah. It's really intense. Good workout. Really, really good workout. Thanks for that. Thanks for the request. Red C underscore games with 500 bits said, Hey mate, your game jam has inspired me to take up game dev on much bigger project in my spare time with the goal of releasing it someday. Hell thank yeah. you for the inspiration and thank you for making development accessible to many of us. Dude, I'm a really true glad. Thor Goblin Lord. You're awesome as hell. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're doing it. I'm really glad you're doing the Game Jam. Uh, you guys have seven days and 13 hours left, and I'm excited for that. Also, I saw that the poll ended, and the poll ended in a dramatic fashion. It is very much Pal World. Yeah, you guys really want to see Pal World, so we're going to do that. Is feeling that ginger beer? No. It's done. It's delicious. I enjoyed it. So yeah, we're going to do Pal World probably at... 5 a.m., which is in about 34 minutes. So we'll keep doing the queue until then because I want to burn through a whole bunch of it because I don't want you guys to miss your messages because we got 39 down out of 101. So. Warmaker 777 with 500 bits said, Has the mighty Thor consumed a fluff screamer yet? I have not. Also, have not. did you ever get the chance to take a look at that game making journey series by Two Clicks Philip? 
I have it in my queue of stuff I need to watch from YouTube. I have not seen it yet. My... The way that I do that queue is while I'm working on stuff off stream, I just leave it running on this monitor so that I can watch YouTube videos while I do that. Um, it's a lot of the reason why I get into Discord and I'm mostly quiet is because I'm listening to that while I'm working on something. Almost always. I made a square and it moves. Good. Good. Fantastic. Sushi with fur with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, it's I just name. wanted to say thank you for everything you've do. In the past, you've talked about working after school or work on projects like game dev. I yes. have noticed I have trouble staying focused when I do this. Mostly because I want to just be done for the day and do nothing. Do you have any tips to get motivated to work on stuff in this scenario? Yes. Thank you. I have the same the same thing that I had, right? You have this exact same thing. You go to work all day. You get home. You're tired as hell. You feel shitty. And you go, you know what? I'm just going to go to bed because then I go to bed and then tomorrow I just wake up and go to work again. And then you're like, oh, God, I feel unfulfilled because I don't do anything. Yeah, no, no. You go to work. You come home. You take a one hour long nap. You get up. You work on your side projects, your hobbies. Then you go to bed for real. Then you get up and you go to work. You get two days every day when you do this. You reset your brain into thinking that you are in a new day with this nap. That one hour nap, perfect reset. Perfect reset. And it is fantastic. I used to do this all the time. I, I don't need to do this anymore. But I used to do it all the time when I got home from work because I was like, Jesus, this day was awful. I just I just want to go to bed. And I was like, no, I'm going to sleep for an hour. Then I'm going to get up. I'm going to do this. The other thing you could do, get home, take a shower. That's the thing that works too. If you can't bring yourself to only do an hour long nap, get home and take a shower. That's it. It lets you get out of the shower. You reset. You go and do other stuff. Anything you can do that acts as a barricade between work and your normal daily life is fantastic. It is super good. Why do you get 48 hours in, in 24 hours? Time wizard, my dude. Time wizard. Yeah, shower nap is a fantastic reset combo. It is. It's great. 100% good. Yeah, if your body doesn't comply with napping, go take a shower. Unfortunately, you can't really be a follower of Nurgle, right? It's going to make it difficult. So, yeah. There was a Power World poll. What was it for? It's for me to go play Power World, which I will in another 30 minutes. Dabby Duck 0420 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I don't know how to start, but I was shot in December. I don't know when I can work again. I don't want you to donate. I was just wondering if you could show my GoFundMe so I can try to keep my house. As much as it is awful, if the story you're saying is true, as much as it, it is awful, if that is true, I will not allow people to send out GoFundMes to the community. There are too many scams that exist of that. There is too much of that shit that is not real out in the world. Please do not send out GoFundMes like that. Please do not. If you are going through something terrible, I understand and that sucks. But I will always shoot that down 100%. There was a GoFundMe link on that. I won't let that go out to the community. There's no way we can verify those. And I, I refuse to do it. Yeah, I refuse to do it, unfortunately. So, yep. Can't do it. It's, there's too many scams of that thing, man. Too many scams. All right. Apic Alex, thank you for the $10 donation to the community. It's very nice of you. That went to that went to the mods, by the way, not to the community. Yeah, it's a, that's a donation to the mods. Thank you very, very much for that. You're awesome as shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's... This is like a hard rule that I have, though, is I don't promote anybody's GoFundMe, no matter what it is. No matter what it is. And it's not... It's not anything to be a dick. It's because we can't verify that that GoFundMe is real. And I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get into the habit of having to vet a whole bunch of GoFundMes and everybody's being like, please, my GoFundMe. And like, we have to go and vet all it. No, I'm not doing it. Like, it. this is... It's not good. It's not a good, like, route to go into, frankly. So I have it as a hard rule. Like, none. None of them. None of them at all. Yeah. All right, next. Ronnie Rhodes with 14 South African Rand said legally change your name to Thor, Goblin Lord. <laughs> Two kinds of chatter, dude. No, I will not. <laughs> I will not change my name to Thor, Goblin Lord, even though you guys keep putting it on the goddamn mail. I'm going to be real with you. Please, if you're going to send something to the P.O. Box, please address it to, to Thor or to actually address it to Pirate Software because the USPS is going to send your packages back. 
They have already held a number of them, and I had to go and explain why it said Thor Goblin Lord or Goblin Lordlington or or the, the, the Grand Goblin or shit like that. And I was like, ah, oh, damn it. Like, they're actually going to send your packages back. They, they're mad about it. So you got to stop doing it. You have to put it at the pirate software. I swear to God. I swear to God, dude, you have to do it. <laughs> oh. Lupin Thanks. of Thorossa with 500 bits said, Ya cheer, 100 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 hey Thor. I didn't realize that Stribig was a star until I was farming in Warframe and actually paid attention to the names of nodes in the void. Thought of your Eve stories, connected the two and looked it up. Yeah, Strybog is actually a Slavic god. Um, so if you're wondering where that came from, the reason why is because in EVE Online, all of the the Triglavians were named after Slavic gods. Um, let me go pull this up real fast. Yeah, so Strybog is a god in Slavic mythology, found in the three East Slavic sources, whose cult may have also existed in Poland. And they are the god of supreme gods the god of the winds because we we wanted to be quick like the wind was the idea we descend into an area we cause a bunch of damage and then we get the hell out of there that was the whole point and it was a cool name it was a really cool name we we're also i think the other thing was this god of wealth it was like wind and the wealth and um we we ran our entire operation on an idea that the company the corporation was was poor but the our our employees the people who joined us were rich right so we gave away all of the like as much of the isk as we possibly could to fund everybody and everybody made a shitload of cash everyone got fat with cash so when it came down to it when the corporation was in trouble everyone was empowered to be like no you won't take our pay away and they just banded together and just we beat the shit out of people it was great it was absolutely fantastic it was a super cool alliance to have it was very very fun and I, I i dig it man i want to run the same kind of shit in ashes of creation it's gonna be great yeah Amazingly, if you pay your people well, they don't want you to go away. <laughs> you know? Surprising, right? Surprising. Yeah, weird how that works, right? How overwhelmed are you feeling with this insane blow-up? I'm not. I was at first, but now we've got all these systems in place to make it feel more comfortable. Like everything works, you know? MR Stealthy Ninja with $10 said, Is it worth it to make a short game as a first game? Say it's yes. two to four hours long and you were to put it on Steam. What's totally stopping good. people from just refunding the game once they finish? They will. Some people will. So what I've found in general is if you have a game that's over like three hours long, your refund rate usually will be around two to three percent no matter what. If you have a game that's under two hours long, your refund rate will be usually between 5 and 15%. It's not as scary as you would think. That sounds large, but it's really not that big of a deal. If we go into here and we go look at Champions of Breakfast, which was our first game as a studio, we made this game not knowing what the hell we were doing. Like, we had never made a game before. We, like, I had never worked in Game Maker Studio before or worked with Game Maker Language. Shay, our artist, had never made anything that was pixel art before. Case, our musician, had never made anything that was fully worked before. And, uh, or, or music for a video game, for that matter. And, uh, yeah, we did it all in 24 days. That was from concept to launch on Steam. That was from, I want to make a Asteroids with a Toaster to my video game is now buyable on Steam. And that's with like 160 achievements. It's got leaderboards. It's got multiple characters, tons of different levels and monsters and all kinds of shit, right? So like, it doesn't really matter because we learned so much from this game that we were able to go on and, and work with, you know, or work on Heartbound. And I always, always suggest making a small game. You should always make a small game. And that's it. Game made in Scratch? No, I was making a Game Maker Studio. It, we had a working prototype in six hours, man. It was super easy to make, like crazy easy to make. And it's sitting at 97% positive, but it's like, it's old, right? It's 91 reviews. It's not a huge amount. If we go to Heartbound, which is the game we make now, Heartbound is sitting at 96% positive, 1,552 reviews. We actually just broke 50,000 sales of Heartbound, which is crazy, dude. That is absolutely outrageous to me. And I, I find it to be like, a really, that's a really big deal for me, right? Did Subi break even profit? I think it it broke even recently. It was never made for profit. It was made for, I want to make a video game. I want to learn how to launch something on Steam. And we learned a shitload from it. it the whole point was to make something. Like, it's, it's okay to just make something. Not everything has to be like a huge financial gain, right? You make something tiny so you don't have a lot of cost associated with it. You make something small so you don't have to worry about it, right? 
That's the point. It's 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 about failing with very little risk. And so you can learn so you can make something with more risk more comfortably is the whole point. That's the whole point, man. Yeah. All right, next. FA771N9 with 500 bits said, Hey, Thor. I'm having a blast with the game jam, but I don't know if I'll manage to create what I have planned. Nonetheless, hey. I'll keep pushing and submit what I have. That's I've what shown what do. I've made till now to a couple of people and gotten some very positive feedback. To all game jammers, keep at it, have fun, make games. Yeah, keep it up. Seven. That means you're doing it right, dude. That means you're doing it absolutely right. Good job in getting feedback, too. Linkar with $20 said, Hey Thor, I just want to thank you for the positive influence you've had on my life. You've motivated me to chase my dreams and I've been making real progress. Thank you for everything. Keep being awesome less than three. No, you keep being awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, I have something interesting. YouTube? YouTube, I know you're out there. I know you're listening to me. I know you are, YouTube. And the reason that I know you're listening to me is I complained about something and you fixed it. I had a problem where I was inside of my, my YouTube short stuff and I was setting up schedules for these and it wasn't showing these in the order of the dates that were coming up at all. They were just showing all the way down here and I complained about this on stream. It had been like this for over a year. And somehow, they fixed it. I know you're out there. I know you're watching. Thank you, by the way. It now sorts properly. It had been like this for over a year. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Secret YouTube person, wherever you are. It's very nice. It makes my life infinitely easier, actually. <laughs> it makes my life infinitely easier. I was like, oh god. I can actually schedule these now, and they all go in order, and I know which day they're going to be on. Yeah. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, it's a massive quality of life change, actually. <laughs> it's... There were so many of those that I scheduled two on the same day without realizing it because they weren't in order. <laughs> I was like, ah! All they hear is complaints, but not enough thanks. Bingo. That's why I want to thank him for it, because, like, thank you. That's, I, that was a big, big complaint of mine, and it has made life so much better. Yeah, thank you, mysterious person at YouTube. You're fantastic. Now we gotta wait. What time zone am I? And PST. Game Jam, one week left. Yeah, there's one week left for the jam, dude. Lev the dev. How's it going, by the way? By the way, Goblin Splendor works on 1.20.2 1. 1. just fine. Although I have a sneaking suspicion that it is... It is spammy. Only in certain conditions. I don't know why it does that. Need to get your update? Did you update something? TTS happens outside of the ads, my dude. You don't need to call for TTS. We wait. The community is watching ads right now, and I won't do anything for it. The queue is in the bottom left corner anyway. What archetype will you pick an AOC? I want to be a summoner mixed with a tank. And the reason why is because I wanted to be what's called a, a brood warden, where they summon beetles to act as armor, but summoners aren't going to be available in the beginning of the AOC Alpha 2. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. The beetle armor is sick, dude. I was actually really excited for it. Ashes of creation. Can people stream AOC? Yeah. When it goes out. And we have a whole guild set up for it. And if you haven't signed up for it, do this. There you go. Summoner Cleric? Isn't that just a necromancer? Like, tell me I'm wrong, but I feel like a Summoner Cleric is just a necromancer. Yeah. 
Like, to be honest with you, it's just a, it's a late healer. It summons minions, right? You know, it's a, a summoner cleric is just, all you have to do is make him late and he's a necromancer now. That's it. He's just got a bad sense of time. That's all it is. Next. Bleach Synodai with 10 Brazilian reals said bugful morning for cockroach I no longer have the poop wise and I can finally go do nothing at work again instead of doing nothing at home. Had covid back to back with a tummy bug. The demo oh. cured me. Also get hamburger ed. You get hamburger ed. In fact, get burgered by this beautiful plush burger that was sent to me in the mail. Look at him. He's got a tiny little face. Get burgered. Look at him. He's fantastic actually. I don't even know what I'm going to do with him. He's just fun to squish. Eat him? I don't want to. He's too cute. Plus, that's a lot of meat. Like, look how much meat that is. It's like a thumbs of meat, dude. It's enormous. No, I'm not I'm not going to give him to the ferrets. I'd have to cut off all the pieces because they try to eat them. Nah, he's not a good ferret toy. Enso's 2 with 500 bits said we, the Council of One, have found you, foreborn under a thunderstorm, guilty of a monopoly on pirate software content. Since we have not found a way to dissolve the monopoly, we condemn you to create content for all eternity. That's May fair. you have as much fun creating it as we have consuming it. We also demand a cheaper demo. I I love making stuff. I love making stuff. And it is it is deeply fun for me, as much as it is fun for you. So thank you. Yeah. What is this? First time in the stream after seeing all the clips. I'm currently working QA in ABK. I've been toying with the idea of leaving gaming and going to IT for job security. Thoughts? IT will pay you more. Like, I, I worked at Blizzard for seven years. Um, the thing that I found that is kind of a universal truth is that you can do whatever you do in the gaming industry in terms of, of technology in any way. You can do outside of the game industry for two to three times as much money. It's just kind of how it works. No matter where you work, if you work... The, I think the only game studio that I've ever found that actually pays you normal developer wages and normal wages in general for QA, for for programming, for any of that stuff, is Amazon Game Studios. And if you're working at ABK, if you're working at the Irvine office, Amazon Game Studio is like four minutes away from you. That's it. Yeah, that's the point. And that's why I'm a software engineer for the security company? Yeah. I always paid 37% of industry standard to be a senior red team specialist for Blizzard. Not great. <laughs> it's like 36-37% industry standard. Not good. Yeah, not good at all. I don't know about CD Projekt Red. I only know about the places I worked. Amazon Game Studio, Blizzard, and then uh, DOE. What means Red Team? Offensive security of a hacker. Yeah. All right, next. Troy Tech with 500 bits said you were so horrified when you butchered that, pal, that I've already seen the memes. Also, <laughs> any updates good. on when we get our goblin foo skills, Shifu? Uh, you Kung get it today. Fu Panda yeah. 4 incoming. Look That's out true. the chameleon, your ferret is so into kung fu, it probably thinks a punchline is a new martial arts move. <laughs> I found some royalty free assets for free and I was wondering if they are allowed in the game jam. They are on craftpicks.net and there are both premium and free stuff on there. I'm really struggling. As long as you have the commercial rights to use those, yes. So in the rules right here, specifically. You can only use assets you have the commercial license for. If you have a commercial license, great. List the commercial license for those and make our lives a lot easier uh, to list where you got the content, right? So please do that. Yeah, you need to have the commercial license for it. License for it. And that means stuff you made yourself, stuff you're allowed to use in a commercial setting, all the basics, right? That's, that's kind of what it is. So I need to check on one of the ferrets real quick. Give me just a minute. And I'm back. Just needed to check on Latte.
And Geosim has revealed something horrifying to me. Kirby has shoes. That means there's the existence of Kirby feet inside of those shoes. I don't like that. I don't like the idea of Kirby having, like, toes. You know what I mean? Like, Kirby might have toes. And that creeps me out. I won't stop. I won't. You're seeing them now. Like, fully formed man feet. Inside of those shoes. And then he's got the, the sweet little marshmallow hands. You know? Maybe he's just got a toe. Just one big toe and it's got a big old toenail in there. I don't know. A lot of questions now. No answers. Marcel J with 35 South African Rand said, Hey Thor, what was the pixel ratio you used for Heartbound again? I don't remember oh, yeah. from last time you mentioned it. Yeah, so what I used is I used 360p. Because 360p scales at a 1 to 2 ratio into 720p, which is what you use for a Nintendo Switch. And that scales 1 to 3 ratio into 1080p, which is what you use for most monitors. And now, for some monitors, it scales into 1440p at a 1 to 4 ratio for other monitors. Because it's doing this in a, a ratio of 1, 2, 3, 4, you get no pixel tearing. Hey, Easy. Next. Bleach Synodi with two Brazilian reals said in chat my pronouns are she, they. Not a guy anymore. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Daniel Frankowski with 50 Polish Swati said I need a quick sanity check. I'm 19 and I dropped off my IT university. In Poland it's free. I work as a courier, it's enough to pay my bills. The rest of my time is spent on my game. Play next TTS. <laughs> I'm glad you're spending all your time working in your game, to be honest with you. That's cool as shit. And, um... If you're 19, you dropped off dropped off your IT university. In Poland, it's free, so that's fine. You can go back if you want to. You work as a courier. And as long as it's enough to pay your bills, as long as you have a job that can pay your bills and you have time to go and work on stuff on the side, that's great. That's fantastic. It'll let you move forward and do cool shit, you know. Also, Yui, thank you for the rating party of two. Yeah, I think you're doing it right, man. I think you're doing it right. It's, is it tough? Oh, hell yeah. But you have a job. You have your bills paid, and you can do your passion projects on the side. Can't really ask for more. You really can't. So, kick some ass, you know? Especially at that time in your life, you got a lot of doors open to you. Should pin this in the Discord? What is it? I don't even know what it is. Next. Rating party of two? Yeah, I was just thanking him for it. There's Just Crust about eight minutes ago, and then Yui with, you know, about one minute ago. I always think, I'm going to be real with you, I always thank everybody who raids me. Like, there may be, there may be almost 7,000 people here on the Twitch side, another 1,500 on the YouTube side, but I'm always thanking people who raid, because I'm going to be real with you, every person that's in here is more people than there were before, and if you are streaming in any capacity, you are not just the community that you have, you're all the new people that are joining your community from other sources. So, people who raid in, you make this channel happen, and it's really cool, so thank you for doing that. And I'm always going to call that out. I don't care if it's two people. I don't care. That's that's cool as shit of you. Thank you. So, keep it up. Awesome as hell. Tendar with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, in a large part thanks to you, I recently launched my Champions of Breakfast on Steam. Good. It's a little multiplayer platformy fighty game called Mystic Strife. Go Thank you for everything you do. You ooze inspiration from every orifice. I want to see, I want to see. Your first game. You've done it. January 9th, dude. Hey. Mystic Strife is a fast-paced, chaotic party fighting game for up to eight friends. Choosing one of six characters with unique abilities and prepare yourself for a simple yet surprisingly deep platforming deathmatch. So here's something that's really cool about this. Because you've done this over Steam and you did an eight-man co-op game, like a couch co-op, you can play remotely over Steam. It's actually built right into Steam. You don't pay extra for it. You don't have to set up servers or anything like that. You can have people do Steam play together with this game, and you can all play together, like, and that's it. It's just done. It's really good. Looks cool, but you have no friends? We have forty or 64,000 people in the Discord. Go make some friends. You got them. There's enough people in there. Yeah. 
Kick some ass, dude. That's so good. I love this, by the way. This is nice. Controller required. Okay. That's good. Controller support is always good. Controller required is interesting. You can always add uh, mouse and keyboard later. You've got two reviews that are both saying positive. Those are the only reviews you have right now. Excellent couch PvP game to play with friends. Brings back the good old days of Towerfall. That's a good. That's high praise. That's nice. The good and the bad on this one. Local play only, but remote play together works like a dream. See that right there? That's exactly what I was talking about. Local play only, but remote play together works like a dream. Hey, that's exactly what you're shooting for. If you don't have the capability of setting up the networking model stuff, you don't have to worry about it on Steam. What's remote play? Remote play allows you to do remote playing with another person as if you were doing couch co-op. So somebody across the world can play with you as if you were in the same room with a, with a couch co-op game. A local co-op game works with this, which is fantastic. It's honestly good. So like, yeah, remote play together is one of the best features that Steam has, and it's free for developers. You just get it out of the box, right? This one says the ugly. I don't have enough couch co-op friends to fill the A-player roster. <laughs> this is actually really good feedback. I would set up something for like maybe four-player mode, right? Yeah. It's like online. I mean, yeah, it's it's not like online. It is online. It's just built right in. Yeah. It's a it's a built-in system for Steam. You can just do remote play together for any any local co-op game. I actually play Wizard of Legends with a couple of friends. Wizard of Legend is like a, a big, you know, favorite of mine. I enjoy that game. And it's really intense. You have to be very fast, and because of that, you need like low latency, and it works just fine over remote play together. It works great. And yeah, this is a fantastic first game. This really reminds me of... Oh god, what was that? Joust? That environment actually reminded me a shitload of Joust. Look at this. It's got lava across the bottom and everything. I don't know if you can see it because my screen is is doing it. But yeah, no, it's got it's got lava like Joust along the bottom. That looks great. That looks really good. Fantastic, dude. As a first game, you did it. This is this is more than you can ask for as a first game. You're gonna learn a ton of shit about this, and I hope a lot of people play it. Your game is a buck, so like memes, easy to get, right? That does look pretty fun, actually. Yeah, no, get it, get it, go play together, go play together. That's cool as hell. Congratulations, man. Hope you learn a lot of stuff. Keep making stuff. Faye underscore Viking underscore Princess with 500 bits said, "Hey, it's your local federal bird inspector again." Shit. I am not just FBI. I am also a hobbyist centaur surgeon. Contrary to popular belief, they are actually more closely related to angler fish than horses or humans. The upper human portion is actually just a decoy and has no organs in it and is only used to attract prey to come closer before attacking. They also have a natural predator which is the roc, which is a really big bird. How does it eat? Does, like, the chest open up as a mouth or some shit? If the top is fake, does it just... Um, you know, like... I don't... Stop thinking about it? I can't stop thinking about it. There's... I can't, I can't stop thinking about it. Next. Daniel Frankowski with 50 Polish Swatties said, Imagine it like Dwarf Fortress plus black and white. Ooh. It's too much for a newbie. But I'm dead set to do it XD. That's a lot. If it doesn't work out, I'll go back to university at 23. Am I insane? A little bit. That's a massive scope, dude. Like, j just uttering the words Dwarf Fortress, already massive scope. Uttering the words Black and White, already massive scope. You're shooting for something enormous, right? Understand that, yeah, that is attainable, but it may take a very long time for you to get there. And I generally tell people make something very small first so that you can learn a lot of things so that when you do approach a project of that size, it is much easier for you. You're you're biting off the big one there, dude. Like that's a that's a that's a tall order of game. That is a massive order of game. And I, I would I would be real with you. I would do something smaller first. I would absolutely do something smaller first. And um yeah, if you if you if you try to do Dwarf Fortress anything, it's that's a tough thing to do. Black and White was made by a team of people, I assume. So doing it as one person. It's not really about being a team or not a team. It's about the fact that the concepts involved with those types of games, heavy levels of AI to allow your your creature in black and white to work, uh heavy levels of, of AI in Dwarf Fortress to allow every one of the dwarves and all the interactions to work. That is a, a large amount of, of work and mostly a massive amount of testing. Massive, massive amount of testing. So it's 
it's just a huge amount of moving parts. Just a huge amount. And if you do manage to make something in, in quick order on that, it's probably going to be broken as shit. So I would I would generally try to do small projects first. Yeah. Tarn works 100% of his time and has done so for years. He's crazy productive. Yeah, no, Tarn's an um, incredible human being, dude. What's Dwarf Fortress? One of my favorite games of all time. I, I've played it for well over a decade. And then they finally released on Steam. And I'm going to be real with you. We were finally able to pay him and his brother for their work. Let me pull this up. Boop. You going to open? You going to do it? There we go. Yeah, Bay 12. Two dudes. And now Kit Fox is their publisher and helped them bring it to Steam. And it's brilliant, dude. Absolutely brilliant. They do have a Patreon, but this is just so much better being able to do this. I've got it on the Steam version. I've got 94 hours on record. On outside of that, I have... I probably have about 5,000 hours in Dwarf Fortress. I think I have about 5,000 hours. And if you watched me play Dwarf Fortress, I, all I do is I read all the stories as we go through. So, like, we'll have a battle, and I'm like, let's read how the battle went down. Let's read all the psychological damage to every dwarf. Like, this is what I love. I love it. It's so much fun for me. Because it's like... It's like watching a D&D &D game play out in front of you. And it's fantastic. What's that? Everything that happens in Dwarf Fortress is... Basically, everything is simulated. All of it. And I'll give an example. They added a patch one time that said, hey, bees have been added to the game. Yeah, actually, 5,000 real hours. Yes. I've played Dwarf Fortress more than you could possibly imagine. I love the shit out of Dwarf Fortress, dude. Like here, I'll, I'll give you an example. Let's just give you a small example. Uh, on stream, we actually had a battalion of dwarves that went off and fought a battalion of goblins, and it was raining at the time. The entire battalion of, of goblins got wiped out. All but, like, I think two dwarves died. And the dwarves came back. And one of the dwarves was just so seasoned, he was brilliant at combat. The other one, his mind broke. So we sent him to go work in other areas and, and try to become a performer. He wanted to go and do his side side thing of being a performer. And he ended up joining a, one of the cults. And he, he became a performer for one of the churches, right? That guy, we went and built a new battalion. He was the leader of that battalion. Goblins raided again. He had to go back to lead his new troops into battle. Now a grizzled veteran. But guess what? It was raining again. When he entered the fray, he froze in fear because the memory of the day he watched his friends die, coupled with the rain, caused him PTSD. And he froze. He could no longer fight. And he stood still in the middle of the fray as all of his newfound troops went and fought the goblins. They did win that day, but he was never the same. I had to switch him off so he was no longer the leader of those battalions. He could no longer go to battle. He could still train them, but he couldn't go to battle. Dwarf Fortress simulates everything. Everything that's ever happened. And it's all permanent, and it all matters. I'll give you an example. I had another one. They're also idiots, by the way. They could be idiots. I had another one where, there, where I had like a pathway that was kind of like this. And dwarves really like when mist hits them. They get, a, they get a happy thought when they get mist, right? So like I had some, some like water, an underground aqueduct that was kind of like this. And I, we, had, we had found the aqueduct. The water was all on this side. And I was like, okay, I'm going to make a grate here. Because if you make a grate, then mist goes through the grate. And that all the dwarves that go past, they're like, oh, happy. You know, they'd be like, oh, let's be a happy thought. It'd be great. So we made that. And for months, it was like happy thought, happy thought. And then suddenly, everybody in the town was sad. Everybody in the fortress was sad. And they started to have infighting, and everybody was upset all the time. Well, this is a major thoroughfare, right? All the dwarves went past this. And I had tried to isolate what was going wrong, but I couldn't see anything that was wrong. And then I found out everybody who went here was having the sad thought. I was like, what the hell's going on, right? Turns out, the dwarf that went to go make this great, yeah, he made it from this side. And then he drowned. And then his corpse went up against this grating. And I couldn't see it. But the dwarves could see him as they went past. The skeleton pushed up against the grate. And they were like, oh. Oh, I don't like seeing that. And my whole society collapsed. Because one dwarf was a dumbass. Welcome to Dwarf Fortress. It's some wild shit. It's some seriously wild shit. I love the hell out of that game, dude. I love the hell out of that game. 
You don't win Dwarf Fortress. You die in style. That's how it works. You find the fun. Yeah, losing in Dwarf Fortress is fine because you're like, what? What just happened? Yeah, put a poster over it. Whatever. A phenomenal game, dude. It is the most well-simulated game you've ever seen in your life. You know, you, any, any other simulation game that you've ever thought of, this is their granddad. Similar to RimWorld, RimWorld exists because of Dwarf Fortress. You know how the games that I make are echoes of things I played on Super Nintendo? Any of those that you've seen, like RimWorld, those are echoes of Dwarf Fortress. This is what they came from. This game what is what spawned all of those. And it's brilliant, dude. It is absolutely insane, and it is still being updated today. Still. Because they're wild, right? Just incredible human beings working on this. Yeah. No, they're fantastic, dude. Sounds like an interesting game. It's one of my favorites of all time. I love the shit out of Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress is a RimWorld clone shot. <laughs> <You're> the worst. <laughs> Ugh, I can't believe Earthbound ripped off Undertale. Ugh. God damn it, dude. You're the worst. Actual worst. Is it laggy? Dwarf Fortress can be as performant or non-performant as you want it to be. <laughs> let me let me explain something. Dwarf Fortress used to be fully ASCII art. It used to be fully ASCII art. Let me show you this. Dwarf Fortress. So, ASCII art was kind of the way, right? Let me show you. And now understand, this is not a computationally expensive thing to display this, obviously. Right? This is what it used to look like. Yeah, so... um. This would max out your processor. In fact, it probably still can, even on modern hardware. Because it can simulate everything. They released a patch one time that was like, bees have been added to the world. But it wasn't just bees. It was a bee sting on any part of the body. It was bee tending. It was keeping hives. It was honey. It was honey in any type of recipe. It was honey adding value to a recipe. It was honey going bad. It was cats interacting with honey. It was adding bees to the universe. That's what it is. That's the point of it. There's all kinds of shit that can happen. But can honey go bad? If you get it wet, yeah. Mix it up with some other shit. Watch what happens. Gets weird. Spill it on the floor. See what happens. Welcome to Dwarf Fortress. Wild shit. You can make some mead. Yeah, there's a whole mead making process. They added like a mead station for that. There's all kinds of shit, dude. There's all kinds of shit. And bee stings and hives got entered to the world and bee tending and so much weird shit. And that's kind of how it works. How do you even learn to play this? Seems very complex. You learn to play it by playing it. And you fail each time and you get a little bit better each time. Dwarf Fortress is the perfect game for you to understand that failing is okay. Because there's no way to win. There's just ways to fail and start again. And it takes time. And it's fun. Yeah, cats dying because they licked alcohol off their fur. That was a thing for a long time. And it's still kind of a thing. No win condition at all? No, not really. There's not really a win condition. Uh, eventually you'll dig too deep. Eventually starvation will set in. Eventually the modern horrors of society will spiral out of control. Eventually, someone will go mad, or become possessed, or a vampire will sneak into your place. Eventually, you'll find a something, a plague, whatever it's going to be. And that's not even a joke, dude. Like, you'll set up an inn, and then, like, all these outsiders will come in, and then suddenly one of your dwarves will be found bloodless. And you're like, oh, great. Or maybe one of your guys will get attacked by a werewolf. And it'll be fine for a little while. But you didn't check, did you? You didn't look at the combat log because it was long. And there's too much data in there. And then, then a couple of weeks later. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. He's turned into a werebore and everyone's dead. You know. That's how that shit works. Happens every time. Go play. Go play it. It's a great game. Limester with $5 said how much to donate for you to come in a ferret suit to the awards show. <laughs> Where would I even get that? Oh wait, the internet. No. Bleach Synodai with Won't 10 Brazilian reals said fun fact. White hair is stronger than black hair because the melanin that gives it color makes it weaker, so if you're graying before you start balding, it's likely you'll have hair way into your 60s. I talked about this at the beginning of the stream. I've had a single white strand of hair 
for like months. And I woke up today and I was like looking at my hair in the mirror and I have a bunch of them now all in the same area. I'm going gray and I'm so excited for it, to be honest with you. No, I'm actually, no, I'm, I'm fine with this. This is fantastic. I have wanted this forever. I am finally going to turn into a goddamn wizard. And it's, it's happening before I bald. Mm. I am so excited for that. And it is spreading. I have hoped, I, I have had that one white hair and I was like, oh, stay, stay. And it's finally stayed. It's like the fully, like super long length of hair, just the full length. And it's just, just a bunch, bunch of white hair on the same. I'm so excited for it. Some people get upset about it. They're like, oh, I'm graying. I better dye my hair. No, no, own that shit. Own that shit. Turn into a goddamn wizard. Grow a beard? That'll never happen. That part can't happen. I, I can't grow a beard. It's sad. It's sad to look at. No one wants that. Dees121 said, what is your take on game modding? Do you think mods make community more engaged with games? Depends. Um, I think modding a single player game is fine. I think modding a multiplayer game where you gain an advantage over other players and ruin their experience is kind of dog shit. And, you know, that's kind of what it is. If you're modding your own local experience, cool. Whatever. Have fun. I have any issues with that. Yeah, we're waiting for the ads, then we'll do Power World after the ads. Next alert. Bleach Synodai with five Brazilian reals said if you're curious about fursuits, a great webzone is matrices.net. There's a section just with fursuit making tutorials, and the art is adorable. I can finally be a mushroom. Thank you for this knowledge. Do you play Screeps World? I used to before it was pay to win. Can I play with you in Power World? Yes. You should be able to. We could have the mods in, Wolf. Yeah, if, you, if the mods want to come in, we can do that. Let me get the game set up real fast. Oop. I'm going to switch all the content over so we have it all set up correctly and category and all that fun stuff. We got ads, too. Oh, hey, guess what arrives today? The gold play button, my dude. The gold play button arrives today. Soon. Oh god. God, one moment. Let's knock something over. How do you TTS? It happens during ad breaks while I'm playing video games. So I'm going to unpin this, unpin that message. We're going to unpin this message so that it's not incentivized because we do less TTSs during video gaming. Man, I'm excited for this. They've made a patch as well. All right. So, our world early access launch. It's been released on early access today. Check out the changes from media advanced play version here. So we had the media advanced version before. 
For frequently asked questions and instructions for multiplayer, please check the QA link below. To address the issues of structures blocking the spawning of Alpha Pals, so I guess those are bosses, right? They've designated the area around Alpha Pals spawn locations as non-buildable. We didn't build near one of those, so that's fine. We don't care about that. That's great. Uh, numerous bug fixes, including issues of lack of ambient sound. Good. That's a good fix. And malfunctioning illegal intrusion areas in the second and third restricted zones. Do they mean the dome around the tree? Can we go to the tree now? Hmm. 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 What? Do I have to make a new world? Does my version not work anymore? I just clicked it twice. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, oh god. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, we're good. I somehow have enhanced stats. Oh, I have points. What do I use these points in? Work speed. That's kind of nice. 50 whole work speed? Two attack, that's worthless. A hundred HP. I really want a hundred HP, I don't think. Is this a gaming day? I mean, it wasn't really. And the chat really wanted it. Everybody wanted this damn thing. You all wanted Power World, I understand. Oh, I actually need to go update the YouTube one, too. Launch there. And... Power World. Directly displaying a variable check? Early access. Doesn't matter. Not worried about it. So what are we going to enhance for our stats? Save and reload? Already in. Doesn't matter. I think I want to do work speed, but then I make all the pals do it for me. There's no point to it. I don't really want to do that. I'm going to do health. Yeah, I'm going to do health. 100 HP seems really good. All right. I need to hide this for a moment, because there's an invite code. Oh wait, no. They're actually awesome and they made the invite code invisible. So... Mods, I'm putting this in the mod channel. Alright, I'll let the mods know. It is in the mods channel. I don't know if it just worked, but we'll find out in a minute. Chronos Burgers? Maybe. I want to see if I can capture one of you. I just want to see if... You know, we... I just want to see. Don't make it... It's not weird. Can we not join you? I'm doing it with the mods first because it's peer-to-peer. -peer, so the mods will get my IP address. Not the best, right? When we get a dedicated server, we're all going to play together. I'm going to be setting up a dedicated server for this, though. So do keep that in mind. Yeah. There will be a dedicated server. We will do that. No PvP, so kind of doubtful. I guess that's true. Hmm. I sound like Howard Stern. Hey, now. Baba Booey. Is that what you, is that what you came here for? I feel like it was, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Uh, what if the mods capture you? No. Impossible. I'm too fast. Can't happen. There's guns? Yes. I'm high enough up the tech tree that I actually have a gun. Also, mods, I don't know if this worked or not. The match you are trying to join is running an incompatible version of the game. Please try upgrading your game version. Oh. It's because I'm on the, on the old save, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. 
Because I, I think it's updated. Let me let me try to go to title. I'm going to exit, and we're going to see if we can do this. Give me a moment. I'm going to quit the game, and I'm going to see if it'll allow me to update anything. This is Pal World running. Let me see if it'll update. It does not believe that there is an update. But also, I have other things running. So I'm going to quit some other stuff. Yeah, we'll see if we can get this to work. Opt-in update? I don't think it's opt-in. A lot of stuff on Steam won't update. Oh, wait, no, it's got an update queued now. Hold up. There's an update queuing. Yeah. I had to end all my other programs, and it's got a 1.2 gig update. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm in the experimental branch still. That's the problem. You just got an update? Yeah, I got a 1.2 gig update. Oh, wait, no. Now it's patching. By the way, 1 gig fiber, by the way. Yeah, no, it's already done. It's already done. 1.2 gigs is finished. It's patching now. It's got a 20 gig patch. It's doing it. Yeah, I've got a I've got a one gig connection. Yeah. How you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? Yeah, it wasn't updated apparently. It has patched six gigs out of the twenty gigs already. Envy is not jealous. Godlike speed. Yeah, no, it's it's a one gig symmetric connection fiber. I need to. <sighs> We're gonna be moving sometime soon in this year and I need to find another place that also has fiber so that'll be a thing yeah that'll be a thing it's like better dude no yeah logistics why move uh the crime here is really bad like we've had three shootings in the street right next to me and um my whole neighborhood has graffiti from the crips and the bloods and they're fighting over the territory because they'll Spray paint in blue, and then they cross it out in red, and then they cross it out in blue, and then they cross it out in red. I don't want to be here. It's scary shit. Yeah. It's not good. It's a really bad spot. It wasn't an issue until the pandemic, and now it's like, it's dangerous, dude. Like, it's, I don't go outside kind of shit. Will the house sell? I likely won't sell the house. I'm likely going to hold on to it, and um, I will most likely rent it out, frankly. And I'll rent it out for very cheap. Mo uh, some of the mods actually wanted to build a mod house, which would be kind of cool. So we could just make that be a thing. Yeah, mod house. Mods wanted to do a mod house, which I think would be fun. The going rate for rent around here is like 1400 so I could do it for not that, obviously. It would be stupid. Dangerous, yes, but fiber? Yeah. Mods wanted to do mod house. And if I can make a cheap arrangements for them, then I'm going to do that. Or no, no cost arrangements. We can even do that. It's kind of whatever. We'll figure it out. Mods don't leave the house anyway. True. Yeah, Thor, real estate mogul. I know. I just... Here's the reason I want to sell it. I have a 30-year fixed loan at 2.75%. Why would I sell that? I got it before the pandemic. Back when the rates didn't make... Like, back when they made sense. And now they're like 8%. Like, there'd be no reason to get rid of that shit. Frankly. I got it before the pandemic. I spent every dollar that I had to make sure that I could get a house. Yeah, fixed for 30 years, dude. <laughs> At 2.75% too, which was high at the time. You That's so high, it's like 8% now. The best you can get is like 7.5-8% now. So there's no point in me getting rid of it. That'd be a wild thing. The rate is really good in today's numbers. Back then it was like, ooh, that's a bit high. And now it's like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> there's no reason to get rid of it now. I got mine on a half acre at 3%. God, that's good. Prioritizing the house. Yep. I was very house poor for a long time. For a long time. And it was super worth it. Four in Germany? Yeah, here in the US, 2.75% was, was quite high. We had 2% be a normal. Landthor, dude. It's very funny. Okay, I'm updating all my stuff. Uh, it's patched. Everything's cool. You had to update your Steamwork Common Reduce as well? I think it did that for me too. I'm going to start a game. We're going to go back to Bongo Island. Failed to host multiplayer session. Please check your internet connection. Just hit it again. No problems now. It's fine. 
Yeah, my internet sucks, dude. What up? Okay. We are now here. Oh, no. My boy. My boy's broken. Please. Alright, good. Let's just... Oh. Let's just do one of these. Fantastic. Alright, we've got everything we need. Yeah, game day again. Uh, a lot of people want to play this right now. I'm going to copy that invite code over again. The invite code has changed. Mods. I believe. I believe it has changed. Yes, it has. It looks like it changes every time I start the server. So. I've sent it over to the moderators. Going to be the rent guy from Spider-Man? Nah, dude. Like, the way that I handle it is this. If I am going to have the moderators live in the house, there's going to be some kind of a monthly cost, but it's not going to be utilities. It's not going to be all that shit. I don't want that to be it. That sucks. And it's not going to be the going rate for the neighborhood, because the going rate for the neighborhood is stupid. It's like $1,400, $1,500 a month, which is just dumb. It's just dumb. I'll just make it a percentage of whatever the mortgage is, which is like nothing. It's like $1,000. Yes, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. Make it tiny. Why do your mods need a house? Moderators want to have a mod house. I think that's fine. They want to do that. Want the mods be in danger from the crime, though? If they want to live in a mod house, and I have the mod house, I'm just going to let them live in the mod house. How about you feed them bread and water? Nah, I'm going to give them a house. It's different. <laughs> if they want to set up a mod house and they want this to happen, I will do whatever is in my power to make them have a mod house. That's how that works. Dear God. Fangirls who can't contain their love. A raid. Chet. The fangirls are upon us. We only have one gun. The horror. Where are they? Oh, wait. They're coming from the top of the mountain. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. I gotta reload. Ah! I'll catch it. Maybe. That thing's running away, dude. Where's it going? All right. Damn it. I didn't reload. Where's it going? What the hell is this? What is this havoc? I see that Kronos is actually in the game. Eat it. I gotta fully reload. Kronos. Kronos, I have to try. You wiggling? You wiggling, dude? I missed. <laughs> Wait, we're still under attack. Oh, there's one all the way up there. I don't think you can hit people, actually. Here, come over here real quick. Yeah, no, you can't hit people. PvP is off. Downside to muskets? Yeah, dude. There's no way to hit anybody. One the 1776 reload? It's a musket, dude. It's the lowest tier of gun you can make. PvP is off, yeah. There's no PvP in the game yet. Maybe tickets will damage him? Sign up for our Ashes of Creation guild. It is the way. Defeat Kronos. Using the ticketing system. Is the max level just 100? We have no idea. So muskets stop being used in warfare? No, we just got better at making more muskets, frankly. A machine gun is just many muskets all at once. Let's be honest. Where are you? What are you doing, sir? Nice. <laughs> hey! We love a good headshot into a capture. 
Feels good, man. PvP no, cool hats, yes. Yeah, uh, feel free to use my facilities to build stuff, guys. If you want to, like, organize things and use stuff in there, that's great. It looks like one of my dudes is incapacitated, which does suck. Unfortunate. My bee garden. He's very sad now. Who are we going to replace him with? Um... What does Ferocious do? He's just got more attack. Alright, you go out there. Enjoy. More dragon. Yeah, if you need stuff, I got a bunch of stuff. Is that Pokemon with guns? Damn right it is. That's Power World, my dude. I need to get rid of a bunch of shit. Um... Yeah, I basically have everything that you need in the starting zone. Because you've got food production here, you've got power storage, everything. Anything that you need, you've got it right now. Also, I have a Lovender in my team. Where's my other pal? I normally have a pal with me. I don't remember who it is. It's the Vanguard one. That's what it is. All we need, adding to your guild? How do I add you to my guild? Uh, it says hold F to join guild. How do I make a guild? Guild. Guildmaster. Yeah, you have to hold F on me, Kronos. I do approve. Join the guild. You are now in pirate software. Yeah, you have to come over to me and then, like, join on me. Which is weird. Look at this go. Like, dude, go. Look at him. Brilliant. I should probably repair this at some point. It's, like, fully under attack. Okay, so... This would be cool. That would also be cool. Because those mounts are faster. Hmm. None of my shit's getting broken all of it. Hmm. Checking the use console commands to check if you can turn on PvP. I don't believe PvP is available yet. I think we were talking about that before. Like, world options didn't allow it before, so I don't really know. Yeah, there we go. Get Wolf in. Metal shelf set. So you can make a metal shelving set. That's kind of cool. Mounted crossbows out there. I'm sure you're a great dude. I'm just wary of pirates. Y'all are hard, dude. <laughs> this game MMO, or you need to start your own server. It's server-based. Yeah, your your own server. So they they have dedicated servers that you can get that are 32 players. But this is an early access. This is like early early days shit, man. And they're um, the amount of content on offer is enormous. It's actually huge. Why does the silo look like that? I don't know. It's a silo. We why are you mad? Allow the silo to look the way that it wants. I can use PvP by mentioning Ashes of Creation. You mean the hit video game that Kronos has to solve all the tickets for? And if you do exclamation point AOC in chat, and then join that, he'll actually have to go and handle those tickets. Incredible, right? <laughs> Here, I'll link it a whole bunch of times. All you have to do is go there, and then make a ticket, and then he has to deal with it. And you'll PvP him right off of the server, as a result. Hey, wait, the Goblin, Gobvin's turf. There's a level 30 war sect over there. Tower of Free Pal Alliance, that's another one. I've gotten some of this visualized, but there's so much map in this map. I think I want to go down there. There's something down there, and I don't know what it is. Let's put a marker there. We'll put it down there for our location. Is this free? No, it's t like 26 bucks, dude. What? What is happening up here now? Do you see this? This is a new and improved problem. This is very funny. Let's just make all those berries. 
Are you going to do it? Okay, at least they're still working. That's fine. Alright. That's good. We're getting a ton of XP as they cook those, so that's great. Who is not doing this? Sir? You have a job now. Your job is to stand over here and work this machine forever. Do it. What? It said it fixes assignment to the tree. That's not correct. Excuse me. What? Oh, God damn it! That one's already taken it. Fine. I guess the job is supposed to be on this side? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, there we go. Does multiplayer work for you? Yeah. Yeah, we got Kronos and Wolf in here right now. What? God damn it, he's hungry. If only the pals didn't need food. Maybe we can engineer a pal that is... ...not needing food. Hmm. I have 42 pounds of berries. Just gonna throw those in there real fast. Uh, Frankenstein and Paladin never go hungry? True. I could do this. Got all this fiber now. I'm trying to get as much fiber as possible so I can build that silo. Where is me silo? Oh, also the power generator needs to happen at some point. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going to place it. I'll probably place it in the back somewhere. Maybe like over here where this tree is right now. It's so tiny. There we go. Now they'll go and build the damn thing. Look at them go. Build my tiny silo. Tiny looks average size to you? It's fine. It's not Wednesday, you're right. You're right, it's not Wednesday, dude. Uh, put that in there. We've got this gunpowder wool, which I don't really know what to do with the wool right now. We'll put this in there. Berry seeds that we really don't need. Flame organ. And ingots. And a metal spear. Any of you guys want a metal spear? There, wolf. You're the closest to me. Have a metal spear. I have a gun, so I don't really need that. Yeah, my ammo. Need to make some more of that. Where is my small-handed goblin creature? Where are you? I don't know where she went. Oh. 
You. You with your tiny hands. I need you to make me ammunition. What? No. You son of a bitch. It's not working. It's not working. What is she trying to work on? Seriously? She has an upgrade for this. We had her doing this before. Yeah, they're unionizing already. No, I don't want you working on this. You have one job, and your job is to make me weapons with your tiny childlike hands. That's what you do. You make me weapons. And I'm closing this door until you figure it out. You don't get to harvest. No harvesting for you. That's it, you're going back in the box. What? Fine. Going back in the box. I didn't want to do this, you made me. You made me do it. How is she still working in the box? You don't get to harvest. Why are you throwing them? That's how you assign them to tasks. And I need these done. God damn it. Fine. <laughs> it is humane. Her tiny hands were made for making weapons. I need to find out why it's prioritizing that, because it really shouldn't be. You should be able to assign them. That's how it was working before. And she's not supposed to be doing this. She's supposed to be assigned to that station. I wish there was a way to assign them, like, directly from the station instead of throwing them. Legitimately. I think that's one of the biggest things that I, I would like changed. Is, like, I want to go to the station and, like, select it and then assign to that. We got ads, by the way. We're going to wait for the ads. They remove handiwork for them? No. She's still got it. She's just broken. I know it says there's no jobs, but there's clearly a job assigned to that station. I know there's ads, that's why we're waiting. Huh. Move the table outside. You can't move them, you have to destroy them and you don't get all your materials back. Is Norton a good antivirus anymore? Was Norton ever a good antivirus? I mean, to be honest with you. Even if there wasn't, you should be able to fix the assignment at the table. Yeah, I agree. I fixed it, though, by the way. I just had to wait for her to finish harvesting for whatever goddamn reason. She's doing it now. It's fixed. Waiting on the ads. They maybe can't start a new task without finishing a prior task. That might be what it is. Semantic is fine for corporate establishments, not for individual users. How do you have so many palace spheres? Uh, using Vixie to farm them. For free. Waiting on those ads. We've almost got it. There we go. Ads are done. So, Vixie digs up palace spheres, and you just get them. They're just free. It's awesome, actually. It's not child labor. They're just small. They have tiny hands. Good for making weapons. Why can't I repair this? What? 
repair kits work for buildings, not for stuff like this. This requires the material. Everything else repairs. Probably need the schematics. I might need the schematic on me. That's a good point. Let's go find out. No, because I didn't need the schematic for my hat. Nope. No idea. Because it's purple? That eh, doesn't really explain anything, though. That's just a bug. Looks like a bug. Don't know what's wrong with it. Not really sure. Build once, never repair? Eee, that would make it unique and bad. That's the only one that does that, so you might be right, but I hope you're not. But yes, please make sure to restock all the things. Oh yeah, we can't sleep at night because there's three of us now. Oh well. I'm going up to my other base and collecting materials. Are the mods surviving the night and cold? I don't know. Maybe. It's pretty dark out here, to be honest with you. Well, this is bad. What can I drop? It's two pounds of junk. I need to drop 17 pounds of stuff. Fit one more? Oh, can't. Fit. How do you like the game so far? Love it, dude. I need to make a hip lamp, but I can't yet. There we go. I'm making 47 more ingots. We'll call that one a day. Let's see where we can go right now. How do we get a hip lamp? I think that's in my tech tree. Yeah, it's this right here. I need to get two technology points, which means I gotta go beat another boss. Which sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Sucks. Where can I find another boss? We can't beat that one. I guess I can go kill Catrus. That's possible. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we're going to go get some fast travel. Get up there and do it. It's time to go kill a boss. Killing a boss. Get my mamma rest out. Where are we going? South. Are you ready? You ready to murder a boss? And then capture them inside of a pal sphere. Because it's funny. Have I found Lovender yet? Yes, I have. I also made a gun. It's pretty good, I think. It's a pretty good gun, right? I'm a wizard, that's why I have the witch hat, right? I got the little wizard hat on, and my spell is gun. It's true. Entering dungeon time. Yeah. <laughs> Slam, dude. Just get wrecked. Only 53 damage on that one. Ooh! Right in the face. It's working. It's only got 686 HP left. 
Ellis. But as close to the bottom as I can get. Oh. I have a couple of gigaspheres. We're gonna. Oh wait. Guess I don't need them. Guess I don't need them. Feels fun. Feels good, man. I need one more point. Yeah, feels good. Can you farm bosses? Yeah, you can. Yep. And if you catch them multiple times, you can actually get more stuff. This game worth getting? I love it. I'm having a blast with it, dude. There is a statue over there. Let's go get it. My body is ready. Apparently this game is good. Yeah, dude. I love it. I enjoy the shit out of it. It reminds you of Ark? Yeah. Think of it like Ark plus Pokemon plus gun. Why is it so dark? It's the middle of the night and I don't have a lamp. Lighting actually matters in this. Do you want to be the very best? No, I kind of just want to, you know, kind of just want to do that, to be honest with you. Frankly. I don't really need to be the very best when I made a musket. You know? I want to be the most efficient. That's what I want to be. Yeah. Oh, there's another one up there. So we got one there, we got one there, we got one there. So that's going to be a couple of extra... Lift Monk statues? Lift Monk effigies? I want to be America. Yeah, exactly. I want to be USA. Why do you need the statues? They increase the amount of catch rate that you have in all, from all PAL spheres. So the more of these that you get, the easier it is to catch other PALs. And there's three right there, which is huge. You can see them at night, but you can't really see them during the day. So the idea is that at nighttime, you go and explore and find as many Lift Monk statues, Lift Monk effigies as possible. And then during the day, you do other stuff, right? Is there stamina? But yeah, that's what that orange bar is that you see going downwards. <coughs> Is there an SMG? Yes, there is. Also a bazooka. Yeah. Any nukes? Uh, you can chain bomb a bunch of, like, other stuff. Ooh, that is a high-level dude. Hold up. Where'd he go? Huh. Really? Uh. Oh. I'm mad now. Yeah. Huh. Oh my god, he's so high up. Oh. I can't hit you because you're all the way up there. You big bitch. Got him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I got all day. Yeah. Oh. Huh. This sucks. I have to climb up, yeah. But he's gonna shoot me off of this thing. Go to climb and he comes back down. Really need better balls? No! I have unlimited of these. Why would I need better ones? There's no point. See? Everything's fine. Thanks. Nice. Got a large scorching egg. That's useful. So I think there was another one over this way. 
but now I'm disoriented because we were fighting a dude. There it is. So there's that one, and then there's one on the tip of the mountain up there. Big game hunting, dude. Oh. You ever just... You ever just get XCOM'd in your life? You ever do that? We do that. Do you need to buy and craft them? You have to buy and craft them. So what I did was I found these these pals called Vixies, and then you put them in a ranch. And then when they're in the ranch, they randomly generate pal spheres. So now I just have infinite pal spheres. I've got like over 300 of them. Which is really funny. Because they find them. And everyone's like, you should get a better pal sphere. And I'm like, no, I'm just going to use the shittiest one because I have unlimited ones. Yeah. And that's it. Can you upgrade the pals to get you better ones? I think so. Because as you upgrade them, they get better, uh, like, levels of it. And we don't know what it is. Right? I'm rapidly approaching my PC. Good luck, Zephroth. We have three people on the server right now. You could be the fourth. What is that? What are you? He's level 30. All right. He's level 30, and he's a water type. Get out of here. You don't want any part yeah. of this. Time to rock. Mamoros is getting a little bit owned. Oh, what? Wow. Those have a little bit of homing on them. Jesus. Emerus, you gonna do anything? You just gonna stand there? Ow. Got him in the head. Memorus is going down. Ow. I'm on fire. Go, Chickapee. You're enormous. Detonate on him. A worthy sacrifice. I don't know what my Mamorous is doing right now, but he's being an idiot. Ow. I would like my tank monster to be a tank monster right now. He's just doing nothing. Oh, he's getting his ass kicked. That's what he's doing. What? I don't even know what just hit me. Something stupid in nearby? Oh, god damn it. Where did it go?
What the hell? Shit. That did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. Just an extra random monster. God damn it. Son of a bitch. There was a bug on that, and I got an extra ad, which was ass. Where did I even die? I died all the way up there. All right. I'm not going to have anything on me. I'm going to have to get back over there immediately. Great. It wasn't about the better balls. It was about not dying to stupid bullshit. Which I died to stupid bullshit immediately. Where the moderators at? Mod check? They're in the video game. Where are you at? My chicken is super dead. My balls are fine, chat. How dare you? How dare you speak ill of my balls like this? They have caught many a pal. Alright? My balls bring all the pals to the yard. And you will respect them. How dare you? Just gotta go pick up all my junk off the floor. Alright? Alright. No longer dead. That thing's back at full HP. Fantastic. Now where's these, this bullshit that showed up in the middle of my battle? Where'd that thing go? You. Is that you? Wherever it is, I'm finding it and murdering it. I need to find wherever that thing went. I need to kill it. Because I don't see... What is that? You're not even the one. But I'm killing you anyway. There. Does the game have an overarching story? It seems more mechanics-based. Yeah. We are doing any butchering today? Maybe. Likely. I got lettuce seeds just now. I didn't even have lettuce before. Oh, it's... Okay. I didn't want to fight you right now, but alright. It's fine, I guess. No, I think I'm gonna run right now. Catch any humans yet? A lot of them. Yeah, a lot of humans. We butchered them a bunch, too. I really don't want to have a round two right now. Like, I'm trying to find that other creature that was over there. What even just hit me? <laughs> just something... Unviewable. Can you climb all rock faces? Yeah, you can. Humans sell for a lot in game? No, they don't. They actually sell for very small amounts. What does one get from butchering? Satisfaction. And food. How did that even hit me? Yoink. Alright. Let's try this... maybe again. But if I get an ad this time, I'm stopping the fight to murder it. Did I just miss on my opening shot? I'm a genius, dude. Nice. This is good. Somehow I have out aggroed my large creature. This is good.
rough. That hurts. My armor was just destroyed. My helmet. Yeah. I don't even know what just hit me. Those went invisible and I think they still hit me. It's a bug. For sure. Nice. Yeah. Something's wrong with that attack. Get down. Oh my god, there's another one of the damn things. It's these extra ads that are the problem right now, dude. Jesus Christ, dude. These freaking ads, man. I just gotta kill him. We'll kill him, kill him later. Yeah, no, it's too much. We'll catch him again later. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we ended up killing him. It's fine. 0.05%. There's no way I was gonna do it. That fight is way too close. Can you only have one pal in play at a time? Yes, unless you're using special pal passives. Some of them will allow you to have multiple out at a time. These ads are obnoxious, though, in that fight. I'm just- I'm finding something that's dramatically higher level than me. Thankfully, I can just one-shot a lot of these. What I can do, though, is now that I've killed that, now we get access to the Hip Lantern, which is what I really wanted out of that fight. So, I'm fine with that. Not a bother for me. What level am I? Not level 30, I'll tell you that much. Let me see where I'm at. I am level 26. But I don't have enough, like, gear for that. And my helmet broke in the very beginning. Yeah, there's a dungeon here. I don't want to do a dungeon just yet. Not currently. I need to get back to base. I want to make my hip lantern. Do bosses just wake up? No, no, they're dead, dude. It shows that funny little, like, physics body, but it's just, they're dead. Dear God. See, we have guns now? Yeah. I have a... I have a musket. I am getting XCOM to shit today. Look at this. How many balls do you have? 322 left. I've moved beyond the need. Look at this x comic, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. 
You just gonna you just gonna do this all day? Is that what you're gonna do? You're gonna, you know, I got all day too. I got all day. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I got all day for this. I got all day for this. All day, man. No, I'm yeah. I'm not going to smash its face, dude. Yeah. At this point it's it's mandatory that I catch it. All right. I'm not going to kill it. Oh. No. At this point I have to catch it. It's personal now. It is. I'm down to 308 balls left. Yeah. I have to. It's important. Yeah. This matters. All right. It's not sunk cost. Paid. Yeah, first try, dude. Uh, my bird's still alive. Bird's alive. That's good. This place is kind of brutal, man. Okay, we're going to head back to base so I can reactivate my dudes. Because some of them died in that fight. Oh, wait. There's a free dude over there. Please dismount. Thank you. We got ads. We got ads! Oh, we got ads and monsters are attacking me out of nowhere. God damn it. There's no escape, Chet. There. They're dead now. What is happening? Death. Because ads. I had to murder them. Everything around here is highly aggressive. I'm teleporting back to the base. It's fine. Oh. Missed the part where you shot someone in the face? I'm always shooting someone in the face. Alright, who in my party is dead? Who crits? <laughs> I don't think that's good, WK Nazgul. You should love yourself. By the way. It's underscore LDJ cute. with 500 bits said Ahoy Almighty Thor. Praise Hello. be to the Wigglers. The question I have is what is your opinion on the in-game backseating that happens from NPCs that seems to be happening more and more, most notably it. in God of War Ragnarok with it. Atreus. I hate Navi in video games. I hate Atreus in video games. I hate... Or Atreyu, whatever the hell. Atreus, whatever. I hate all that shit. I hate it. I hate the boy solving puzzles for you. I hate every follower that solves puzzles for you. Shut up and don't answer my puzzle. Like, don't solve the puzzle for me until I ask you. And if I don't ever ask you, shut up. Like, don't speak. Just sit in the corner and shut up. I hate that, dude. I hate that that kid would just run up and be like, Hey, Dad, did you know you could solve this puzzle by throwing your axe over there? Did you know that? Shut up. Shut up. Sit in the corner. Don't solve a puzzle for me. I hate that shit. I hate it, dude. God, it's the worst. I, I am sick of the necessity of, like, the, the desire for developers right now to solve the puzzle for the dumb player. Let the player strive to solve the puzzle, and when they do, they will feel good about it. Give them a chance, and they will feel good about it. If you have to handhold every player that goes through your game, they learn nothing, and all of society gets dumber as a result, because you don't have to have critical thinking to play these types of games. God damn it. It is so annoying. I hate Navi. I hate the boy in Ragnarok. I hate it. I hate it. I will always hate it. It is one of the most annoying things on the planet to me, and it's something I wish was not in our industry. 
It sucks. It really sucks. Like, it's, it's not even an accessibility issue. It is a, I'm going to solve the puzzle for you because I'm going to solve the puzzle for you. And that's it. It, it blows, dude. It, it takes critical thinking skills away from people who play games as well. It makes them irrelevant. And I just don't understand the point of that. Yeah, until I ask. That's the thing. If you want to have the option for it, sure. Make it be an option. An option. That's the point. It needs to be an option. And there's so many times where I see this where a game just gives you the answer without it being an option. And it ruins the experience for me. If I want to go to them and be like, you know what, I need a hint. Fine. But if I'm not asking for a hint, shut up. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's just, it bothers the shit out of me. I'll never put that stuff in our games. Ever. It just, it's so annoying. It's deeply annoying. Mm, let's see. So I got three of these dudes farming right now. What do we got in here? They got six minutes left on their debuff timers. And my armor is thrashed. Let's go repair some stuff. That is not my incubation. Whose incubator is that? You guys incubating? Sick. All my stuff broke real bad. Oh, this could be repaired suddenly. Out of nowhere. Fantastic. Uh, let's see here. Gale Claw Poultry. Nice. Nice. So since I went and picked up all of those effigy statues, I'm going to take that over here. Almost have enough. So I need five more and then I can enhance capture power again. And that's sort of the idea is to enhance that as much as possible. Because if we can get that going, then we're, we're good. You know? Please do not use civilization parts, by the way. They are rare. They are rare and it is hard to get them. I have to kill bosses for those. Worth $27? Beyond. Beyond worth. So this is new. I don't have one of those materials. That's a new material. This is a leather item. Wool can go in there. We have all these wheat seeds and stuff. Like, what do I do with those? I guess we'll just throw it in here. Can't see anything. There we go. Okay, so now I have all this stuff. I'm going to see if I can make that lamp. I need seven more ancient civilization parts. I need eight ingots. We've got the ingots. That's fine. I made those. That's not a big deal. Let's get all of this flour so we can get this running to make bread. Actually. Jam filled bread. Sick. Done. Throw the ingots in here. We've got everything that we need now. I'm going to take these with me so they don't get used accidentally by somebody. Night shift only or what? Oh, no, no, no. It's just because we're in the middle. We did the daytime stuff already. Oh, yeah, this metal helmet. I should make the metal helmet, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should probably make the metal helmet. There we go. Hey, Beans. You got a... Uh, you got some stuff to make. Work on that. There we go. Now we can work on it together. 
Won't look as good as the witch hat, though. Yeah, but it'll give me more stats. And I like more stats. But... Yeah, Beans is here. What skills do the humans have? None. Yeah, they have none. They get random passives. And um, the biggest thing is you want to get them with, like, bonus work. Because they can do handiwork. Like this. That's about it. Finally found you IRL kind of, not just in shorts. Are you talking about here on Twitch? You can capture people in this too? I have something to show you. You're not ready for this. Yeah, we only have mods only because there's only four slots. Which is fine. I have something to show you, chat. If you haven't seen this for whatever reason. The latest short. Here, just go, just go see this. If you want to know more about this video game, just go see this. It's deeply great. I, I found it to be incredible, frankly. Yeah, it just keeps getting better. That short just keeps getting better. I'm really, I'm really happy with that. Shadelog outdid themselves, man. Okay, I got the metal helmet. 50 defense versus my 20 defense. That's a no-brainer, dude. I have no helmet on now. Does it just not have... Oh, I guess it's there. Okay, so it's missing stuff. Hey, uh... Jeanette, here. Have a cool wizard hat. Enjoy. Alright, bye. Alright. I got my cool armored helmet. I've got my cool thermal underwear. And I think these guys might be repaired by now. Yes, no? 48 seconds. Uh. Yeah, that short is hilarious, dude. We got Vanguard, Stronghold Strategist. Let me just think about this. I kind of want to get a gun mount at some point. This dude is one that I want to fly. 22 seconds. Oh, they're waking up. Day shift. Use your short of their new ads? I know, dude. Any use for junk captures? Yeah, you can actually combine them using this facility that we built. That is a PAL condensation, and you want to do this. And the reason why is if you look at... Uh, where's my Fox Parks? There we go. That Fox Parks is level... or like 2 star. That means it's Huggy Fire Ability is level 3. Yeah, that's really, really good. It is a flamethrower. And leveling up the PAL... By combining them. You can condense human pals. Beans is level... He's got a one star. It takes more and more and more of them to do this. You just combine them. Yeah, you combine their essence into one. Beans is actually human 2.0. Yeah. It's true, actually. So, you know, it's always good to do. It is phenomenal, frankly. Can confirm. Save all of your duplicate pals. It's good shit. It's messed up? No, it's not. It's great. It's great. It's not messed up. It's perfect. It's exactly what it should be. It's fine to make human 2.0. Alright, it's fine to make a human smoothie. Yeah. Can we get beans 3.0? Yeah, so what I have to do in order to get beans 3.0 is I need 17 total humans. Yeah. So I need more of them. Map tells the tale of the tree accident. That was not an accident. That was an adventure. We had... We gained much data from this. Capture more humans? I will be. 
I'm going to collect more pals. More bipedal pals. Can you make a human walrus? You can't combine pals with humans. You can't combine pals with different kinds of pals. It has to be the same ones. Yeah, I need 17 normals. Just any human. Is this an MMO? No, it's server-based. We have a server running with the uh, the mods on it right now. The mods and me. But I'm the one with a gun. So. That's where we're at right now. Oh, free chest. Some souls, not bad. By the way, spending your souls is definitely worth it. And if you're wondering about the gun, it is in fact a gun. And what a gun it is! Tally-ho! I love this game. <laughs> oh, it's so ridiculous, dude. Oh, actually... Can we, can we get this? Don't kill it. Shit. Okay. Yeah. That should be enough. Yeah. I need to catch more fox barks so I can combine them with my other one. It basically incentivizes you to kill everything that you see, by the way. These Vixies are really useful, though, so I'm going to try and find a way to not just instantly kill them. But they are giving me XP. Yeah, I'm going to have to, like, go up and hit them with an axe or something. Do pals evolve? No, but you can combine them, which increases their powers. Which is kind of the same, frankly. Oh, sick. He had like one HP left. If you love Vixies, can they forage better? That's the assumption right now, because it will level up their foraging, like, ability. I just don't know what it does, right? I don't know if it makes it so they forage more often, or if it gives them better items from the forage yet. So we're going to kind of figure that out. And I'm going to do that right now, because there's two of them right here. Why, hello. Let me ask you a question. You as well. Is there weapon durability? Yeah, there is. That's a big part of what you're doing, is making sure that all your durability is, like, being upkept. It is not easy to do. How's the game so far? Awesome. I've been playing it for the last couple of days. I'm trying to get a whole bunch of these Vixies right now. I wonder if the crossbow will kill it in one hit. I hope not, but... Yep, it did. Damn. Level 27. Gain access to new tech. Let's see what we get. Hypersphere. The sphere assembly line that we needed access to. Cold resistant metal armor. I think that's all I want right now. Kill who? I need to see nobody. No witnesses. There's a statue over there. Get another effigy. And there's a smoke trail there. So smoke trails always end in, like, a, a bandit camp, basically. And if you go and unlock that, there will be a pal that you can just get by unlocking it. Bathrooms. 
I've never pooped in this game, and I never will. Poopin's for suckers. Is that pauldron your metal helm? No, the pauldron's actually on- the metal helm's on my forehead. Pauldron's part of the metal armor, though, because I have metal armor. I hear bees. I don't like bees. No! Oh, wait. There's another statue over there. It's a blue flame thing? What blue flame thing? There's another one. I think we just need three more of those for the next upgrade, too. Be really nice. Is this AOC? <laughs> no. This is not Ashes of Creation. <laughs> oh my god. Twitch chat, you were something else. Is this AOC? Can you steal cars? There's no cars. Oh, hey. Can we dismount, please? Thank you. Oh god, I missed. Just let me run around in a circle while I reload. Don't worry about it. Thanks, bud. Alright, nobody else is here. I love the blur, dude. Another Vixie. That is the tenth Vixie. I think I got more ammo than I spent off of that. Hmm. Insert home invasion musket copy pasta. I know, right? Tally ho moment. Love to see it. Oh, is he dead? Whoops. <laughs> I thought he had one HP left. It's really funny. We're the good guys? Yeah. We're just beating up all the bad guys, dude. Thankfully for us, there's a high density of bad guys here. In fact, it's every other living thing. The level of evil here is in incredibly high. Yeah. We're just a very efficient hero. Yeah. In fact, we even beat villains before they become villains, so that they can't become villains. That's how efficient we are. Yeah. Really good at it. Minority Report Pal Edition, true. The Pokemon met Ark? Yeah, I think it does what it's doing very, very well, though, to be honest with you. Um, I, I'm quite surprised at it, frankly. I'm quite surprised that it's as fun as it is. Well, that was a ridiculously shitty catch, right? 88% chance and it said no. F, dude. Oh, 
Need it. Nice. Really? Very nice. There's got to be some more statues out here. There we go. See each one of those catches, once you get up to 10 of them of the same breed, you get bonus XP for those first 10. So it's super worth it to go and capture as many as you possibly can, as quickly as you can. Because you just get a ton of XP. It's just super worth it. This game looks dope. It's because it is. It's really good, dude. Nice. That is exactly what I wanted. That was not exactly what I wanted. I have a bad aim. What do you... What, what even was that? You see the physics of that? Just sliding around. Any advice for beginners? Uh, get palsters as quickly as you possibly can, and then use those. Like, 100% use them. I think one of the, the most interesting things is... That it seems like you should just be storing those really fast, but like, no, catch everything. Catch everything you possibly can. Nope, 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 not what I wanted. Get back in the ball. Press the wrong one. Fairly big game. The game is enormous, dude. I can't even stress that enough. We're at this location right here. This is the map. The map is huge, man. It's enormous. If you don't like breeding the farm, I will buy the demo. I already have breeding. It's already done. And the demo's free. Yeah, the map is enormous, dude. Are the maps procedurally generated? I actually don't know. I'm not sure. I've only seen my map, so I don't know if they're different in any way. Yeah, you guys can check. It's not procedurally generated? Okay, that makes sense. I'm I'm fine with that being a thing, to be honest with you, because this map is freaking huge. I want to go over there because I want to see what that is. It's another one of those like machine pillar things, it looks like. Wish this was on the PlayStation Store. I don't have an Xbox. Get it on Steam. Where are you finding all these Vixies? Out in the world. You think the game is well optimized? Insanely so. The, the optimization on this is just wild, frankly. It runs on a potato. So, like... Do you have a creator code for the game? Does the game have creator codes? I don't think it does. I don't even think it has a creator program, program dude. Yeah, I don't think it does. Yeah. Looking at my potato now, do it up. <gasps> Pen King's out in the wild. Ooh. Ooh, this is going to be it, dude. Criminal activity. Did one of you dudes shoot? A oh, you're going to die. <laughs> one of you is a criminal, and I know it. Oh, it's all the flowers out here. Yeah, hell yes. These are rare. They're super, super rare. At least I have a place to get them now. What is... What the hell is that? Hey, buddy. Yeah. 
I got all day. Oh? My now. New pal, Azure Robe. Feels good, man. We got ads in about 30 seconds. Look at this big machine. I still don't know what these things are. Yeah, there's police. It means somebody on the server is has attacked an NBC that's part of the main storyline. And the cops are trying to murder them right now. Which is deeply funny, frankly. Love your YouTube shorts, man. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. He doesn't know. They're not after me. Are they? Well, that thing's after me. Excuse me? What? The hitbox on this thing is super tiny. This is not good. What? Alright. Alright. That's... Next hey, Wilmore said hello Thorisimo. I had Ooh. a lot of hype about Game Jam. I even bought a separate for it and made a simple platformer. Awesome. And on the day the Game Jam started, I've got the worst food poisoning I've had in 15 years. No. Today I can finally sit straight in a chair, but my motivation has gone to zero. So now we're burgering hot dogs on the wall of the Gobelinos Balal Balalal Balba. There's always later, dude. There's always later. I'm sorry that happened to you. That sucks. Tech underscore teller with 1000 bits said love your content, Thor. Thank you. I burnt out in 2019 after releasing my first game on stream. I'm it so took six months. I recently got into game dev because of you and wanted to get your thoughts on it. It's called Overcome on Steam. Let me check it out. I'm going to pull it up right now. One sec. Overcome. Hmm. Waiting for the ads. So it looks like you made a platformer that's really difficult. I'm struggling to see what the mechanics are about on this. It seems like you just can't touch anything, if that makes sense. It looks really difficult. But it looks like it's just a don't touch anything platformer. Kind of like Super Meat Boy, I guess. Oh, you get a shield. I see. I'm going to link this in chat so people can see this. Link it! There we go, because the ads are over now. Yeah, that actually looks cool. It does. You say you burnt out in 2019 after releasing my first game on Steam. It took six months. I recently got into game dev because of you and wanted to get your thoughts on it. It looks cool. Um, I would say revisit that because the trailer, I didn't really know what was going on at first. But I think that's okay. It's your first game. You either revisit it or you make something new after this. It's not a bad game. It's your first game. Every game that comes after it is better than that, you know? And that's kind of how that works. So I wouldn't really worry about what that first game looks like, I'd worry about what do you do with that knowledge, now that you made one, right? Nothing wrong with it at all. It'd be really cool if I could shoot through the Mamarest. I don't think I can. 
Oh. Nice. Yeah, they give 123 XP to everybody. Any formation control for your pals? You can only control one pal at a time, so there's no formation. Think of it like Nino Kuni. Kind of works the same way. Which is cool. It's actually really good. You can also have them mounted, and you can do a bunch of stuff with them on mounts. So, like, I can go like this, and then mount this one because I have the saddle for it. And then we can take this up to the next layer up here. And that looks really, really interesting. That is a new kind of deer. Jesus. See if we can catch this thing. Yeah. Got one mega sphere. Oh. Oh. Don't need it. Nice. Nice. That's a new one. Yeah, so there's variants of different pals, and that's a a Terra variant of that one. I just got metal armor schematic one. That's new. What is that lump, lump of sparkling brown? That is, um, basically ore to turn into ingots. Yeah. Did you make this game? No. I did not make this game. The voice is too much. Do you know why my voice is like that? Look at this. Look at my face. I chose the most brutish head that I possibly could, and then I gave it the most anime girl voice I could. Because it's deeply funny to me. It's not, it's not normal. This is... <laughs> I chose it because it is hilarious. I wanted to hear, like, the, the high-pitched anime girl the whole time. I think I can catch it with that. I don't want to kill it. I might hit it one more time if this doesn't catch. Oh, missed. Shit! Nice. There we go, 16%. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. You can get another one of these. Seems pretty good hunting deer, you know? Just hunting deer with the boys. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that was close. He's got to get it twice. Once. Nope. Oh. That first 8% is the hard one, too. Yeah. Yeah. I got one mega. Wow, I suck. <laughs> I don't even deserve it at this point. I'll take it anyway, though. That's fine. Thanks, Gabe. Oh, I didn't even deserve it. I didn't deserve it at all, man. I got inventory. Let's see. Um... More HP is good. How long has criminal activity been underway? Are you guys... You guys criming somewhere else on the server? Oh. I guess that was the cop. He was on he was sleeping on the job. It's not my fault, you know. It's not my fault. 
You all saw it. He was coming right at me. Self-defense. He could have snored my eardrums out, dude. It's not good. Not good. Had to get rid of him. I could go up, I guess. Yeah, we should go up there and just see. I'll go up there to see if we can, um, if there's any more, like, statues or anything, or something special up there, because it's kind of cool. Number one wildlife sanctuary is the name of this place. Is that why I was marked as a criminal? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. Ooh, barely made it. Barely made it. I don't think there's anything up here, man. It's just another one of these weird robotic tower things. That doesn't seem to have... Any purpose, really? I don't really know what's here. Also, there's something red over there, which looks like a teleporter. I'm going to head towards that teleporter and get that green. Pee on it? Well, I don't really want to own it, right? Because the more of it that you own, the more that the IRS takes your money. So, I don't really want to own it. I'm just going to let them pay for it, and I'm going to squat here. That's right. That's how that works. Yeah. What's your review of the game so far? I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun, dude. The game's actually a blast. Literally. You No, you don't. You don't kill the IRS in game. You catch them in pal spheres. You make them your pals. Taxation is theft. Mm, I'm going to be real with you. I like driving on roads, man. Yeah, I'm just going to put that out there. I sort of like driving on roads and having power and water in my house. So... I'm going to keep paying my taxes, you know. It's going to be real. Just saying. I do enjoy a bit of the society that I am a part of. Just a small amount. Yeah. <laughs> Being taxed as a 17-year-old is taxation without representation? No. Because the schools that you went to to get a job when you were 17, those schools were paid for by taxes most of the time. And the roads, you have to go on in order to go to your job. And in order for that brick and mortar location to exist, also paid for by taxes. It's true. You may not like the way the government uses your tax money, but roads, water, public utilities, all goes into that shit. Kind of sound like wrong. Is it because of the poison? Cusco's poison. Made specifically for Cusco. That poison. Is that the reason? Will there be an AOC guild? Yes. Do exclamation point AOC. Yes, 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 yes. Who made Valworld? World? It was made... God, what was the name of the company? Let me pull it up real fast. Val World? Pocket Pair. Uh, same people who made uh, Craftopia. Yeah, Pocket Pair is the name of the company. They're awesome, actually. Um, they've done a very, very good job with their community. I think they've they've actually been fantastic with patch updates and everything like that. And so I, I was interested. I was like, okay, this looks a little silly. Mercenary with a wounded knee. That's interesting. What do you want? Oh, it's pretty rare to have anyone come through here. You won't find anything interesting. The syndicate took everything we had. If you can make pal spheres, you can catch pals and surround yourself with bodyguards. Law on this land is to be strong. Eat the weak. I'm so tired. There's nothing left for me. Here, let me give you some of my supplies. They have almost no use left for me. Thanks for the supplies.
You know, if you kill them in one hit, it doesn't activate the police. I learned this. Why are you upset? I cured her damaged knee. She doesn't have a problem with her knee anymore. She's been healed, chat. This is your brain, honey, Eve online. Mm. I'm not going to say you're wrong. Another egg. But at what cost? The cost of a singular bullet. Don't worry. I'll have one of my pals with childlike hands create another 10 for me. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. She used to be an adventurer like me? Eh, maybe not like me. I'm a different kind of adventurer. By the way, what you didn't know is that that was actually a villain. It's true. She's plotting the, the entire demise of all of civilization the entire time. I just saved all of you. You're welcome. Yeah, I've, I've liberated you from a terrible future by doing this. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Anytime. Anytime. Just looking for these statues, man. And getting eggs. A lot of eggs on the beach. No, no. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh. You don't get to leave. Yeah. What kind of XCOM bullshit is happening right now? That's a 50%. Jesus. The level of XCOM happening today is enormous. It's a soft 50. <laughs> soft 50. This is bad, dude. 24 hours on large dark egg now? Wait, really? Really? That's good. To be honest with you. I'm glad. Because the eggs were kind of a meme before. To be honest with you. This is good. We butchering more pals? Soon. Not yet. But soon. One more. Two Dinosums. Feels good. What is the objective of the game? Grow strong. Become powerful. Kill things. Grow stronger. Go to other areas. Kill things. Perfect. Just like any other video game. Number go up. Egg. Is there a better version of the musket? There should be. Eventually we'll unlock like better weapons. So if we go into the technology menu, I'm trying to catch more pals so that my level goes up faster. When I hit 28, I'll get access to stump and axe. Place in the base to improve lumbering efficiency of pals, which is cool. But this is the big one from level 28. The Memorus Settle. Because I have a Memorus. And a Giga Shield. Which are both really good. The other thing is, is the sphere assembly line. I can now build this, which is going to let me upgrade my base, which is huge. You pass that statue? What statue, my dude? What? Statue? I don't see a statue. 
Next to the chest? There's no chest. What are you talking about? Chet's drunk, dude. In the water? You mean that cat that I just killed? Oh, that's kind of nice. Left of the cat. I mean over here? I don't see a statue, Chet. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a rock here. Is that what you want? That's a rock, Chet. That's a rock. Under me. There's nothing under me. There's clearly nothing here. I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. There's nothing here. There's just water and rocks, man. There's a dead cat over here. It's just the coast and that rock sitting up. Like, look at the rock over there. I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing here. Green one? I mean, the water is green. You can see that. It's nice and green. Is that what you're talking about? That's clearly what you're talking about, though. Like, obviously. It's pretty nice out here, though, huh? Anyway, I'm going to keep searching. So good. <laughs> First time. <laughs> oh. We should go up. Might be more statues up here. Oh, look. There's one there. Can't believe you guys missed this. Insane to me. Actually wild. Chad is blind. Can't believe it. Oh, Mamarest. I think I can just fight those now. But I don't think I can just kill them. I don't think I can catch them. I might be able to catch them. Whoops. I was gonna catch those dudes! My stupid bird deleted them from miles away, dude. Nice dance moves, man. Look at this guy. Look at him go. Sick. Huh. Big game hunting. Tally ho. There we go. That was a good hit. By the way, headshots do matter. At least they seem to. Hmm. 
God damn it. Oh wait, no, it hit it somehow. I don't know how. No! <laughs> Yoink. Yoink. And you said my balls were weak. How dare you. How dare you. XCOM, but in reverse, my dude. Sometimes you gotta roll a nat 20, dude. After you roll all those nat 1s. You know? Jesus. Wow, this is... This is the payment for that. Is what it is. This is the payment for what just happened. Holy shit. Yoink. Yeah, 100% worth. I'm fine with it. Universe is fixing itself? True. RNG is healing. It's not even just the nat 20, though. It's got to roll a second time. Bron Cherry, you're new. But you're high, you're low enough level that I can just destroy you. So. Yeah. Eat it. Missed it. Probably just should have chest shot there. Ow. It's after me. It's trying to like side slam me, dude. Rude. God damn it. Memorist, what are you doing, bro? Oh, okay. Alright, this is good. This is good. Gonna wait for him to hit one more time. Yeah. We can shoot one more time with this. Or... Huh. If I do it one more time and I crit, we'll have a problem. But I don't think I yeah. will. Good. 6%. Best we can get. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, does it feel good. Man, does it feel good. Feels good. Check your posture and drink some water. I don't have any water in my desk. I should probably go get some water. 
That is likely a mistake. On this next ad break, I'll go do it. I forgot to get my water today, because I'm a dumbass. I'm gonna head over to the teleport station. I'll get some water. I have a higher success rate on 6% than I do on 50%. On That's true, actually. Fifty five percent. Failed at seventy eight. What is happening, dude? Son of a bitch. I know, I know. I caught it. Let me um let me get over to that that location because I get into a safe spot. I'm gonna go get water. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Deeply funny. Beer be. And I'm back. I see the mods have destroyed something while I was gone. Well done. Thank you, mods. You rock. Mmm. Delicious. That's not water. This actually is. This is carbonated water with no sugar of any kind in it. Watch this. Don't worry about it, mods.
It's already all handled. With one click, all your bullshit is gone. There's a lot of them, I'll give them that. But why? I don't know. They think people doing that, um, like buying stuff is... Like buying followers and shit is somehow good. It's never going to be good for your community. You want a community of engaged people that actually care. That's what you want. That's all you ever want, frankly. And now we can shut that down. And we're good to go. Let's join what's going on. Killing a bunch of bots. Love that flavor of bubbly? Yeah, they're good, dude. Yeah, it's something you always have to remember. Is yeah, it was a bot raid? Yeah. I just turned on my auto auto's hammer and destroyed it. They're gonna destroy by both Nightbot and the auto hammer anyway. So it's kinda whatever. This game good? Yeah, I love it. Auto hammer fun. It's pretty rad. Yeah, it's a one button press for me. Snapped them out of existence, dude. Yeah, to be real with you, I... I never think that buying followers or buying views or any of that stuff is any good. You want to have engaged viewers. You want to have people that want to hang out. You want to have a community, right? And, like, you guys like being here, and one of the reasons you like being here is because there's a community behind it of people that you can actually hang out with and talk to. So, if you ever feel like you need to buy followers or views or anything like that, you don't. The numbers don't matter. Your community matters. That's the important thing. What difficulty are you playing at? I actually don't know what I set it to when I first started the world. Legitimately. I have no clue. <gasps> it's a shiny. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Oh, didn't kill it. Shiny direwolf, dude. No, you don't. I'm gonna ride that mount so much. Wow. Well, yes. It got lucky in Artisan. Ooh. Ooh, shiny direwolf. Ooh. We're gonna go make a a saddle for that immediately. Oh look. Oh look. There's a wandering merchant. I don't think I've interacted with a wandering merchant before. You sit down. Okay, good. Didn't try to kill me. How you doing? I've got some good items in stock. Let's see what you got. Mind control meds. Mind control meds that are extremely effective in controlling dissidents. What? What do you mean dissidents, my dude? Huh. Hmm. Little bit weird. Little bit interesting. What can I sell him? Can they mutiny? Maybe they can mutiny. Now I'm interested. Got all these beautiful flowers, that's fine. Precious Dragonstone. Can be sold to a merchant for a high price. Eh? We like that. That's free money. What is all this? That's free money. Grass Tornado for a pal. That's cool. Metal Armor 1. Sold to a merchant for a high price on that one as well. So we're going to get 5300 
All right. Sort that back out. See what we can buy from him. Well, I can get the skill fruit for lock on laser from him. Yeah, maybe if conditions are bad enough, they'll rebel. Maybe. That actually could be it. I don't know. You know? I'm not sure because I haven't had them rebel yet. Pal him up. Yeah. Risk it for the biscuit. Damn it. Can't see the damn dark through all these bullets. I'm gonna catch the, the merchant. Somehow that hit the rock. I don't know how. This is the worst rock ever. God damn it. I was trying to lower his HP. That's fine. I'll just catch this one. What is up with the physics of this rock, dude? Now you gotta get him really low when it's a human. Like, really low. As you can see. It's not a soda, no. It's a bubbly water, man, dude. There's no sugar. There's no sugar substitute. There's nothing. We'll catch him. Yeah. We'll catch him. Oh. I got 238 more of these. You can catch dudes? Yeah, you can. Yeah. We just needed to hit that second percent. Yeah, it's just club soda, dude. Huh. It's carbonated water with a natural flavoring in it. No, yeah. no uh, sugar or anything. Is it skill based? Yeah. This is not skill based. This is percentage. This is XCOM. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy dark at night. Yeah. I gotta get a 1 in 50, and then a oh. 1 in 4, or 1 in 5. And I'm landing the 1 in 50, but not the yeah. 1 in 5. Get a torch? Nah. I'm gonna catch him. Should I try and get his health even lower with like an axe hit? Should I risk it? It's not impossible. None of them are impossible. Guaranteed not impossible. Is your... Is it a girl? No, I made the most brutal looking human possible, and then I gave it a super anime girl voice. Noink. Mine now. You trying to capture a human? No, I'm succeeding at capturing a human. Actually, no. I'm succeeding at gaining a new pal. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. It's my new pal, dude. Oh, what is this? Level 32? We can't do that yet. I have enough trouble with level 30s. Need a couple more levels. Another 1500 XP. Already at level 28. 
Got a green statue over here. Very nice. It's like Arkan Pokemon had a baby. Yeah, dude. And it's all the way good. And this is their early access launch. So, like... The fact that they have this much on offer for early access is nuts to me. Lambolt Death Sound sounds so devastating. Wait till you hear me, like, shoot a man. Because it's... The way they die sounds like they're vomiting. It's... Something about it is really funny, but also horrifying at the same time. They're just like... <laughs> It's great, actually. They sound amazing. The, the audio in this is actually hilarious. You can be upset about it. That's fine. Power fluids, dude. Yeah. Let's see. As I cough to death. Aw, oh, man, have you guys been taking all the Bell Spheres? <laughs> I kind of need those. Oh, wait, there's 73 of them in here. Sick. We need more, like, stuff. We need more everything. Why is this full of random shit now? What happened in here? Incubation complete. Abushi. Somebody said one of theirs took 24 hours. I don't see that being true, which is weird. Mm, we're out of fiber again somehow. Download the game right now. Nice, dude. Yes. Oh, wait. Idea. Get out of here. Let Beans handle it. Beans has better stats. Is Beans still 2.0? Oh, yeah, he's Beans 2.0. Oh. Do you think Beans is happy? I think Beans does his job. <laughs> really downloading the game? Hell yeah, dude. Beans has one purpose. To sit in the box unless I need to build something important.
Okay, so I have two Mamoros now. This one is a motivational leader, though. What does motivational leader give it? That's just better. Yeah, this new one's just better. What about Bron Cherry? Over affectionate. What does that do? It can be written. That's interesting. While in team, Bron Cherry helps carry supplies, increasing the player's maximum what? Capa carrying capacity. That's sick. That's really good. It's got Swift to move faster, yeah? Which as a mount is a pretty big deal. Lucky and Artisan. Let's go look at Artisan. Work speed plus 50%. Can be ridden. Let's go see what it's like to ride one of these. Because I actually have no idea. We've never ridden one. Because I just got... Saddle for it. Alright. Oh, it is really fast, actually. So, Shinies actually get special abilities on them. And this one got Dark Laser. That's what you just saw. Which is insanely strong. So if we do this... That's what that is. Yeah. Because he has he has that. He also gets Fierce Fang, which does that. But that's kind of a normal ability. Is there just a couple of Mamorests just chilling out up here? Alright. So yeah, he's really fast. Which is cool. Okay, so... All of these things give me bonuses that are buffing my character. And if you go look at my character, you can actually see they do stack. So I've got 30% increased attack damage. I've got 10% increased defense. I've got 25% increased work speed. Another 100 HP. Got a bunch of high quality power oil. That's useful. More ancient civilization parts. Also useful. Alright. We need one more of these. If only there could have been one more. Anywhere in the world. Disappointing. Disappointing. We've never even seen another one. Can't believe it. Chad, have you seen another one? Anywhere? Because I definitely have. <laughs> Looking for something? Could be anything. We're starting to get in a pretty good spot now. Brawn cherry meat. 180 nutrition. God damn. That's kind of an awful sound. It's like horrible, very loud TV stack. I wish that was much quieter than it is. This is in YouTube Shorts. Where am I? You're in the live stream. My god. Sounds like a really burnt vape. I don't even know what that would sound like, to be honest. Mamorous steak. Let's go cook that. Pokemon Fortnite Arc. I don't think it really has much to do with Fortnite, to be honest with you. I haven't heard anyone say Fortnite in this, really. And I don't think it really has much in common with Fortnite. Can you eat the people? You can. 
butcher them, which is interesting. It's gonna make him cook everything, dude. Any kind of PvP? Not yet. Is it on Game Pass yet? As far as I know, yes. What can you do with the pals you capture? All kinds of stuff. I'm actually using them to cook right now. Because I have a whole bunch of different meats and things that I want to cook. Um, they're running this farm currently so they can actually go and get materials to eat. So they are self-managing in that way, which is really useful. In a second here, I'm going to make these ones go and produce a ton of flour using this wheat. And we're also going to make them produce ingots using ore in town. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Hey, thank you for the rating party at 27, Cappuccino. Hope you're having a wonderful day. You're awesome, dude. So now I can use that flour to create jam, jam-filled buns. We can start that production, and the, this one will go and cook it because he's a fire type. Go open these eggs. Have your mods robbed you blind yet? No, thankfully not. I hope they don't. It looks like these are all cold. Let's go and make... Get like a shitty campfire. Oh yeah, we have this sphere assembly line. I'm gonna have to build that, aren't I? There we go. Now these will go much faster. It's original or early access? What does that mean? Yeah, they'll keep updating as time goes on. This is early access, man. Got ads in about two minutes. I'm going to play some of these. Text with $2 said any express with Muz Azure security AZ500 cert. No, I don't have any experience with that. I have none, unfortunately. I don't even know what that cert is for. For Azure security? MS Azure Security? Let me go look this up. What is that, sir? Oh, specifically for Microsoft Azure. That, that makes more sense. Is it for web application firewall and DDoS protection stuff? I don't know what that cert is for. I mean, Microsoft will clearly enjoy that, but I've never used anything with that. I train dead. It happens. The train has died. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, it's for DevOps? Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, it's not my Rome. DevSecOps? Interesting. I wish it would tell me when I already had these. Yeah, I don't think I have this one, but I think I have all the other ones. That wasn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> Whoops. Masanda's grenade launcher. Hmm. The saddle. It's time. It's time. I need 70 fiber, that's all I need. Build a lantern? Oh yeah, you're totally right. I don't know if I can yet. 
Yeah, I can't. I need more ancient civilization parts. I have six out of ten. That's what I was out doing. That's why I was killing those bosses. Because they give, they give those. And that's super important to understand. I do want this Mamoru saddle, though, because then I could drive them around. Ads are going to be in one second. Well. Aiming an arrow, can you cancel? Yes. You just stop aiming. Unless you mean with the bow, then then hit control to dodge. And you'll stop. Farm the electric boss? Not a bad idea. That's a good way to do it. Game any good? Yes. I've been having a blast with it, dude. And in a minute here, I'm going to be able to ride this thing. One more spark plugs, yeah. Where the hell... What are you doing, sir? Why are you sitting here? Your job isn't to do this. Your job is to sit over on this. Your job. There we go. What? Why is he stopping? Oh, he's eating. Alright, we got ads. I wanna play these. Bobby Rano with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I was curious what your thoughts on password managers like LastPass or Bitwarden are. Are they as safe managers. as they claim? Yeah, cheer I, 100. I didn't use password managers of any kind. I use steganography for all my passwords, so I'm probably not the best choice for that. Um, you don't have to do what I'm doing though. What I'm doing is sort of ridiculous. It's not required. Not required in any respect. If you want to use those, go ahead and use them. But that is not a requirement. That's not something you have to do whatsoever. I, I think that it's fine if that's what you want to do. But I also don't think it's it's the thing that I want to do. I do steganography for my stuff. I like stego. More fun for me. Not a requirement, by the way. Who loves cheese? Everyone. All right, next. A spicy soft boy with 500 bits said very important public service announcement. Educate before implant. Do not use closed source brain interfaces. Build your own. Avoid Elon. Assume this message is from the future. Oh. I'm okay with this. If you're going to make a, you know, if you're going to have a brain implant. It's pretty good. Also good name. Proud of you. Red Cyber Dragon 29 said we're baffled, Doctor. Initially, anyone who glimpsed the Goblin King's face came down with a severe case of Thurises is an irresistible urge to create games and frolic with long torso quadrupeds. It's but true. hold on to your hats because now it is S P E A D I N G. Speeding? Spedding? Instead of spreading? You had you were one letter away. You were so close. Majero7 with 500 bits said I want to make games on my free time so maybe I can make a living out of it at some point. Yeah. How would you manage lots of priorities that you might have, like goals in different areas of your life? Schedule. Schedule everything. Um, I have a very heavy schedule for all the things that I do, and it's really important to keep that schedule. So like if you want to do things in your life, sit down and schedule everything out in lists, uh, make a calendar, put that stuff out, right? It's it's something that you just have to do. And if you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. You got one life, dude. Whole ass it. Stop being a bitch about it. Like, sit down and make your list. Set up your calendar. Whole ass your life. Don't half-ass your life. That's it. That's what it comes down to. And I think that's important, right? You have ADHD and I use my phone calendar to keep everything in order? Yeah. Yeah, do it. It's it's true, though. Like, there's a lot of people that are like, oh, I, don't, I can't do it because if I do it, then... Then I have to go do a little bit of work. Yeah, do the little bit of work. Do that. That's okay. It is okay to do a little bit of work so that you have a massive amount of gain later in your life. And that's fine. What a sense to we come back to? It's always going to be the same sentence. It's Some people will go like, you know what, you're right. I do need to sit down and do this. And some people will be like, that's too hard. Yeah, life's hard. That's how that works. It's okay that it's difficult sometimes. And if you plan for it, and you, you know handle yourself appropriately, you'll have a little bit more work now, and a whole lot less of it later. That's the most important thing. It's incredibly, incredibly important. Am I going to finish the jam? Two weeks is not enough? Two weeks is enough, but not enough yet. you got to spend the time failing at this one so that you can run and do awesome at the next one. 
It is about doing it kind of bad. And turning in what you have, you know? Everything can be done in another five minutes, you should do as soon as possible. Anything that you can do that's a force multiplier in your life, you should do immediately. And that means, like, if you can set up something now that saves you time in the future, do it. Do it now. And don't waste time. Like, when you're cooking, clean up the kitchen. Normal, right? Normal. Normal shit. Should I stop working? I stop watching you go work on my jam game? You can do both, or... If you want to go work on your jam game, go work on your jam game, dude. Yeah. Force multiplier fed. Yeah, no, right? It is a force multiplier, though. What you're doing is you're taking anything that you can possibly do right now, and you're multiplying your EXP for later. You gain as much experience as possible now so that you can put that into, into work, right? That's the point of it. How much time in this game is spent in menus? I don't know. Right now, I'm actually building stuff so I can go take it out and destroy some things. Yeah, min-max your life, dude. Can you rename your pals? Yeah, you can. That's why I named him Beans. Like compounding interest. It is compounding interest. You have problems building roofs? No. No problems building roof. How do you get a gun? Do you craft? Uh, hit escape and click on technology and look down the tree. What's your current review of Pokemon with guns? Awesome game. Stands on its own as something really, really good, to be honest with you, which I didn't expect. How do you build houses in this game? Hit B. I gave up on the roofs? Why? They're, they're really easy to make. You just go here. You go to infrastructure. No, no, foundations. There we go. And you see wooden foundation, wooden roof. Were you trying to use the floor as the roof? Try placing a triangular wall? No. I build a box. Why would I want anything else? Box is efficient. How long would this take to craft without holding F? I don't know. It'd be up to this NPC. I don't really want it to be up to the NPC. Hexagon is efficient? Nah, box. Can you give skill fruits to pal people? That I don't know. Let's find out. It looks like you can. Yeah, let me go. I know I have a shitty one in here somewhere. Unless my mods have stolen it from me. Which is also possible. Can you get... get... There's one of them. We'll put Sandblast on him. Sandblast is kind of shit. man. That's deeply hilarious, actually. He's got actual pocket sand, that's true. Can you customize your character? Yes, I made mine horrifying, as is tradition.
Another egg. What's a hotkey for inventory? Hit tab. Egg. Is this game arc with Pokemon? Best way to put it, yeah. Really like the vibes of this game? Yeah, the vibes are pretty good, I have to say. My dudes are all farming right now. Why, hello, Jeanette. This game is way more featured than I would have expected from uh, day one early access. Dude, same. I absolutely agree. I, I accidentally keep throwing spheres at nothing. Yeah, I feel you. Same exact thing was happening. Same exact thing was happening to me. So you can breed? Yes. Yes, you can. Uh, you can't breed the, the humans, though. It won't let you do that. We've tried. Well, a person? No, that's one of my pals. His name is Beans. Isn't the game like 90% Craftopia? I don't know. I think it's fun. Is there a void? I don't know. I ever have that stuff on. Did you fuse people yet? Yes, I did. Beans is actually a second generation human. That's right. He's made out of five total humans. Looks like Wolf is joining me. We're really trying to build this saddle, dude. If you could change or improve three things, what would they be? Audio design. Is this my game? No. Audio design, I think, is the roughest thing. Um, there's a lot of repeating sounds that are exactly the same every time. I would make it so that it, it had a... 90% to 110% randomized variance in pitch per sound that would go off. Are you holding F this whole time? Yes. Also, I'd make this a toggle. Not a hold. Please God, just make it a toggle. Yeah. Pitch ra randomizer is something that needs to happen. You know. Yeah, the amount of ambient sound is kind of like... Uh, you meant to let, just leave the pals to do it? If that was the case, then it wouldn't be a good thing for me to sit down and do this, frankly. Yeah. Some of the sounds are terrible. What are you- Wolf, what are you doing? What is that horrible noise that you- Stop that. Stop. Stop making that horrible, horrible sound. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Put a mod on the screen and he just starts spazzing. What's the matter with you? And don't try to steal the saddle. Wolf. Swear to God. There we go. We got the memory saddle. So... Yeah. We can ride the big boy! Large. What do we need now? Power generator and a sphere assembly line. No visual saddle? There hasn't been the entire time. None of them have visual saddles. Okay. This can now be by Pell deck number. That's all good to go. We have these new Terra Deer. Guardian of the Golden Force. That's a totally different mount. Lame. Gonna technology. What do we got in here? Full handgun next. Hmm.
going to bring those with me. So I can sell them off. Like these items here. Is the performance always this sticky? What what does that mean? What do you mean, is it always this sticky? <laughs> I don't just, you're gonna have to describe sticky. Okay, I'm going to try and destroy that PAL tower. Yeah, sticky performance, dude. I am not sure what you mean, though. Legit. Yeah, we're going to go kill Grisbolt. I want to see if it'll actually drop. Uh, I want to see if it'll actually drop the like materials, so we can make that lamp finally. Night times are too dark. No, they want you to use lighting. It's I actually like it. I think it's a good thing that lighting actually matters. Right, Marawire with 500 bits said appreciate the help you bring to people and animals. Thank you. Made a robo ferret doodle as a gift. Unsure if you have the chance to see, it will be in traditional art channel. I have not seen it yet. Can you send it to me in a DM? God, I am ripping him to bits this time. And so is my pet. It's gonna sit over here. Eat it. Yeah, appear to be immune to spheres. I don't know why he keeps going behind the pillars to attack, like a dumbass, but it's sort of weird, AI. You target the trainer? I can try to. Shot her in the butt and got a crit, I guess, you know? I missed. That game sucks. That's fine. You don't have to watch. I enjoy the shit out of it. I think she's the crit spot, actually. Yeah, because you can't catch him. Yeah, she's the crit spot. You can't capture her. She's immune to spheres, but she dies when you do this. Bleh. Bleh. Did that give me anything? Doesn't that normally give me XP and stuff? That didn't give me anything. Hmm. Hmm. Did it give XP? Hmm. A guilty conscience? No. Not even a little bit. Horrifying as always. Thanks, bud. I'm mostly interested in... Actually, we need to go kill that. That's a new boss. 
She was clearly a villain. Oh, dude, she was absolutely a villain. You kidding me? She attacks first. If she wasn't a villain, then that would make me the villain, and I'm not the villain, obviously. I mean, like, I'm just a normal human being, all right? Just walking around doing my thing. There's a gameplay loop here. Kill things, get strong. Oh, got him. Oh, come on, I got robbed. Oh, god damn it. Like, just some kind of jump back. That was weird. I'm just gonna shoot at the body. God damn it. This thing is so freaking wiggly. It's the worst kind of wiggly, too. There we go. What's with the musket? First gun in the game, my dude. one. All you need is one. That's another two ancient Civ parts. I need two more. Yeah. Monsters evolve, so the pals don't seem to evolve, but you can combine them to make them stronger, and it improves their passives, and their passives just get better and better and better. I don't know what happens when you merge them for, like, a mount passive, because mount passives don't seem to work that way. Like, if we go look at this, it says level 1. I'm wondering if that increases their stamina, which would make the most sense, which would be kind of nice. Maybe their speed? I don't know. Because if it does, that'd be really cool. How much do you think this game borrowed from Pokemon? I don't really think it borrowed from Pokemon. I think it's just remixing it, just like every other monster hunter game in the in the world. Like, monster collector games are pretty similar in the respect that they are. I think art style-wise, it's pretty similar. I think mechanics-wise, it can be pretty similar. But that's the same as other things like Temtem and many other games that exist like that, frankly. So, like... I think it's doing it in a much more interesting light. I think it's cool that you can catch two monsters at the same time. I think it's cool that you can um, capture people. I think it goes real dark and allows you to do that. Who is that? Hello, little man. Are you excited to steal? You love stealing now. You're strong enough to steal. He's so good at stealing. You're so good at stealing. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're good at stealing. Little Mocha. He's good at stealing. He loves to steal now. Here you go. Mocha is finally feeling good enough that his personality is coming through, and he has learned that he really loves to steal a couple of toys. He's chosen his favorite toys. One of them is a sea slug. And, um, yeah. He's, he's very good. What? What did I just walk in on?
Show me the Pokemon game where I can do this shit. Why are you not catching? Oh my god. Why is it just bouncing off of him? That's so weird. Stop it. No, it wasn't the tree. It was actually saying in the UI in the bottom left that it bounced off. Yeah, it was bouncing off because its HP was too high, but it was just like, Jesus, dude, it's level 10. Is this game jank now? Are they fainted or dead? Uh, you know. They're just a little... They're just a little, you know, whatever that is. It's one of them. Pretty good ragdoll, though, right? They drop bundles of leather? That's true. They also drop bones. It's an advanced sleep. <sighs> it turned. That is so annoying. I'm not letting that thing get away. No, not even a little bit. You're catched. You're going to the ball, dude. Your buddy's getting caught. Oh, well, and he caught a bullet instead, so he gets to stay over there. He's sleeping. It was a high-velocity sleeping dart, Chet. Fired out of a cannon. That one, too. It's long. Long dart. Ooh. Yeah, the big forever sleep, dude. Alright, so we've got our final green. That's gonna level up all of my catch rates. This feels like bullying? No, it feels like gaining experience points. Where'd you put your attri attributes? Let me show you. Number one, and this is like the really big one, give yourself a thousand weight capacity, dude. Give yourself a thousand. Um, after that, bring your stamina up to 200. You'll thank me. 100%. And then after that, it's I'm doing, doing HP. Yeah. Well, this is interesting to do. Oh, it's insanely dark in here. I wish I had a pal that was on fire right now. I see... I trade in any kind of pal, whether it's stolen pals or even prohibited types. Take a look. What do you got for sale, bud? Okay. We got another Cognito. I don't think we have this one. I feel like you should definitely buy the Lee Spunk. And the Cognito. And the Brizlo. I'm just gonna get them all. Oh, wait. We're running out of gold. Let's see if we can sell some dudes. Huh. These guys seem to be worth a lot of money. That's a, that dude's worth a lot of cash. Can you sell humans? No, I can sell pals. I can sell pals. That's a pal, guys. It's different. I think I'm going to keep all my pals right now, but I definitely wanted more Cognito. Because I don't know where he exists on the map. We got ads, by the way. Eventually, I want to fight 
the black market tier. I'm going to add a pin to the map in this location. COO Key Squad with 5 euros said Papa Thor question do you think going to uni for cyber security is a worth it or is it better to self teach yourself because I want to get in but IDK Um Generally if you're trying to get into offensive security you're going for certifications first certifications are generally derived while you are going uh, you're working an IT job We usually see offensive security as a prestige class to IT so get a help desk job Use that help desk job to get yourself some certs and learn as much about IT as you possibly can. And then from there, go and, you know, try, attempt to get jobs in the offensive security space. That's the whole point with this. What's up, Protovex? One million pal tamers in only eight hours. No shit. That is freaking wild. A million copies in eight hours? That is outrageously good. That is really, really good. Can you merge humans and pals? No, you can only merge pals of the same kind, so humans have to be merged with other humans. Yeah. I know, dude. It's at 370,000. Can you breed them, though? No, we can't breed humans. We've tried. So, 1 million pal tamers in only 8 hours. I have actually said well-deserved. Can't wait to see how this evolves over time in early access. Having a blast so far. Because, like, this, this game is really good, dude. This game is really, really, really good. I've been enjoying the shit out of it. I haven't been able to put the damn thing down. So yeah. Fan of it. Also, apparently I'm showing up on streams charts again. Top channel streaming Pal World right now. Pirate Software number four. <laughs> Thank you, streams charts. Uh, always good. You can force feed the humans devil fruit? What is devil fruit? What does that do? See, Wolf is already level 14. Fantastic. Chat won't let you put it down? That's true, actually. I've tried multiple times, and chat is like, no, you will play this game. Ko's got 20,000 viewers. Hell yeah. Good job, Ko Carnage. Ko's awesome. He's a nice dude. He's a really nice dude, actually. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We actually fed that to one of ours. One of the humans. We made it so that he can cast sand, whatever. Right? Yeah, skill fruits. It's a skill fruit. No, don't shoot one piece. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. All right, next alert. Captain Icicles with $19.99 said been watching the shorts you post for weeks. Thank you for being an inspiration to me and others to chase our dreams and live life. Seriously, Anytime, thank dude. you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thanks for being a part of it, man. Because, like, yeah. nothing that I do exists without you. So, thank you. Can you... Wolf, are you trying to kill all this stuff I'm trying to catch? You know I actually need to catch these, right? Wolf's out here getting in my way. Yoink. But seriously, I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys, and that's kind of the whole point. So, thank you. Set him to not attacking. Wolf is a human being. Wind totem. They're one of my mods, currently in multiplayer on the server with me. <laughs> I'm gonna set up the passive real quick. We just flip the mod switch, dude.
You should still send him the not attack, god damn it, dude. Wanna get another spark it. No. I'm trying to catch as many of these as possible right now so that I can get bonus XP. Because that bonus XP is a ton. And it looks like it goes up every time. Oh, wait. These are normal people. Reliable PIDF officer. Hey, pal tamer. Huh. So they do around here now. Hmm. If you're in trouble, let me know. As long as you pay, I'll do anything. That's not a very good cop, dude. That's like a really shitty cop. As long as you pay, I'll do anything. Bruh. It's not a cop, it's a mercenary. He's got a badge. Look at him. You tell me that's not a cop, that's a mercenary. He's a PIDF officer. With a badge. I guess he's a mall cop then. That's fine. We need to go get some night wings. That's what we need. All right, let's think about this. Where can I go? Why is Wolf killing the villagers? Hmm, that's not good, Wolf. There we go. We'll go up there and kill that Philbat. Can you explore the dark area? Yes. The map is enormous. Like, the map is really, really big. A gigasphere, you say? I do love a gigasphere. Oh. Oh. It begins. It begins. I don't think I want to risk it. I'm just going to keep trying to catch him. Yeah, his gun is just here. This is the worst 14% I've ever seen. Yeah. It's pretty bad, right? Oh. Yeah. yeah, what is this XCOM 14%? Is that a Pokeball? No, it's a Pal Sphere. Oh. It's got spikes on the top and bottom, dude. Oh my god! We're in too deep. I can't stop now. Oh. Thank God. You better balls? No. My balls are just fine. Thank you. They're just fine. My balls are fine, Chet. The text? Don't worry about the text. So we do some inhumane things, you know? Just a little bit. 
It's for the greater good, Jeff. The greater good. Woo. How could I be evil if I make woo noises like that? I mean, like... Oh. You know? Oh. You hear that? Can't be evil. Impossible. Would you recommend Power World? Yes. Oh. I am deeply enjoying this game. And here's why. Need I say more? Good hits. Nice headshot. Shit. I don't know what my... Mammoth is doing. Come on, Mammoth. That's some good hits. Well, there was the one good ball out of it. Now it's all crappy ones, six percent. Oh. Here we go. Yeah. I tried the forty-one percenter. Oh. Oh. All you need is a million infinite crappy balls. All right, you just need the shitty ones. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Those phantoms from Minecraft? No. Have you ever heard of a, like, a manta ray in your life? You should know that that's like a real animal that exists. You know that? <laughs> you ever seen one of those? Ever? I can't believe this game has dragons. Those are from Dungeons and Dragons. What a ripoff. Uh. Manta Racer based on phantoms? It's true. You figured it out. All right. Now we can go over here and enhance. Yes. Why is why did they put no on the right? Always put left on the right. The hell or yes on the right? Doesn't make any sense. Manta rays are based. It's true. It's actually true. Ooh. All right. Let's see. I've got actually I've got B guard. I should probably replace one of these dudes with B guard, shouldn't I? Yeah. 
We should replace... That dude with B-Guard. B-Guard good. The problem with B-Guard... What was B-Quiet? Oh, it's the one where he detonates. Because he's stupid. Let's swamp that out. No more exploding pet problems. Increases the power of ice spells while on the team. So how do I get the Gale Claw thing? I'm level 28 right now. Where do I get Gale Claw? So it looks like Kitsun has one coming up. Jesus. Wumpo Saddle. It's all the way up there. Hmm. Van Worm Chris Saddle. These are way, way up there, man. Kitsune Saddle. I guess the Gale Claw is back here. We could switch over to Gale Claw. I want to see... Maybe Gale Claw would be faster? I don't know. Oh yeah, I've got to upgrade these now. First off, let's see if any of these have a good nature that I can use. Logging for them? That increases the player, though. It's positive thinker, dear. Sanity drops 10% slower. We're going to get rid of the slacker one. Now we can take... You drown your pals? No, they can't drown in water. There's nothing like that. Although I don't know why you would. You freaking goblin. What's the matter with you? Yeah, yeah one had Artisan. I'm actually going to be doing Artisan. Because Artisan on a Vixie is just ridiculous, frankly. Doop, 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 ba doop. Condense! Again. Yeah, so we can't do it again. It's just too many. So now we can go and find the Super Vixie. And now it has level 2 dig here, which I don't know what that's going to do. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, I have no idea. Hmm. hmm. So pals are just podlings in this game? Waiting to be distilled to their essences? I mean, yeah, technically. Kind of. I think that's the only Gale Claw that I have. I don't know if that's better. I think I can get most of these. We don't have that mount. That sucks. What does Helper Bunny do? Appears near the player, automatically picks up nearby items. That's nice. So now is the real question. Does that actually work? 
We're waiting to see if this version of Vixie, who has the level 2, gives a better PAL sphere. And if it does, then all hell is about to break loose. Because <laughs> I'm going to become more powerful than God, is basically how that's going to go. You can also make your hip lancer now? I might be able to? Let's find out. I need... F uh, one of you used all of the flame organs, really? Wolf, come on, man. All of them? Why? Can you put the flame organs back in here? You can actually craft without taking these items out. You know that, right? There was like 40 of them. Put them back in the box. You don't need like 40 of them. You leave them in there and you can craft with them sitting in there. You don't need to take them out of the box. Clown, dude. Bad mod. Put them back. Put them back. You didn't take them out? One of you mods did. There's only three more of you on the server. I'm blaming you. Someone took all the ingots and all of the fire organs. Which doesn't make any sense. Swear to God, I'll kick everyone off the server. <laughs> Put them back in the box. You don't need to steal them. Those are really annoying the farm. Don't do this. Alright. Wait, why is... Hasn't eaten anything for a while? Why? Why haven't you been eating? Are some of these pals idiots? Did they fall off the cliff? They fell off the freaking cliff, didn't they? Jesus Christ. They fell off the cliff, dude. What the hell? It's finally eating now. Extremely unhealthy due to neglect? What are you... You're gonna be neglected. You live on a beautiful mountainside. Okay, which one of you goblins took it? Because I need those back. Seriously. Do you see how this is now suddenly in this chest? And when I walk over here, and I go to mouse over this, it says that there's 25 in there now. And you're like, wow, they're in this chest. No, they weren't. You had them, and you put them away, because that said zero before, and it pulls all the chests in the town into the crafting inventory. Bad lie. Bad lie. Stop stealing shit. Just put it back where you found it. Don't touch it if you don't need it. When you are at a crafting station, it pulls everything into the inventory for the crafting station. That was in your inventory and you put it back. You clown. You can't hide that shit, because I know the game mechanics. I've been playing it for three days. Worst lie. 
Wasn't expecting this game to be 30 bucks. Yeah, it's really cheap. Not mad. Just disappointed. Weak lie, dude. Leaks lie better. $30 is cheap for what this is. Yes. How's Launchman? Fantastic. Why is he hungry? What the hell? Interesting. It's 80 rails in Brazil. Not a bad deal. That's quite cheap. Yeah. Like, I think heartbound is what? 20 bureau? So it's like four heartbounds. Which is a little bit worse to deal. Because here it's like, it would be three heartbounds. Right? What is he doing? That's not your job. Nice. Go, tiny handed rabbit. Build me the lantern. Near to the stream? What's up, dude? What? Seriously? <laughs> what is. Why are the mods like this? What? I don't understand you nerds. Be any other way. Any more ingots. I'll put the mods in the toilet in a moment here. It's gonna happen. Okay, gun is back up. Uh, I need civilization parts. What else do I need? Okay, how do I use that hip lantern? Is it just producing light out of me now? I guess it's just there, right? It doesn't look like it's attached, which is a little bit weird. Like, there's no... There's no physics with that? That's quite strange. Let's go look at the tech. Okay. I can try to build a sphere assembly line. I think that'll be the next piece that I have to do. Which means... I need more ingots. Okay, this is still producing normal spheres for now. Something's going wrong with this guy. He's just randomly, like, assigning himself to jobs that don't need to be assigned to, and I don't really know why. What? Okay, we are out of ingots. We need to go get more ore. Okay. Drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that. Keep this, drop this, drop that. Funny thing is, you can actually just drop everything in the ground and all your pals will go handle it. Stream is paused. We have ads. Alright, next. Majero7 with 500 bits said how would you deal with multiple goals in different areas of your life? 
Let's say for example that you want to be good at a game, and at the same time you want to study computer graphics and Japanese. Sure. How would you make it work out? I give myself an allotted time per day to do each of those activities. That's really what that comes down to. It's like, whatever it is that I'm doing for that day, I'm going to um, have a certain amount of time per day to do one, a certain amount of time per day to do the other. And that's it. That's all it is. Like, you have to remember that you need to give yourself time to do any of the things that you want to do, and then not go overboard with that, and not go kind of crazy with that. And it is okay to do some things some of the time, and do other things some other time, as long as you schedule it for yourself. Nothing wrong with that. Just gotta schedule it all out, man. Yeah, time management is a great skill to develop. I think it's the greatest skill you can have, to be honest. Bleach Synodai with five Brazilian reals said fun fact. You can extract the ROM of a GBA game by crashing it then recording the noises it makes after. The Zaz Glitch did a video on it. It's wild. That sounds insane, to be honest with you. Like, completely insane. Like some kind of wizard magic bullshit. I love that. That's, that's phenomenal, to be real. Okay, we've got most of this set up now. This is pretty good. We've got our... Hey, yeah, if you got a video link to that, I'd love to see it, please. That sounds freaking awesome. A Cinemoth. I've never had a Cinemoth before. It's kind of cool. Dig that. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this. And we go to each one of these. And I'm going to lock them. <laughs> so that you guys don't take all my shit anymore. Now we don't have a problem. Yeah, I'm just hiding it. It's just hidden. Because the mods are taking my stuff. <laughs> Poor mods, well, you lose access when you take all my shit. It's not their stuff. That's my stuff. What is this? Yeah, I'm stopping him from removing my ability to make stuff is the problem. So now I don't have an issue being able to have my production line for all my ammunition, which I need. They are in early game, so they don't know the benefit of these items yet. Or the difficulty of farming them.
I'm gonna make some more gunpowder. Game, please. Okay, we need more charcoal. Where are the rest of my... What is going on over here? What is this guy doing? Something's wrong with him. He's broken. AI is smashed. There we go. Yeah, he was like stuck. And I don't know why. Super weird. Now we need to make 50 charcoal. So starting that charcoal up is going to let me basically go and build out all of that gunpowder in a minute here. We need this dude to actually eat. His sanity is super low because he got stuck on something. Its eyes are bloodshot. Something's wrong. Well... Let's just do that, then. Now it's not a problem anymore. Let's put that one in his place. Now it's fine. See? Now it's fine. Let's take out the other one. What is he doing? What are you doing? Are you lighting torches? Do the torches seriously go out randomly and they have to relight them? I'm going to get rid of these. Because it's adding inefficiency. It won't. Wait, what's up? I don't think it's going to cause a problem for Game Freak. As much as these are neat, it is making my fire dudes not forge ingots. We don't need light. We need ingots. We need ingots and jam toast. That's what we need. Why is the fire thing headbanging? That's its tail, my dude. That's not headbanging. That's like butt banging, I guess. Yeah, right now he's cooking. He's cooking charcoal for me. Which is what we need. Is he actually harvesting? I think the pals in the latest update are just randomly disabling. Like, they seem to just not work randomly. Like, he's stuck on harvesting now. Which is not correct. This one is randomly choosing a job. Like, for some reason. And I don't really know why. Like, he's not supposed to do this. But Bengi's just twerking, bud? Yeah, you've learned something today. I don't know if you wanted to know it, but but you know it now. See, he could have been doing that the whole time, but for some reason he was stuck on that station, which he was never assigned to. I think we've got everything we need right now. I just need a little bit more of this. We gotta get you assigned to ammunition detail. Need to discipline your pals, pretty much, dude. Beans is going to go eat some junk. Or he's doing something. I don't know what he's doing. 
Yeah, there we go. So, now I can take that charcoal and sulfur and I can make gunpowder. Start that production. Beans will craft it. And this jam-filled bun is almost done. What's your favorite part about the game so far? I think the town building and efficiency stuff is kind of fun. Did you just throw a human? No, he's one of my pals. What the hell is that? Alright. He's one of my pals, dude. Look at him. Look at his... Look at his glowing eyes. You can tell he's my pal by the way that he is. Yeah, I like building the efficiency chains in town. I think the problem that I'm having right now is a lot of the efficiency in the game is kind of broken. Because there's just, like, weird issues. Where, like, the balance just stopped working. But I think that'll be fixed over time out of early access. I think that's the biggest thing, is that's likely to be fixed over time. Any good bugs to exploit so far? No, I mean, exploiting stuff like that isn't fun. It's not really enjoyable, frankly. I'd rather just play the video game. More fun for me this way. There we go. I do wish there was PvP, I'll tell you that much. PvP would be a lot of fun. You're the perfect radio host voice? Well, what's up, dude? How's it going? Yeah, PvP is going to be sweet. Uh, apparently, they're going to be adding it, but it'll be later, you know. Spoke like a dev? What? Not exploiting stuff? No, it just robs you of the experience. It's not fun. Why do I want to skip to the end of the game? I paid for the- like, if I'm paying for a video game, why would I want to skip to the end? Right? That's why I never understood any of those types of mechanics like paying for a maximum level character in World of Warcraft. What's the point of that? There isn't one. You're paying to remove some of the game that you paid for. Like... What? That doesn't make any damn sense. UI is so busy. This is... It pales in comparison to Minecraft, so. They just copied Pokemon and Fortnite? Cool. And Undertale just copied Earthbound. And Heartbound just copied WarioWare. <laughs> At least it just copied Earthbound. And we are all just copying Dungeons and Dragons. What about Temtem? What about Monster Hunter? Like, how many other... What other games do you want at that point? W what we call this in the industry is a remix, my dude. It's a remix. It's all a remix. They've done something unique with the genre. They've made it brutal as shit. they made it really interesting. The crafting system is uniquely deep, which I think is good. And that's it. And if your only thing is, but they copied because characters look similar, who gives a shit? We do this shit all the time in the industry. It's taking something that we know and love, putting it in a new setting, trying something new with the genre, and going forward. And this one worked. It worked really good. Happens to all the movies and TV shows too. Yeah, it does. Do you know why? Because we grow up on a certain kind of game, and then when we grow up, we want to make a game that echoes what we grew up on. That's it. That's it. That's kind of how that works, man. Most of my generation of game devs, we grew up on Super Nintendo. And we grew up on things like Secret of Mana, Secret of Evermore, Earthbound, Illusion of Gaia. Right? So we make games that are like that. Why do you think there's so many quirky Earthbound likes that have shown up on, on Steam in the last five years? It's because of that. <laughs> It's the same shit for things like this. Obviously, there's inspiration from Pokemon. Obviously, there's inspiration from other games. Like, that's fine. Directly copying a Pokemon, like if Pikachu showed up in this, it'd be a problem. But making your own electric-type monster? 
and then making it so you can craft a whole bunch of things and build a town and put them to work and make them do things. You can't do any of this shit in Pokemon. At all. This is a completely unique and interesting system, frankly. I find it to be very compelling. What are your stats at? Here you go. Whoop. Yeah. Rimworld wouldn't exist without Dwarf Fortress. Nobody bats an eye at that. Yep. If something is good, it should inspire others to take it and make their own stuff out of it. 100%. How's this game? After all, very fun. Like, this is actually really good. What to enhance first? I would say your carrying capacity. Carrying capacity is a big one, man. Get it to a thousand for sure. I, I kind of even want to just keep increasing it, to be real. I wish we had bags to increase our carry capacity or, like, more slots or some shit. Like... Does this have co-op? Yeah, we're playing co-op right now. You can have up to four people over peer-to-peer -peer or 32 on a dedicated server. Everyone wants to talk inspiration versus ripoff like they're lawyers. That's because there's a whole generation of people that think that they're Coney 2012-ing right now. There's a whole generation of people that are like, Nintendo's gonna come and beat them up. I know because I know everything about copyright law. No, you don't. <laughs> and it's incredibly tiresome because it makes no sense it makes absolutely no sense like whatsoever man not even a little bit <laughs> yeah stop jumping on an internet bandwagon dude <laughs> doesn't make any sense yeah like Genshin and Zelda when everyone was like it was like Breath of the Wild is a ripoff of Genshin Impact or Genshin Impact is a ripoff of Breath of the Wild there's going to be lawsuits everywhere. You remember that shit? You remember that shit? Some of you do. And it was just as dumb then. <laughs> if Nintendo sues, the only way that they can actually sue over it is by likeness of game strategy. Which, that's a pretty weak lawsuit most of the time. Yeah. Japanese copyright doesn't allow for fair use, but Japanese copyright also has no problems with inspiration, which is why we can have things like Yokai Watch, Shin Megami Tensei, Temtem, which is also sold in Japan, all kinds of different games that go down this same route of doing monster collector games, even ones that have very similar art styles to that of Pokemon, without having a problem. Digimon, that's another one. Yeah. There's so many different games that go down that route and don't have this problem, even when they have very, very similar mechanics and art styles, because they're different games. Monster Rancher is one of them. Uh, we were actually talking about one earlier. It's a pretty big one. Yeah, what the hell is it called? It's one shape place. We talked about it earlier, I can't even remember the damn name. Yeah. Not Slime Rancher. Mm, can't remember. Some Dragon Quest. Yeah, Dragon Quest Monsters. That's the one we were talking about. Yeah, Dragon Quest Monsters. Nino Kuni. Nino Kuni is another good example of this. No problems there. Very, very similar. In fact, I think the combat in this is more similar to Nino Kuni than to a Pokemon game, legitimately. Because you're throwing down monsters and you're like attacking with your mat your attacks in between, and you can also die. I think Nino Kuni is phenomenal. I love Nino Kuni, dude. Bean just rans at me with his gun drawn and his eyes red. Yeah, he does that. He's good at it. It's probably because all the gunpowder is ready. Hmm. And the ammo. Hmm. Go make 170 ammo beans. He works through the night, by the way. Thank you to the hype train. Holy moly. Who's spinning? I don't worry about it. Uh, let's see. Stump and axe. What does that do? Improve the lumbering efficiency of pals. Yeah, we don't care about that. Gale Claw. I guess the Gale Claw would make sense. In Pokemon, you can't capture humans in a Pokemon. You can in this game, and I think it's amazing. Yeah, it's right here. Yep. Is this game on Steam? Yeah. I 
I find it funny there's like a couple of different things that is like a common trope that I'm seeing. For the people who keep saying the silo looks suggestive, if if it looks like that to you, you should go see a doctor. Because if yours looks like that, there's a problem. Okay, like that's not normal or good. That's... Not every cylinder-shaped object is a dick, Chad. I know this is deeply distressing for you and difficult to understand. I know. I know. It's one of the most common things I've been re- That's- It looks like a dick because it's a cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? You could be normal. You could be normal, Chad. That's not my egg. That's Wolf's egg. I don't steal things. Unlike the mods, dude. What is this pile of- what is this? The hell is this? <laughs> what is this just pile of stuff? <laughs> Dear God, dude. Is this all the stuff you guys stole out of my chest? Is that what this is? It totally is. Is that my three-shot bow that came from here? Should I can't store it? Go make a chest then. Then you won't have this problem. Mods are animals, dude. Mods are animals confirmed. Actually, you know what I think one of the top things I'd want from this game are? Give me an auto auto sort button. So that I can take the items from here and automatically stack it, like an auto stack button, would be really nice. Because this game doesn't have an auto stack. It has a sort for your inventory, but it doesn't have an auto stack button, which is sort of lame, you know. That's one thing I could say could be a, like a pretty big improvement. Is it R? Oh my god, where is that displayed in the UI? Oh, it's all the way down in the bottom right corner. Son of a bitch. I didn't know that existed. Yeah, that needs to get moved. <laughs> it's gotta be like somewhere that makes sense. Fantastic. Oh, here's another one. Owls? Whenever they go put items away, they just put it in whatever the closest chest is. Sometimes the closest chest. And because of that, when you go to open up chests, you'll just randomly have rocks and wood and stuff in there that you didn't want in there. Which is very funny. But also, like... Like, why, why'd you put it in there? Alright. Can pals put stuff into locked and pass go to chess? Yes, they can. Which is even funnier.
Let's make a bunch of bread. I don't want this or that. Let's make an average feed bag. We're doing it. What are you doing? Get to work. Spider, you make a game? I've got some experience with Java JavaScript, but when I downloaded Game Maker, I was more lost than I was than an unsupervised kid at Disneyland. What do I do now? You're going to be lost when you first start. It's okay. Um, start working on your project, and when you get stuck on a specific thing, go look at the documentation. After, if the documentation doesn't help you, right, you can hit F1 at any time on any function in Game Maker, and it will show you the documentation. If it doesn't help you, then you should go and look at tutorial for specifically the thing you are stuck on. And that's it, right? That's the most important. And if once you find a solution to that in that one specific tutorial, then great. You can move away from it, you know? I reinstalled Twitch to come see you play this. You can just use your browser, you know? You don't need the app. Not necessary. Is this game fun? Yes. I have been very much so enjoying it. Right, who are we going to enhance this then? Alright. Alright. Let's go somewhere else. I think I can go and dump this in here. What do we got? That's a level 30 boss. I can't really do a level 30 boss yet. Excuse me, game. What's the star on the map? It's a reticle that I put in. Specifically for what I was doing. Did you have to reset today? No, I didn't. I did not have to reset at all. It's kind of nice, actually. I was expecting my character to be fully deleted and everything to be gone, but nope. Everything's good. Is this game more Pokemon with X or X game with Pokemon? It is kind of neither, to be honest with you. It's sort of its own weird remix thing, which I think is quite good. Can your character go from server to server? As far as I know, no. Your character is bound to a specific server, which I kind of like, to be honest with you. Autosave? Yes. Constantly. Are characters server specific? Yes. Will you upload a VOD? Yeah, I've got about... I think we've got like 30 hours of footage for this thing. Because you guys keep requesting it, so... I will keep playing it. Okay, let's think about this. There's a tower... I've defeated that one. Tower of Rain Syndicate. That one's done. I need to see where the next tower is. Or we can start killing level 32 major bosses. Because I'm pretty sure I'm really close enough. Like I'm almost close enough for that. Is the map randomly generated? No, it is not. The map is set, but it is enormous, dude. The map is enormous, enormous. It's huge. It is ridiculously large. We got ads, by the way, so we're gonna wait. Just gonna sit here catching these humans. Yeah. 
What do you mean if the spawn is random? You drop a flying dookie on your enemies? No, unfortunately, I haven't gained the ability to drop you on people. Maybe one day, though. We might get there. Technology is advancing every day. Where are the ads? Not everybody gets them, but we wait for the community. <sighs> Bro makes his subs wait for ad time? Yes, I do. Because whether you're sub to me or not, nobody should be left behind in the community. So we wait. And it's always been that way, and it always will be that way. You should not be left behind just because you don't throw money at me. I think it's a shit thing. Yep. Ads on live content are terrible, but Twitch pays quite a bit for it, and it adds extra benefits for the streamer on top of monetary rewards. Who here doesn't know what those are, by the way? They're really, really good reasons to run ads on your channel. Okay, I'll wait for the ants to be over, and then we'll talk about it. Alright, so ads are over. I wait for ads here. If you're new here, I always wait for ads, no matter what. Um, we every They go off every 30 minutes for about two minutes, right? They go off every 30 minutes for two minutes. The reason that I run ads... Let me go and turn on our good old blackboard. You do two minutes of ads every 30 minutes. The reason why is because I have the ability to snooze them and you want to stay above three minutes of total ads per hour. If you do this, they will change your rates for the ad revenue from 30% to 55%, which is a massive increase. And then on top of it, they get rid of pre-rolls for your channel. If you notice, when you first came to this channel, you didn't get an ad when you first joined. That's because pre-rolls are dead here, because I'm running these. When I changed from doing pre-rolls to doing no pre-rolls like this, I went from one average follower per hour. This was earlier in, you know, me streaming when I ran around like 400, 300 people in here. From one average follower per hour to about seven to eight average followers per hour just by making that change. Because, and it, it makes sense. If you jump into a channel, you've never seen a streamer before, and there's eight ads in a row, you're going to leave. So, we get rid of pre-rolls by running ads. It's Pre-rolls are the death of your channel. It makes it incredibly hard for new viewers to actually engage with what you're doing. So, we get rid of them, and I wait for ads as a respectful thing to the rest of the community. And that's it. And they also pay a lot of money on them now, too. They didn't used to, but they do. So, yeah. Always, always, man. Eight ads? Yes, yeah, some people do. You'll jump into a channel, you're like, six to eight ads? No, I'm out. I've never even seen the streamer. I never want to, no. That's it. CEO said he was getting rid of this like six months ago, but never did. Likely because Twitch is having serious money problems. So I would not be surprised if that was a promise that he can't quite keep yet. Even if his intention is to get rid of them eventually. Do you choose the time of the ads? Yeah, I can snooze it or I can pause it or anything like that. But I, I keep it running every 30 minutes. And I have a timer directly in OBS. You can just take your Twitch ads timer and put it right in there. It's great. Twitch is a black hole for all things money. I mean, it makes sense. You know why Twitch is so expensive, right? You can talk about that, too, if you want. Hmm. Should I sub and do Twitch Turbo? Twitch Turbo is awesome. You won't get any ads, and the streamer still gets money as if you watch the ads. It's exactly like YouTube Premium over on the YouTube side, and that's it. You're worth the eight ads. Thank you. Thank you for those five gifted subs, so it's super nice of you. Yeah. Broadcasting is not cheap. Broadcasting's crazy expensive. In fact, do you guys want to see how much it costs to run this stream for Twitch? Yeah, Turbo doesn't let you get emotes. That's a big thing. You want to know? All right. Hold up. I'm going to go bring up my desktop again. And I'm going to show you something interesting. Let's go to Amazon IVS Calculator. IVS is Interactive Video Service which is actually a system that is run by Amazon, right? 
This is the back end of Twitch. Pay as you go pricing. This is Amazon interactive video service. When they bought Twitch, they turned the back end of Twitch into a product that they now sell. Kick, their back end, is this. The back end of Kick is Twitch. It's the same platform. They're all paying to Amazon. Amazon wins at the end despite all the platform wars on Twitter. It's irrelevant. Amazon's the one taking the money home. So if you look at this, let's go in here. We're going to say that I've streamed for about eight hours right now. We're going to say that we have 9,000 viewers right now. We're going to put the average at about 8,000. If every one of you is watching at 1080p and you have been the whole time, it costs Twitch $4,360 to run this stream. Dunna. That's how that works. Yep. That is why Twitch is losing money. This is the reason. You do that for every streamer on the platform. Now, you remember, if we're at 720p, it's $2,000. If it's 480p, it's $1,100. Per year? No. Per this stream. <laughs> That's this stream. Not per month. This singular stream at eight hours of streaming. This is why, yeah, this is why 4K is an option. This is the reason that they're giving us the ability to run our own transcodes. Because it's going to take all of this cost off of Twitch. And that's the point. That is the whole point. It's going to take a shitload of this cost off of Twitch. da -da. Yeah. So if you want to do this calculation yourself, you can. And the interesting part is, Twitch has stated multiple times that they don't get any kind of special discounts because Amazon is their parent company. Which means Amazon is charging them just like any other service. And that's it. How do I run transcodes? They have a new beta version that's coming out that it's going to allow us to run our own. Which I can't do because I'm also simulcasting on YouTube at the same time. Which sucks. That's not a lot of money for those company? Yes, it is. Because an inefficient system at scale is inefficient. How many broadcasters do you think are on Twitch? How many? How many broadcasters do you think are on Twitch? On a monthly basis? Let's just choose a month. 5,000? How about 7.9 million? In December alone. An inefficient system at scale is more inefficient. Because it loses money on even some of the top streamers, it is guaranteed to lose money across almost every other streamer too. It is like Twitch is losing money and it's trying to find ways to stop losing money. Best thing it can do, honestly is find ways for small and mid-level streamers to monetize better. That's probably the best option for Twitch. I wouldn't be surprised if they find better and better ways for people to monetize with things like bits and subs going forward. Or sp specifically to get better options for things like sponsorships and stuff like that through the platform. AV1 is also going to reduce their costs a lot, yeah. By about 30-40% to 40 on bandwidth costs. If there's enough adoption. But my guess is... When they roll out this transcodes thing and they make AV1 more of a thing on the platform, likely they'll get financial incentives to the streamers to accept it because that's usually the best way to get people to convert. Be like, hey, do you want a 70-30 split? Take AV1 encoding. Go get a 40-90 card to be able to do it. You know, the 4000 series card to do it. And I wouldn't be surprised if they have incentives like that in the future because it makes the most sense for the platform. How do you increase adoption? You give people a kickback. Makes total sense. So I'm waiting to see what they do with that, what their strategy is, because if they don't give a kickback for it, it's probably going to be a lot of complaints. Yeah. They could buy Intel Arc. You can get an Intel Arc, but that means you need a secondary streaming machine, and not everybody does that. I specifically don't, right? I actually use... I'm a one-machine one dude. I run on a 4090 to do everything. This is rough stuff. Welcome to math. Welcome to large-scale business. See this right here? See this massive increase? Let's go look at viewership. See this? See that right there? That's the start of the pandemic, man. See how they went from 1.36 million viewers to 2.49 million viewers in about two months? Pretty rough shit, right? And you're like, wow, well, that's so many more customers. They must be making so much more money. No. So in a normal business, if somebody walks into your business and they don't spend any money, you don't lose anything. But in Twitch, when someone walks into your business and they watch a stream, you lose money for every minute they're watching that stream due to bandwidth costs. This is a bill, not a cash income, because not every one of those viewers is monetized, which is why they aggressively push ads now, so you can monetize the unmonetized viewers. A Their business model makes sense. It's just not efficient yet, and they got to keep 
tightening the belt until it is, frankly, which sucks. It's awful. Yeah, tw Twitch is a huge money pit right now. Yeah. Are drops ads? What? No. Totally different things. More mad at Bezos than anything? It's not really Bezos' fault. Bezos bought Justin TV, right? Bought it. Turned it into Twitch. Did the whole thing. Bought the bought the good old Twitch. And then uh took the back end and turned that into a product. And then sell that they sell that product. That's it. Spike in viewers is interesting. It never went away. Everyone was kind of assuming that it would kind of go away, but most people got used to using streams as their primary form of entertainment. Cable TV died. It's kind of how it went. How long can they go this route? I think they're good for the, the time being. I think we're probably going to see a lot of monetization changes over the next year, frankly. I, I wouldn't be surprised because, you know, they just had to cut 35% of their workforce. There's a lot of monetization stuff that's kind of up in the air. And everyone's sort of waiting to see what happens. I think the big kicker is going to be the AV1 encoding changes and, and likely the changes to transcodes. That's going to be a big one for Twitch. Is like, when this is fully implemented, does it save them money? And if it doesn't, I don't know what's going to happen. But if it does, then great. Is YouTube inefficient or just Twitch? Just Twitch. YouTube is much better at their ads game, mostly because Google is an ad company. Amazon isn't an ad company. It's a shipping company. It's an ad company, kind of, but it's a shipping company primarily, frankly. So if you look at the difference between ad fill on Amazon stuff and ad fill on Google stuff, Google wins every time. Yeah. Every time. Amazon's also a cloud server company. It's a shipping company and a cloud server company for sure. Yep. But to be real with you, Google controls the ad market. So it makes sense. Maybe one day Google will buy Twitch and YouTube Live will not look so bad. <laughs> and we'll actually have Discovery. Maybe. Maybe. And we'll have a monopoly and everyone will be mad. Where did Power go? It's behind this. We were having a, a side discussion about things. Yeah, Google's also hurting hard. Everyone is. The reason why is because everyone over... basically overbought staff for the pandemic because they're like, oh shit, the world is going indoors. And then after they overbought staff, they were like, well, what do we do now? We've made all of our processes more efficient and we don't need this many people anymore. Well, time to cut. And that's it. And if you're wondering what that looks like, let me actually show you because uh, I'll never talk about something without having math for you. I love having math. I love talking about the good old maths. So let me show you this. This is layoffs.fyi website. And we'll go back to 2022. In 2022, we had 164,969 total layoffs across 1,064 tech companies worldwide. In 2023, that went up by over 100,000. Hey. So now you can see very quickly, like, this is... It's very obvious that it has changed. And we go to 2024, we're already at 7,785 with only 19 days in. And that's it. That's the whole deal, man. Yeah. Isn't Google owned by fate? What did you just say to me, Sentinel? Well, I'm going to leave that one in chat. <laughs> Isn't Google owned by Facebook? Oh... I'm not Google. You should Google that. Are there boars in this game? Yeah, there are. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Google's owned by Pirate Software, dude. I'm actually John Google. That's true. Yeah. When everyone's talking about Googling something, they actually just go to me and I answer it. You don't realize that's what's happening, but I, I can see all of your searches. All of them. That's right. All of them. Even that one. Especially that one. Where's my gun? Ooh, got him. Hey, buddy. I fell off the cliff. Well, he'll never get ahead in life. Is this Pokemon? Yeah. Remember in Pokemon when you just whipped out your gun and... 
and then caught the Pokemon. You remember that? You ever do that in your life? In Pokemon? You ever just throw the ball over and over again? Slowly getting XCOM as it grinds away your sanity? You ever do that? Oh! Shoot it one more time, it would die, dude. What's that screaming? Oh god. This is not good. Get out there. Rude. That is not what I wanted. God damn it. I need to hit you. There we go. Come on. Come on. I love this voice, dude. Oh, mine now. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Nineteen percent. Yeah. That I got robbed there. That's sadness. Yeah. Where the witch hat? Well, I have the metal band now. It's yeah. higher armor, higher defense. Oh my god, dude! I'm yeah. I'm winning the nineteen percent. I'm failing the fifty. Do pounds have type effectiveness? Yes, they do. I have been robbed three times. I have failed three coin flips. Four coin flips. Yeah. This is. This is ridiculous. I'm not killing it. In for a penny, in for a pound. Oh, thank God. Got it on the fifth coin flip. Fine. It's mine now. Oh, look, I got that light now. That hip lantern actually worked out really nicely. Tally ho. What difficulty am I playing on? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's the percentage based. The percentage is displayed, so. You can just find a dude just sleeping out here? You ever just. Must have been the wind, right? Must must have been the wind, Chet. What? I'm gonna shoot him to death in his foot. Okay. Fine. All right. Whoa! That's a Catrus. Catrus is a really nasty, actually. Shit. Get. The hell? 
There was clearly an arrow in that. 3%. Yeah. Believe, chat. Believe. 3% and then 24%. That's all we got to get. 3% and 24%. Believe. Believe, chat. Oh. Gotta believe harder. Gotta believe harder. Is that a furry? Is Jinx Ash's mom? Or dead? Wait, Mr. Mime. That's what it was. Is Mr. Mime Ashes dead? Think about it. Asking that question caused me to catch. Yeah, not Ashes Mom. Ashes is Mr. Mime Ashes. I was thinking about Jinx and Mr. Mime interchangeably because they're both the creepiest goddamn thing that's ever been made. It's true. How is this not copyright? Because amazingly, none of these are Pokemon. Incredible, I know. You too can make a monster catching video game. You could literally make Buttsmon and just make a whole bunch of, like, brightly colored monsters that have butts on their foreheads, and you could release that video game and no one can stop you. Welcome to the world. Yeah, bet. You can make Buttsmon. It's fine. You have to understand, like, there is nothing in this game that is owned by Nintendo. The concepts that you're seeing that you know from Pokemon have been used time and time again in many hundreds of other monster-catching video games. This is not unique in any way. The part that's unique about this is the addition of crafting mechanics, town mechanics, and allowing it to all be in 3D space, kind of like Nino Kuni-style combat, which is really interesting. And guns, of course. I find it to be fun. It's very novel in its approach for this. Ooh, I missed. Didn't miss that time. Tally-ho! Oh, that one, that one didn't die. Oh, he's mad. Here, be a wall for a second. Thanks, bud. Hmm. Missed. What? I love how the music changes when it's a loop on. Holy shit! Alright. Deeply horrifying. Another 3 percenter. Let's rock. Believe. Yeah. That was a man? Yeah, you can catch a man. Oh. Here, I got a man right here. Yeah. He's pretty cool, isn't he? Look at him. There he goes. His name is Beans. Back in the ball. Not letting him get away. Not like last time. These monsters, these pals, have tiny hands, and they're very good at making weaponry, because they're small, childlike hands. As such, you put them to work on weapons factory areas. Good at it. Yeah, Rebunny, dude. Vitalia. Oh? Well, this is gonna be a problem. Oh! Problem solved. Next. 
Ooh. Perfect. You love to see that, dude. You don't love to see that. Have you played any more Greyhack? Yeah, like yesterday, I think. Off stream. I play it pretty much every day. What game is this? You just joined the stream? This is Power World, and it is phenomenal, frankly. Solving problems like a Texan? I'm getting better at it. I'm bringing out my inner America. This is a game where you hunt Pokemon with a gun? Nah. Nah. What is this Force and Bot, dude? <laughs> Did that just post a Force and Fleece Pyramid? That's freaking amazing, actually. I'm not even mad. Grintail. Love Grintail. That's the first one I've seen in the wild. Found one as a boss before. A little bit low. God, you have so much freaking health. I really want to catch this Grintel. I really want to catch it. Ooh. Yeah, 4% is pretty low. I have 263. So it's fine. We can just keep throwing these. I got all day. You gonna make better balls? No, I'm, I'm doing it out of spite now, just to let you know. Just to let you know, I'm actually not using anything other than the basic ones out of spite now. This chat wants me to. And I find it deeply funny. Yeah. This is how I got married? You just kept trying it. 4% chance until... Until you finally succeeded? Is that... Oh. Almost had it that time. Yeah, I'm using basic Pokeballs to catch a Legendary right now. It's pretty much how that's going. 25% of my gameplay is throwing blue spheres. I got a cat in a tree. Nice. Look, you can miss, too. Sir? Or just miss a bunch. Oh, hey, I got a couple of Mega Spheres. Yeah. I should throw those, right? Nah. Didn't work. Might as well go back to the blue ones. See, the blue ones work better. You guys are always trying to tell me to use the better balls. Blue ones are the best ones. Tally ho. Wow, I missed? How did that miss? What's the hitbox on that thing? Am I just bad? I might just be bad. Not everybody can be shroud, okay? Oh. Well, he's dead now. Oh well. Hey, look, a free one. Nice. Yeah, nobody can be Shroud except Shroud. Dude, Shroud is a, a mutant. He's really goddamn good. Oh? What are you? Oh, that hurts. Im Ow. Stop it. Well, didn't want to kill you. Mine now. Ooh, we got ads. We got ads. What? I wish you could see this. I can't stop. I'm trying to capture this damn thing. If I don't stop trying to capture it, then I... It's gonna get away or something. It's doing some bullshit. It's inside of a wall. 
Oh, God. I guess I could just sit here now. I'm not leaving you behind. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You just got no ads? Not everybody gets them. Not everybody gets ads, my dude. You have an anti-ad block? No. I don't know. I don't know what the hell you think that that is right there. That's not anti-ad block. This is me waiting for the community that is not sub to me. <laughs> anti-ad block. Yes. As you can see, my anti-ad block is in effect, and you're currently getting an ad. And as such, I am siphoning money from your mind. Incredible. I know. The elf hot dog thing? Oh, do you mean the worm? She's real, by the way. That's right. She's real. Ow. So I'm shooting this man in the face. I think all of them just died at the same time. Interesting. Ads are not over. Ads are not over. It does it on its own. You got 10 seconds left, my dude. Just play your CBC ad and ads breaks now? No, dude. That's CBC's. Fantastic human being, though. You see that right there? That's a shiny. I forgot to reload. Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Oh, boy. All right, all right, we're doing it. Ow. God damn. Dude, this thing hurts. I tried to dodge that and it didn't let me dodge it. Oh shit, I got I got wrappings on me. No 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 It hurts! <laughs> oh. 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 This is unironically very rough. I don't know why that thing's level 30. Whoa! That would have been a death. What? Game? Oh, 
Oh shit. I had to kill it. I had to kill it. There was no choice. 0.06. Nah, there's no way to catch it. It would have killed me, dude. It would have killed me. It blocks if it's under 1%. Yeah, they block. There's nothing I could do about it. Yeah. If it's under 1%, they just block the ball every time. F. Oh, that was a really intense fight, actually. There were like two or three times that I should have died there, and I didn't. Use better ball? I refuse. In this house, we gain more level. We don't use better ball. Game, please. Eat it. All right, here we go. Good. Oh, missed it because it did some kind of weird wind bullshit. Nice. You tried getting good? Oh, sorry. I was uh, too busy being good. Yeah, I don't have to. I don't have to get good. Unfortunate for you, I know. The timing was pretty rough for you, I see. Yeah. Yeah, it's rough. At least play the CBC ad now, for those who didn't see it this morning. I can't. I don't have it, my dude. It's Cardboard Cowboys. You should go watch his channel. You should see it there. Ooh. Hey, look. Free blue. Hey, mods. Can you, uh, shout out Cardboard Cowboy's channel? Can you do that? Hmm? 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 Do you eat pals in this game? I mean, yeah. Absolutely. See this? I'm just gonna... You know... Save those legs. If they didn't want me eating them, they wouldn't be made out of meat. Alright. Don't make that weird. Thank you, mods. That's a good hit. That was a weird... Did you see that? Why did the ball fly like that? That was weird as shit. Aren't pals people? Sometimes. Not always, though. Oh, come on. Multi-track drifting, dude. Now we can have disappointment in stereo. Or not. I think I prepped him too hard, dude. Not that one.
rude. Music is awesome, yeah. Hmm. Am I level 20? Yeah, I'm level 29 right now. Handgun. Handgun ammo. And I can make defensive walls now. Sick. I didn't want to get double headshot because she would have died. What? That was interesting. What are you gonna machine gun? I can build a a pistol right now. Machine gun's a bit way off, you know. No, it's not like Fortnite. I know. I know some of your generation has only ever played a shooting game that is Fortnite, but the primary mechanic of Fortnite that makes it unique is the fact that you build in combat. Not just shoot things. You know, that may be surprising. Yeah. Shiny. Let's see if we get a little bit luckier this time. Is it a level 30? Are we going to be sad? It's a 25. We can do it. All right. Missed it. Okay. Go somewhere you can actually fit. Got it. Whoa, all right. There's going to be a lot of dudes here. Missed it. Take that one out. I don't know why my mammoth is just in the way. Mammoth frozen, not good. Can't get a shot. We can eat it 5% of it. Come on. I think it's about as close as I feel comfortable trying it. Oh. Close. It's got to be 4% and then 24%. Oh, wait. We got a couple of greens. Nah. I won't use those greens. Oh. Out of spike, chat. Yeah. All you need is one. That's right. Yeah. All you need is one, chat. Base getting raided? Probably. Yeah. But right now, 
In this house, we use blue. 183 blue left. That's right. That's right. You gotta say save him for later, then actually never use him. That is the way. That's true. I could do this all day, man. I could do this all day. I'm at 176 left. Kinda is wasting them though, I get him for free. I literally go back to my base, and I have three other pals that are just grinding them for me. Oh, almost had it that time. This is it. Oh. Gotta do the AB trick? True. Oh, I missed. Oh, right, I just wasted one. It's fine. I got 166 left. We've used 20. Yeah. Call this the brute force method? No. We call this maximum efficiency. Yeah. We don't even move out of its abilities. Because we know how tough we are. Did it just, like, dodge backwards? That was really weird. Yeah. I will catch this shiny. I will catch this shiny. Gonna butcher it afterwards? Yeah. Nah. I'm gonna put it in my base and never look at it again. As you do. Yeah. Such a tryhard? I'm not trying at all. That's the difference. Why would I use anything but blue, Chet? Why would I use anything but blue? Accidentally killed it. No, I didn't throw a green. I don't have any green. Maybe I did throw a green. I might have. Didn't catch anything, though. I might have missed a green one. I was moving around, and I think I hit the two key, which is the one that switches. Only blue in this house. God, you regenerate health so slow in this. It's like awful, actually. Look at the bodies. No. 
I refuse. There's a server setting you can change? Why would I want to change a server setting? Nah, I'm not going back to base. I want to get that green over there. Your face is looking rough. Oh, you mean this? Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Look at him, dude. <laughs> He's pretty good. Honestly, fantastic. run for a minute. There's a whole lot of them. They're all getting banned right now. It's whatever. Every single one of them getting banned automatically. Should I get pizza or wings? Ooh. Who's getting banned? There's like a million bots over on Twitch side. It's trying to eat through the queue to ban them all right now. Just takes time. It's banned like a couple hundred of them so far. Always funny to watch, to be honest with you. They're still going. They're running out of steam. Ooh. I'd like to stay away from you. You're spooky. Those loot moons are really dangerous, actually. What'd you come back to? Bots. Bots doing the bot thing, man. Getting banned. Let's see where the action queue's at. Nope. Unenable that. There we go. It'll chew through that now. One at a time. It's collected enough data to go and pull all of this. It's going slow, though. Yeah, it'll ban them each time. See? I'm starting to do it. Ugh. There's always going to be a certain throughput where it's just too many. And then it takes it a minute. Because it's got to read every message. As you guys sevens them into the into oblivion. Thankfully, all the messages they sent through are queued up. I'm going to grab them all. And then at the end of the stream, it'll give me a feed out, an Excel sheet of every one of them. And I just send them over to Twitch. And they just get banned. Easy. No problems there, man. This is another one selling more follow bot service shit. That's not good. If you're a streamer and you're looking to grow on the platform, that is not the way to do it. You won't gain anything. You will actually ruin any chance you have of growing an actual community. Because it's quite obvious to look at, to be real with you. Anybody that looks at analytics is going to be like, what? And the average viewer is going to pop in and go, there's no community here, no one's doing anything. Pretty normal stuff. Don't focus on the numbers. Instead... Focus on growing a community of people that get to have fun. Basically, content you have. That's all. What's happening again? Yeah. For some reason, streamer bots having a big problem going through all those 
in the queue. It's taking a long ass time. Oh, it's going faster now. Yeah, it was just taking a while. No! I'll deal with this. Yeah, don't worry about it, little ham. It'll be doing it on its own. Those ones are all handled. But the automated stuff, I've already got it. It just takes a little bit to go through. It's not a big deal. Every single one of them is technically already dead. So if you look at this, I'll show you here. See this? See how that's chewing through right now? It's reading every one of the messages that was happening for a little while. And it's eating every one of those. And it's pulling all of the data from each one of those messages and just banning every one of them. And that's it. So as it goes through all those messages, because there were so many of them, it just takes it a minute to parse. And once it's done parsing, it just deletes every single one of them. That's it. We should up for a minute? You could. I mean, you added more messages to it, but it's reading your messages and being like, ah, nothing's in there. It's almost done. See, they're getting banned. That one got banned. That one got banned. Which is why you should never copy-paste what the bots are saying. Because some of you, in your genius moves, go, I also will say what the bot says. Aren't I clever? And then you go, please unban me. I was a dumbass. And that's... Yeah. Yeah, too dumb. Too dumb. Yeah. See? It's just slowly chewing through them. Always funny to me. I didn't mean to be a bot. It was my brother. He came in the room and copy-pasted it because he thought it was funny. Every time. It's the brother. Every time. Little brother. Can't believe it. Can't believe he copy-pasted the bot's message. Can't believe it. It was my dog. Little bro's the worst. It's true. Can you scale the UI? I don't know if you can scale the UI. Oh, look. It's done. Neat. And now it's finished. And now if they do it, again, I just turn it back on. And it chews through all the messages. Yep, banned a whole bunch of them. Any particular reason your name is Thor? Well, I was born with the name, so... But yeah, I was actually named that because I was born in a thunderstorm. It's my middle name. So, thought might as well use it. Oh. Huh. Accidentally killed him. He's dead. He's dead, chat. I'm so sorry. My dad's name isn't Odin? No. My dad's name is not Odin. It's Joey Ray. As one word. Which is really funny to me, actually. He used to tell us all the time that he was raised by... He was adopted, and he, he told us all the time he was raised by, raised by redneck parents. Because they named his first name Joey Ray. Yeah, just this is a single... One word. It's very funny, actually. Rude. I just want to hit you with an axe and then catch you in a ball and enslave you for the rest of your life. That's all. Come on. Come join my team. We'll fight stuff. Actually, I'll probably turn you into paste. You like being paste, though. There we go. Oh, that one was an artisan. We like artisans. Artisan is good. Oh, my day is going well? It is. It's actually going great. We got ads, though. You didn't see anything. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Rhythmic with cube, $5 though. said, Have you played Rhythm Doctor? I was surprised yes. how compelling the story Dude. is and how much attention to detail there is. Rhythm Doctor is a phenomenal video game. If you like rhythm games, if you, if you like rhythm games in any respect, you need to play Rhythm Doctor. Like, it's, it's just very, very good. 
I'm sorry, paste? Yeah, I'm going to turn them into paste and then feed them to the other one, and then the other one is going to gain more powers because I fed them the paste of their friend. That's how that works. You absorb their strength. You know? Is Power World good in multiplayer? Well, the only experience I've had in Power World in multiplayer is my moderators taking my stuff. So I don't know. I don't know yet. Any shiny pals yet? Yes, I got a shiny pal earlier, which was nice. Hmm. <sighs> what palace has been my favorite so far? The mammoth. Yeah, the mammoth is fantastic. Mammoth's cool as shit. Really been enjoying it, to be honest with you. Alright, next. Nico Spud with 500 bits said, Hey Thorsimus Prime, supreme pimogen of all goblin kind. I need to let you know that you have gotten me into Monster Hunter now, you jerk. Oh, Monster Hunter's so World good. And we'll be playing it later in my off time. Thank you for introducing me to such wonderful games, but please yeah. stop my wallet can only take so much abuse. Monster Hunter World is incredible, and I'm waiting for Monster Hunter Wilds, which is going to be the next big one, that is basically along the same route as Monster Hunter World, and I, I think it's fantastic. So Monster Hunter World is just good, dude. It's really a good game. Have I played Monster Hunter World? Yes. <laughs> it's very good. Can't approve. Good video game. Yes. No, I love Monster Hunter World a lot, dude. I actually play Insect Glaive. That was my first Monster Hunter game. I was always, I was very into it. I was very, very into it. And the, the reason why is because I found it to finally fix a lot of the camera angle stuff that I saw that was, like, bad for other Monster Hunter games. And it just did a really good job. Yeah, Monster Hunter World did a very good job. They're talking about the mobile game by Niantic? Oh, I play Monster Hunter now, yes. Yeah, I play it, Chun. A lot, actually. I think I'm like rank 100 right now like hunter rank 100 or very close to it i was uh fighting in azure rathalos the other day because they have that event going on right now bro is a human on his team hey that's not just any human all right his name is beans and he has feelings i just don't respect them so i put him back in the ball and then hide him So how dare you? Ooh, free stuff. Why is Beans the ferret named Beans? Because he, when we first got him, and he was a little baby, he decided to break out of his cage in the middle of the night while I was sleeping and then run across the room and start laughing about it. He was making little, like, happy duking noises because he managed to escape. And, um, I named him Beans because he's Beans where Beans should not be. He's a good meme. Be gone. Oh, another chest. Yeah, Beans is fantastic. He's a good, he's a good little lad. Problem is, is he reached the age of two, and boy ferrets, when they reach the age of two, become aggressively horny. And as such, I had to put him in a cage away from everybody, because he tries to fight everyone, and hump them. Which, we will be getting him a hormone treatment to stop this from happening soon. It's a normal thing for boy ferrets, happens at about the age of two. You just get him an implant, it goes away. Yeah, he's in actual horny jail right now. You know, the game is awesome. It's his rite of passage, it is. It's his, you're an adult ferret now. Please stop. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. I think you're a respectable human being. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. You're awesome. No, the problem is, is he tries to bite ears while it's going on, and he can hurt the other ones because the other ferrets will just sit there and let him, which is sort of weird. Yeah, ferrets are weird. All right, next. Lord Conti with 1,000 bits said, Yarchir 1,000 first, Reading is a curse. Once you learn how to read, you can't help yourself. 
even if you don't read a whole document. Mm. Second, I'm working my way out of a depression slump. I need to get a new job since the one I have, despite being easy and paying well, is extremely hostile and destroying my mental health. I haven't been able to figure out my plans yet. Your streams help. Sevens I'm in glad. chat for Thor everyone. I'm glad- no, god damn it. I'm glad that the streams help you, in some way. You're fantastic, dude. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. Oh, I see those sevens. How excited are you guys for the game jam, by the way? Now that you guys are running it. How many of you guys have found that, that you're learning stuff that's like really positive? I'm actually really interested. Me tons, I'm glad. Loving it, I'm really glad. Starting right now, good. You're about seven days in, but that's okay. You can still win if you go ham. And if you don't go ham, you can still learn stuff. I think we can kill the big mammoth boy now. I'm pretty sure we can do it. Are we XP farming? Yeah. Zaphroth is back on the menu, dude. Wait. Interesting. Can you kill him? No, there's no PvP. I don't feel like PvP in this would be very balanced, anyway. Um, it basically just means, like, you got the next tier up in the tech tree, you win the map. You know? There's not, like, a lot of good balancing that can really come out of that. Yeah. Alright. Let's try this. Got him. Yeah, there's no PvP right now. There will be later. But I'll tell you right now, like, there's this. There's no crime, because there's no one left to report it. It's not murder. Prove it. Prove I murdered somebody. You can't. Alright, here we go. You saw it? You saw what? No, you didn't, and no one will ever believe you. It's true. Huh. It's time. We can kill him this time. Oh, shit. God. That's an interesting ability I didn't expect. I 
I don't have to catch it. I just have to kill it. Yeah, I captured one already. That's the one that's fighting against it. Really not good. Yeet. Gang's all here, man. Yeah. Wanna see something funny? Bomb chicken. <laughs> and he's dead. My good old bomb chicken, man. You gotta kinda shoot it in the forehead, I think. Thank you for those gifted subs, by the way. You're awesome, so. I wonder how many other people have killed this damn thing. Capture bosses? Yes. It is unlikely I will be able to capture this one, though, because this level is 38. Oh. Ow. My boy. Got 
got 1,155 HP left. I am running out of ammo. Zephyrath, you're stabbing my pet. What are you... You do you, Zephyrath. Look at him, dude. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. He's a traitor, dude. Is Zaphroth a PC or NPC? I ask myself that every day. Every day. Lag? Yeah, definitely between keyboard and chair, I would think. You might be right. Yeah. Yeah, see? No capture. he goes. I don't have a green sphere. Seven high quality oil. Ooh. Ooh. I went to space. Did you actually go to space? Did it launch you into space? That's really funny. Is the drop shared? I have no idea. How are you feeling about this game so far? It's fantastic. My body still hasn't come down yet. Oh. Oh. Is a seamless co-op mod in the development for Armored Core? Oh, that's kind of sick. these plots because your pals ran out of trees and stone? No, they didn't. They didn't run out of trees and stone. There's a box right here with thousands of trees and stone. Why would you do this? They don't eat it. Oh, what the hell? All of them died before I could do anything. Fantastic. What's the end goal to this game? What's the end goal to any monster collector video game? Get them all. Get them all and kill as much stuff and, stuff and level as many times as possible. That's the whole idea. Yeah, to be the very best, dude. Dare I say, like no one ever was.
Nice. Why didn't you try to do the storyline? The storyline was incredibly short. I did it. It's done. It was just a, like kind of a minor detail thing. This one, there wasn't anything like incredibly impressive and extra about it. Make gun? I already have a gun. I already have a gun. See, that's why I throw blue all the time, by the way, was that those critters look tasty. I'd probably eat one, to be honest with you. Yeah, if you're talking about a handgun, let me see if I can. <laughs> it's not going to be in here. It's going to be another one. Sound does need updating? I know. It's rough. There. He's going to go work on it. Does the pal just generate spheres? Yeah, the Vixie does. It's quite funny. Vixie's pretty overpowered, to be honest with you. Where's the tiny bunny? I have no idea where she went. While fighting together, grants the player and the Felbat the lifesteal effect, which absorbs some of the damage received. Are there some some of the received damage and restores HP? What? Fighting together, ground pals drop more items when defeated. All right. Yeah, these are kind of sick. That's really sick, actually. trying to think. I was thinking about all the different like elements that we have. And I don't think there's a better team than what we have right now. Although my chickpea is kind of dead. Are the <laughs> Pokemon in the room with us right now? No. Why you like this? That one got waterproof, which is not very good. That one is motivational later. I think we could probably upgrade that Rebunny. Penguin rocket launchers like bomb chicken on steroids? Yeah. Majenko Tech said, How do you send TTS messages on this channel? Also, the demo is made out of seven goblin burgers, which is why it is so tasty. That's how you send TTS messages on this channel. Kaiti Cat 117 <laughs> with $5 said, I'm sorry you have to find out this way, Thor, but all Wellingtons are actually Calzones, and you can't change my mind. Calzones, Wellingtons. A Calzone is just a Wellington. You've strayed from the path. It's depressing to see, but I have to call it like I see it. Calzone is a Wellington, Chet. It's a Wellington. Corn dog is also a Wellington. Pop tarts are a Wellington. Ravioli is a Wellington. I know. I know. I know it's upsetting. I know your mind can't comprehend this yet, but the deeper you look into it, the more you will understand. Yeah, Pop-Tarts are a Wellington, dude. The Pop-Tart is a Wellington. I know. I know it's upsetting. Gushers are a Wellington, yes. The planet Earth is a Wellington, I know. Let me show you an infographic so that you can educate yourself. I find this to be incredibly important. And uh, we're just going to switch over to this for a moment. As you can see, a beef Wellington is in fact a Wellington. 
A Hot Pocket is a Wellington. Pigs in a Blanket is a Wellington. A Corn Dog is a Wellington. And a Pop Tart is a Wellington. Human Being is also a toroidal Wellington. That's right. You are a Wellington. Now that we've seen this infographic, you are more educated and will no longer make the mistake in the future. And if you do willingly, you know the consequences. Can't believe it. Put the Vanguard in there. We're going to keep Beans on his own thing, I think. We have all this course ammo. Are you dumplings a Wellington? Yes. Yes, they are. So is an empanada. An empanada is a Wellington. Yeah. Upsetting, I know. Yeah. Can you combine? You can. Yeah, you can combine. Are pals Wellingtons? They are. Is the handgun better? I don't know. I'm not sure. Gonna be real. I'm deeply sleepy. Let me see. Can we even make that? No, I have to finish the ammo first, and then we can do it. We're the rocket RPG. Well, right now I have my boomstick. Yeah, we can tell. I know, right? I'm getting sleep. I didn't sleep last night. I slept like 30 minutes. It sucked. Upgrade from earlier. Musket. Yes, a croquette is a Wellington. That's right. Are you prepared for your ferrets to have an uprising? They do it every day. Is the Earth at Wellington? Yes. Nah, I was just dealing with a lot of shit. I'm... You may not realize this, but, like, I'm overworking a little bit right now. Um, so, for those who don't know, the channel went from 450 or so average viewerships to about 10,000 on Twitch and another 2,000 on YouTube. All in the span of like two months. So I had to build a whole bunch of new systems, such as the queuing system that you see over here. Our glorious queuing system, which does this. Very nice. And allows you guys to have a queue of a whole bunch of stuff that you do. And with that in mind, um, that automated a whole bunch of stuff. Then I had to hire on basically a, a company to go and do stuff for me where they handle all my business emails, which is great. And they, they're helping me a lot with that kind of stuff. That works. I'm doing sponsorship stuff and everything through them. And then outside of that, I had to go talk to a... Basically a business manager to build an S-Corp. And an S-Corp is a type of corporation. So that I can hire on our mods and give them benefits. Which is kind of a big deal. To have, like, not only paid mods on an hourly basis, but also give them, like... Like, basically, like, 401k, yeah, that kind of stuff. That's what I'm trying to do. No, S-Corp, you goblin. I swear to God. Yeah. So the idea is to do that, and I'm in the middle of doing that, and at the same time, I had to business manage all of this stuff, which means I get all these meetings during normal human people hours, where I stream from 1 a.m. to about noon, and then normal human people are like, hey, I want to have a meeting at 4 p.m., and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I've been doing that for like two weeks and it's starting to get me I think just a little bit Ugh. so it's just yeah normal human people paid vacations for months yeah that'd be the idea once we get there I'm just waiting I'm waiting for everything to get fixed and ready it just takes time You must scrum now, dude. I refuse.
You have a community power world server yet? No. I'm waiting to do it until I wake up fully, which will be after my nap, after the stream. Good on you for getting an escort, but not an LLC. Better tax benefits if you're paying mods. That's exactly what it is. So, like, I talked to a business manager to do those kind of stuff, and the escort made the most sense. Also, we're going to have all the ferret stuff through the escort as well to go and do all of that so we can basically assign everything to the business. And then I'm going to make myself an employee. And I don't know how much I'm going to pay myself yet, but it's going to be very small because I don't need very much, frankly. So I just pay myself like a monthly amount and then I, I pay taxes on that and the company pays taxes on whatever's left over because I don't need very much, right? Like, I, I think my total bills come out to like... Like 1500 a month total, including food and everything else. I don't need 100k yearly. I don't. I've, I've lived off of... I don't even know how much. I've lived off like 20k a year for the last... Like six years. And I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, that's including the mortgage. Mortgage is about a grand. Investing? No. Yeah. Yeah, for real. Do you own a house? Yeah. I took my life savings and I bought a house right before the pandemic, and I got it at 2.75% on a 30-year fixed. I got real, real lucky. The timing was correct. But I spent everything I had on it, you know? 100k so you can buy a Bugatti? I don't really think that's what I want, ever, to be honest with you. I would rather put more money back into the business to make sure that people like Shay and Stein have, like, the best possible tools, and put it into us having moderators that kick ass and are able to do this shit full-time and edit the videos to the best possible videos, so like the editors, you know? That's that's the stuff that I care about. And then outside of that, I just started giving a bunch of stuff to charity because that's the thing to do that makes the most sense. And we get to do cool shit with it. So we gave $7,500 to charity this last week to a um, ferret rescue in Colorado, which is up on the uh, announcements channel on Discord. Yeah. Real yacht, get eaten by orcas. I don't want a yacht. <laughs> Retirement, not that you plan on stopping, but in theory, if you had to. I don't want to do that, but you're right. Yeah, I put tw I, I've put. always put 20% of everything that I make towards a retirement fund. I have done that since I was like 18. So I've always done that. I take 20% of every dollar that I make and put it in that. It's, it's been that way forever. Yeah. Forever. If you had 100k, you'd soon build a mushroom ramen bowl company with the beans as logo. I'd want, dude, maybe I would. That sounds delicious. I'm super in with that. Yeah, retirement savings. I always do that. I mean, it's not like financial advice for you, but that's what I do. Any thoughts in General Assembly Coding Academy? I haven't seen that. Sorry, bud. Are you streaming from your yacht? Yeah. Yeah. Right here from my basement yacht. In my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way, dude. And here, commence the package opening. Oh. Oh, you want... You want me to do that? Here, let me, um... Let me just do this for a moment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the ever-present screaming wind in Power World. One moment. You want me to open up this package? I received an unmarked package. And it says it's from... Your handwriting is atrocious. Senki. <laughs> I believe it is it's spelled Senki. Let's, let's open it up. What is in the package? I don't think this is a gnome. It's been gnome checked. Crushed chili. Oh. Oh. Crushed chili. That actually looks amazing. What is this? Please keep in a dry place. Well, I'm in Washington and it's ridiculously dry right now. There's tape on it. It's from Thailand. You sent me spices from Thailand? Ooh. And there's a letter. There's a letter. What does this letter say? really fancy look at look at that look at that fancy look at it look at that it's fantastic there does not appear to be a gnome inside what is i can't read that on stream what does it say on this list 
That's odd. It looks like somebody wrote into the back of this card. It says, Sanko is a bitch. What happened? Who did that? Who would have done such a thing? That's... That's deeply surprising. Why... Why would it say that, Sanko? Why would it say that in the... In the... <laughs> In the postcard that you sent me. Who could have done such a thing? I'm not reading this on stream. That is not being read on a stream, bud. That one's not... That's not happening. That's not happening. You get your main response and you get to live with it. <laughs> there are war crimes in this postcard. Much more so than we have experienced in Pal World. Top 10 anime betrayals? You sent me war crimes in a postcard. What do you want from me? How did you think that was going to go, man? I can't I can't tell them war crimes. Post in the Discord? No. Not even a little bit. I will use this, though. That will happen. Crushed chili, huh? Nice. Doesn't go back to, like, late this year. Yeah. We have to know right now? Release the documents? I won't, dude. That's not happening. I refuse to release these documents. You see, there's a thing, chat. I've been streaming on Twitch for seven years. I've never been banned, and I don't plan on getting banned. And Sanko really likes trying to put me into a position where I can choose to get banned or not. This is one of those positions. I I am she's choosing right now to not get banned. <laughs> that's how that's gonna go. Discord is not Twitch? Oh, yes, it is. Do you know why? Because if you read our TOS with Twitch, you can get banned for off-platform conduct. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Mmm. See, I, I actually read the TOS. I actually read it. Yeah. Surprising, I know. I can't read, so I can't get banned? I don't think that's how that works, man. I feel like that's incorrect, just a little bit. We're not narcs, though? Mm. One of you had to have reported the dumpy. One of you is at least a narc. At least one. I've been watching for over a minute. Why isn't this looped yet? Oh, it's called a- it's a Twitch long. Yeah, it's not a YouTube short. It's very different. Yeah, it's, it's very different, I know. Is this the RPG per version of Pokemon? I think it's actually the, uh, the War Crimes version. What is this? Put the fire organs along with the extra stuff that I found. Deeply sorry for taking them without really- Oh, you stole my fire organs! How dare you! Fire organ thief! You know how hard it is to... get fire organs? Especially when you have idiots like- Look at him! Look at him! Look at this idiot! What is he even doing? I don't even know. He's just stuck up there. I'm gonna fix him. There we go. Now he's good. Now he's gonna stop starving to death. Ooh, Jeanette. Ooh. Who's stealing from me? My own mods. <laughs> the bastards. I knew they did. I was like, dude, there's no way that could have just disappeared. Impossible. Alrighty. I think we got all the stuff. I need more of these. Wonderful. See, this is what it's all about, man. The Pokemon version of modded Minecraft. Here, let me explain this game. Who here doesn't know what Pal World is? Who here has never seen this game before? Alright, I'm gonna explain this to you. Do you see that? You see how it looks like a Pokemon? That's Pal World. That's how it works. 
That's it. Yep. I need to actually get these fire types. I need to get all these fox works. Hey, Co Carnage raiding with a party of twelve thousand two hundred or four hundred and twenty one. What is up, Co? How's it going? Did you get a gun yet? Oh, did you get a gun? Did you get a gun? I have a gun. I got a big old gun. You want to see it work? You guys want to see the gun? You guys want to see the gun? Watch this. <laughs> Look at it reload! It's ridiculous! I missed. I'm bad at the game. <laughs> oh, and look. Um, I can ride him. Look at me go, dude. You just do 4k damage? Yeah. I got big dudes. Wait for it. Wait for it. See that little, see the little lad? Look at him. Look at him run away. Squeebsh. So how you doing, Cole? Was that a captured human? Oh yeah. His name is Beans. Yeah. Hello, Beans. Beans is pretty cool. He's pretty good. Wanna see Beans use it? Wanna see Beans do his superpower, dude? Watch this. Beans is really good at using his gun. You wanna see? There he is. Wait for it. Come on, Beans. Come on, Beans. Show them. Okay, we're just gonna try this again. Come on, Beans. This went even worse than last time. He's a little shy. I think those cats are fighting each other now. I'm just gonna put this in this crossbow and... Just call that a day, you know. A little bit of performance anxiety. Yeah, he did. He didn't expect. Oh, and now he's moving. Now he's excited. Look at him run, dude. Beans is really into running. He's very into ath athleticism. Athleticism. What is that? There's something over here. Beans might have to get slaughtered. No, I don't know if I'm gonna slaughter him. You know. I feel like keeping beans because I. You may not know this, but he's actually human 2.0. Oh, you want me to pet him? Here, come over here, Beans. That's a good Beans. That's a good, that's a good Beans. That's a good Beans. See, there we go. Now he's fixed. Now he's fixed. Can you ride him? No, you can't. You can't get a mount for Beans. Unfortunately, he's, un he's not mountable. Yeah. Deeply upsetting, I know. Deeply upsetting. You can't breed him either. It's not possible. What are the guns? Are there a ton of them? In fact, I'm trying to build a pistol. I'm trying to build a handgun right now. But I'm just so enraptured by the musket. Because it's just fun. You know? The musket's fun. Because you can just... You know? Like, you just... You know what I mean? You know? Really brings you back. Just really tally ho it. Look at him go. Now he's Sonic the Hedgehog. Follow your dreams, little buddy. Fantastic. No cat human hybrids? Unfortunately, there are no cat girls in Power World. I know, it's upsetting. Sad for everyone. I know, I know. I know. Let's see what new tech I unlocked, actually. Uh, oh, a f 
fine bed. I just need nails. That is clearly the first thing that I should be doing right now is making some nails. Beans? Yeah. Get to work. Make me those nails. Good beans. Let's open up these new eggs. I need nails for a fine bed. That's right. Ooh. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Oh, yeah, um... I have a lot of... A lot of them. So... Something that I learned is if you look at this, you see how he has the little star next to his name like that? Yeah? You see that? Yeah, I have a chillet as well. I got a- I got a boss chillet. It's quite cool. Watch this, watch this. You can actually fuse them... ...together. To make a... ...superhuman. A human 2.0, which is what Beans is. Beans is actually human 2.0. Also, you can feed him fruit... ...so that he learns things, but then he doesn't... ...have combat anymore. So that's... ...that's why Beans is broken. Is because we fed him the fruit... So that he now knows how to do sandblast, but there's no animation for it in the game, because, so the game is very upset about this. Which is funny, because I was trying to teach him pocket sand. And wouldn't let me do it. Yeah. Wouldn't let me do it. I can't have pocket sand. Deeply upsetting, I know. When his beans become beans 3.0? Well, we need 17 humans. I mean, owls. I need 17 total pals, including beans. And then I feed them all to beans. So if we do this, you can see that I actually still need eight more pals. Yeah. Yeah. That being said, there's a couple other ones that I can use. This one is great. So, who here has not seen Huggy Fire? Who hasn't seen Huggy Fire? So I have this one at level three, which is fantastic. Basically, Huggy Fire is probably the best thing in the video game. You you pick up the Firefox, and then we run out here, and I'll show you. There's no war crimes in Hal World. None, none at all. That's right. There's there's no war crimes in this game. You can just you can just do it. You can just do it. Brilliant. Incredible game. Yeah, I am the law. That's true. Is his name Mozilla? Oh, it should be. I'm gonna rename him Mozilla. When he runs out... He just runs out. The higher the level they are, the more damage that does, and the longer it lasts. Which is great, dude. We also found out that if you kill an NPC in one hit, they can't call the cops. So they just... They just die. And that's funny. Somehow they just... They like try to reach out to the cops and then like nothing happens. It's like, oh, there's a crime in progress. And then it goes, nah, never mind. Can you rob the merchant? We accidentally killed him earlier. So that was a thing. Yeah, there's cops in the game. There are cops. Ah, the nails. So now what we need to do is we need to do this. And then we need to build a fine bed. Because I am I am a king. Come here, my loyal subjects. Build this bed for me or else. Do it. Build the bed. You as well. Build the bed. Yes, good. Fantastic. The smallest and cutest first. Now the horrifyingly large. Build that bed. Next. It's backwards? So it is! You built it wrong. Deeply upsetting. Now we have to build it again. Build it again. This time better. That's right. You as well. Nope. You can't be hungry. Hmm. 
No what? <laughs> Why would you say no? They built the bed wrong. Someone had to pay for it. That's how it works. Don't kill the cute one. Do you want to know what the cute one's power is? You're not even ready for this. You ready for this? Let me show you what the cute one's passive is. The reason that the cute one is there is for this passive. While at a base, increases work efficiency if working at the weapon workbench. Because they have tiny little hands that are good for making weapons. They have small child hands that make them good at making guns. That's what they are. The cute one makes my guns for me. Welcome to Pal World. It's wild, dude. The game is wild. It is absolutely outrageous, dude. I need to get more ingots. We're gonna make a handgun. I'm gonna make the tiny cute one make it for me. I, I think the thing that I'm impressed with about this game is the game is deeply fun on its own. And much like with Pokemon, if you look just beyond the surface, it's horrifying, right? Like, if you look at Pokemon, you look at the Pokedex. Pokemon is a cute, fun, happy children's game. It's very cute and fun and happy. But you look right below it and you're like, oh, Drifloons steal children and eat them. Like, that's, that's in Pokemon, right? It's... Now imagine taking that veil and just kind of getting rid of it completely, and that's, that's Power World. There is no veil at all. It's just right out there in the front. They're like, oh, you want to, you want to capture a man in a, you want to capture a man in a ball? Here, I'm going to show you something. Are you ready for this? You're probably not ready for this. Maybe you haven't seen anyone do this yet, but I, I'm going to, I'm going to show you something, and it's going to, there's going to be a cost with it. Are you, are you ready for the cost, Chet? Here's our little syndicate. What do you want to name him? Chat, what do you want to name him? What, what do you want his name to be? Just name him. Let's name him. Let's name him together. Would you like to name him? There's a lot of good names in there. You want to name him Greg? Greg's a pretty good name. Pork chop. I like pork chop. Let's name him Pork Chop. That'll be relevant in a moment. We're gonna name him Pork Chop right now. And we're gonna go. Let me let me find where I put this. There's a there's an item somewhere that I need. Yeah, we're gonna need this item here. Let me. There we go. That's the one. That's that's the item right there. You see, the meat cleaver lets you butcher pals. Anything that's in a pal sphere is a pal. Now we can pet pork chop. Come here. That's a good pork chop. So anyway, how old is a very different kind of game? Just thought you should know. It's it's a very different... It's a very different kind of game. And I think that it's... Wild that it doesn't pull its punches. Even a little bit. It does not pull its punches at all. Which I... F I find deeply disturbing, but also strangely refreshing. Where's all my cloth? Ooh, my cloth is missing. Ooh, you used all my cloth. You goblins. You did use all my cloth, too. Hmm. Alright. We'll get that set up. Uh, I need to go find another human. There we go. There you go, Beans. You got something to do. I'm going to see this again on YouTube in a few hours. I already have one up on YouTube, actually. Would you like to see it? <laughs> The, uh, the short went nuclear, too. It exploded. It actually went completely nuclear. It's it's wild to me that this game doesn't pull any punches. I think it's really... It's, it's kind of basing itself on that, yeah, do it, you know? And you sort of have to live with the abject horror that you've just created. 
And I find that to be very interesting narrative-wise. I've never seen a game really do that. Yeah, it doesn't really pull any punches. At all. And I, I find that to be... Kind of good, frankly. Because if you think about it in a world like Pokemon, right? Team Rocket, w they would be criminals. They wouldn't just be like, oh no, they got away, bo bo bo. No, they'd have like a gun, and they would rob you of your Pokemon. And it would be horrible, right? And like, what do you think Pokemon eat? Just poffins? No, they're definitely eating each other in the wild. Like this... So I always thought about like, what if it was more realistic? And this is kind of in that direction, which I think is... Kind of neat, frankly. Yeah, Slowpoke Tails is as close as they got, you know? Yeah, we definitely eat Taro steaks, man. Slowpoke Tails were a thing, but it was, like, looked down on. Did Pirate Software make this game? No. I am a game developer, though, so I've been in the gaming industry for about 20 years. Uh, I used to work at Blizzard Entertainment, then I worked for uh, Amazon Game Studios, then the United States Department of Energy. I'm a hacker, pen tester, so I hacked power plants for the federal government before this. Then I quit, started my own game studio called Pirate Software, and I generally work on a game called Heartbound, which some of you might know of, if we go pull this up. This is the game that I work on most generally, and I usually answer people's questions and talk to them about the gaming industry on stream. This is usually what I do. And uh, I have a blast doing it. So, here you go. And right now, I'm running a game jam. Let me pull this up. Whoa, ba -da -ba. There we go. It's a game jam. And we have 7,929 of you in this. And our lovely co Carnage is one of the judges. Fantastic human being that he is. Yeah. Yeah. I love video games. Yeah, we've got we've got a lot of people sign up, and it's it's quite cool. It's got seven days left, so we're only halfway through it right now. Yeah, we're only halfway through it, and um, it's this is going to be really cool because we've got a lot of really neat things planned for the winners. A lot of really neat things, and I'm pretty happy. Who will judge? We actually have a number of different judges, so I've announced them out today. We have Co Carnage. We've got Admiral Baru. We've got In Game Asylum. We've got here. Let me let me pull the whole list. There's a whole list. There's an entire list for this. We were show we were showing Amazon math earlier. Let me grab this. Uh, hosts and judges. So we've got all of my moderators. We've got Admiral Barrow. We've got Kit Boga. We've got Ko. We've got In Game Asylum, which I actually have to add him to the list. And then we have Ludwig. So Ludwig's doing it too. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really fun. Yeah, Kit Boga as well. Yeah, Kid Bogus is super excited for it. Oh, we got ads. I wait on ads, by the way. Yeah, Ludwig says he's in. He actually is really... He super digs game jams. He's a really nice dude, too. And now we have excessive profanity. He finally accepted. Hey! And he accepted by saying, You're very attractive. And I'm screenshotting this. So that he could never live it down. I just want to show this all to you after the ad break is done. I'm going to print this out and put it on my fridge. There we go. Once once the ad break is over, you'll be able to see it. Blackmail is fun. It's not even blackmail. This is going in the refrigerator. I'm printing this out. Excessive profanity if you're here. Do I know Hassan? No, I know of Hassan. Have you looked at SteamDB for Power World? Yeah, dude, it's going crazy. The game is absolutely nuclear. They're doing so well. I swear if we're being burgered, maybe I should switch it to burgers. That might be the way. That might be the one I should... Maybe I should switch it. I mean, I got 45 seconds until the ads are over. Weird strict dad, that's a very strange request, seeing as there's no babies in this game. You might want to talk to someone about that. That intrusive thought you have going on there. Not good, man. Yeah. <laughs> Only 67% of people have captured their first battle? Really? That's surprising.
Now the edits for fidelity. Maybe it's because we were talking about business earlier. We were talking about like serious business. How long has it been out? Today. Yeah. You're up to 50 plus pals? Oh. Is there a boss fight? There's a lot of them. Alright, so, uh, I need to call attention to this. Um, excessive profanity has called me very attractive. This is news, and it is going to be printed out and put on my refrigerator, and there's nothing he can do to stop me. That's right. And now that it has been cataloged and recorded, I will delete his message because it was in the role request channel. As such, removing the original evidence, but keeping the memory forever. It's going over here, and that stays. Thank you. That's all I needed. Yep. It's part of that now. But no, we've got a we've got a wide range of really awesome people that are doing this, and um, we've got some cool stuff planned for the people who win. And my intention is to make sure that if you do win this game jam, you have everything at your disposal required to help you to launch your game. And it's not just my intention for that; it's a lot of us. A lot of us are doing some really cool shit. Who am I? My name is Pirate Software, or Thor. My real name is Thor. It's my middle name. And here you go. Here you go. But yeah, so that's what we're doing with the game, Jim, and I'm pretty excited for it, honestly. Will there be multiple winners? Yes. There's going to be a grand prize winner, and there's going to be two runners up. Yep. How World is fifth on Steam right now? I am not surprised. The game is very fun. Anyone figure out if the game world saves are saved locally? I don't know if they are. If you're trying to edit it, I have no clue. How often do game jams happen? I run them twice a year. This is our 14th one. So you can see here, this is the 14th game jam. And we've ever run. We just switched it over to itch.io this time. I used to run them out of my email, which is not the best. Yeah. Thor's not a nickname. No, it's my middle name. Yeah. I was born in a thunderstorm. Yeah, it's my actual name. Currently broken on Game Pass. Really? Oh, that's shit. Did Power World go down? No, it didn't go down. We were just talking about other stuff. Got a big old raid from the lovely Co-Carnage. So I've been talking to people. Whoop, look, the video game is still there. And I can still commit war crimes. As is intended. That sucks that it went, like, it's not working on, uh, Game Pass. I wonder why. I wonder what that, what's going on with that. Oh. Wait. Oh. Huh? Oh, you can actually stack these. That's nice. <laughs> Why are these all weird? There we go. Thor Stormborn? No. My name is Jason Thor Hall. I go by my middle name. It actually works out really nicely for me because no one calls me Jason other than, like, my dad, my grandma, and my doctor. Right? And, like, that's pretty much it. So if somebody sends me an email and they say, Hey, Jason, I love your content. I watch you all the time. I would love to work together. I actually have a filter that automatically deletes your email. I ain't no bitch. Like, you don't watch my stuff. <laughs> yeah, it instantly filters them out. Every time, dude. It's the funniest thing on the planet to me. Deeply hilarious. I always love that because it's it's the best filter that I have because it proves to me that they are lying. Their their first interaction with me is to lie, and then and that's it. It's like at that point it's like oh, okay, well, it's the first time you get to talk to me. You get nothing then, you know. Guess who is the hot for Thor? You clipped it, yeah. <laughs> that's so funny, dude. That's so funny. Oh, roast rush boar. Look at that. It's the whole boar. Um. I fed one to Beans because he's been doing well. Back in the box. Back in the box, Beans. Uh, what do we need next? I need to get this dude back out. There we go. Box Parks is cool. But I feel like my chicken boy needs to come back out. Where's where's my chicken? Where's my chicken? Where is he? Oh my god, there's so many of them. I have a chicken in here that has magical powers. There he is. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, you guys know Admiral Baru? We found him. There he is. Oh god, he's running around. Look at him. Also, you can give him a rocket launcher. So my next mission is to give him a rocket launcher. Not because I have to, but because I can. And I feel like that's the correct course of action, frankly. No, not that one. Where is it? Where's my rocket launcher for him? There we go. We need to get high-quality pal oil and 20 more ingots. Where am I going to get high-quality pal oil? I have to go kill a high-quality pal? I don't actually know how to do this. I don't remember where I got that. Let's get 122 bread and throw it in here. Done. Yeah, panda, dude. Powerful panda, actually. Okay, I'm going to move over to my mining facility where all the pals are deeply upset. We have the mining facility. Should ask Baru to join your power world? That would be fun. Oh. Oh. But yeah, most of what I do, if you're new here, most of what I do is try and help people in the gaming industry go and join the gaming industry. Usually the stream is not me playing video games. It is usually me answering questions and doing this kind of stuff. And if you're wondering what that looks like, I actually built out a system inside of what's called StreamerBot. Behold! The streamer bot Q, and it records all of the super chats, all the bits, and everything. And then when I press a button like this, capsule collapse with 500 bits said, "Hey, four hey. goblin lord, no name dev with another seven on advertisement." Mm. I made the wall mustn't fall, a castle defense game. HTTPS colon slash slash store dot steam power dot com slash app slash two one three nine four four zero slash the underscore wall underscore mustn't underscore fall slash I emailed keys for the goblins. Search for Capsule Collapse. The wall mustn't fall. I love wall tower defense games. There's a ton of these on phone that I play all the time. And they soak up all of my life whenever I'm off the internet. Oh god, it's got a talent tree. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. It would just absorb my life. There you go. And it's it's got a it's got a demo got a free demo. I, I usually tell people if you want to make a game and you want to put it on Steam, you want to stand out, get a free, make a free demo. Always. Always, always, always make a free demo. It is absolutely massive because it does two things. One, it allows people that are not financially ready to buy your game to try it so they're more likely to buy the game. Two, if someone doesn't like the demo, they're less likely to buy the game which means less negative reviews which is always good. You want that. So having a demo in place is always a good thing. Um, your game is quite cheap at 364, so that's doing quite well as well. So, like, that's great. Especially you get it 27% off right now. You got that 7 in there. Of course, Chad is going to enjoy that. Yeah, so this is good. This is really good. Other things on this, let's take a look. What do you got here? Gameplay, shoot and defend, shop, permanent upgrade, sacrifice. That's cool. You have a 7 in this. <sighs> Goblin. What else do you have in this? You've got 63 achievements. That's nice. You should look into doing controller support, and I usually say controller support, it's actually quite easy to implement, and the reason that we do it is not just because you want to be on consoles, it's for people with physical disabilities. So if you have a physical disability, you're generally going to be remapping the controller so that you can use it with special tools in order to play games, and which is a very important thing, a lot more important than you would think. Not for everyone, but for the people that it is important for, it's deeply important. So I, I suggest doing it. It's maybe an afternoon of your time to do it. Really, really easy stuff. Yeah, super easy stuff. Just installed this game, let's go. Nice, dude. So yeah, most of what I do is that. Now what has happened here is it's taken that message. It's right there. It ate it. Removed it from the queue. Then it takes that and it puts it over in Discord. So that person gets a timestamp with their, their question. So they know that I've answered it. It's got their name. It's got the full question there so anyone else can see it. Now, let's say that I get to the end of the stream and I don't finish all of the queue. Well, that happens every day. As you can see in the bottom left, I'm like 50 off from the end of the queue, right? That's not great. So, what we do is I don't keep that money. It goes into a debt tracker. And the debt tracker actually calculates how much money you have thrown, and I don't keep it. We give it to charity. 
So the last one was $7,500 off to ferretdreams.org, which is a ferret rescue in Colorado. I also run a ferret rescue here in Washington State, so I, it's something that's deeply important to me. So we gave $7,500 over to them, and I put the receipts up here to show that it has been done. And that's what we do with the debt every single time. So I think the next one is going to go to the Godot Foundation, and uh, we're just going to keep doing that off into infinity. So, yeah. That's like I didn't know. Yeah, no, it's a totally unique system. Like, this isn't really like a thing outside of that, right? So, in terms of what we do with the ferret rescue, if you haven't seen that, is you can find them anytime at ferrets.live or twitch.tv slash ferret software. I actually rescue ferrets with Shea from around Washington State. We only take ones in that are up for euthanasia. This is a green, this is not a green screen, it's a, a night vision camera that's in the room right next to me. And, um, yeah, this is what we do. We do this all the time. And the coolest thing about this, you can see there's 547 people watching this right now. That generates ad revenue. Even if you're sub to that channel, you will get ads. And the ad revenue for it funds the entire rescue. So we're able to do things like be like, okay, we're going to throw $4,000 down on medical bills to save this animal's life because we have it. And we have it because the ad revenue from that channel. So hell yeah. And that's that's you guys doing it. And this is what we do around the state. And that's it. That's, that's the whole deal with that. And you want to see all their pictures, they're down here. I'm actually building a website for that soon. I'm in the, in the middle of, of designing the whole thing out and trying to build everything. And I'm, I'm writing all the descriptions for each one of the ferrets so you guys can see them. Yeah. And um, if you're wondering if they come out of the cages, they do. Ferrets are not cage-bound animals. That's bad for their, their muscles. It actually makes them, uh, you know, have bad muscle, muscle atrophy. So we go all the way down here and we look at this. I want to show you a good moment for this. This is what the rest of the room looks like. They have a full playroom with tons of toys and all kinds of things that they can do. And they come out twice a day, every day. And um, that's what they get to do. So we, we have a whole, like a whole thing for them. A every day they get to go and have fun. And we do all the medical because Shay is actually an exotic vet assistant. We do all the nutrition and research, which I do. And then we do all the playtime and make sure that they have all their engagement and everything like that inside of the room by switching out their toys and everything they want to do. So there's all the stuff that I do, you know, outside. What's today's soup? It's always meat soup. They are obligate carnivores. They can only eat meat and egg. And bone. Yeah. Is it noisy? They barely make any noises. They kind of... They kind of make a duking noise, which is like... Wah, 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 wah. It kind of sounds like a small, low laughter from a... Demon child. <laughs> and they do it usually when they've stolen something from you or they're about to bite. Which is very funny. Oh, they bite constantly. I get... I'm all bit up. Always. They... They play by biting. They're, um... They're a... They're a carnivore, man. So they... They play fight with each other constantly they they fight for kind of hierarchy in inside of their social groups and they're highly social animals incredibly social they they try to store you all the time they'll try to steal your hands and stuff and like i am stashing your hand it's like god damn it i freaking love ferrets if i didn't have cats i'd have ferrets yeah no i feel that i super feel that man is there a bite dangerous? Like a cat bite with bacteria? No, not really. They usually can't break the skin. They've got kind of a rounder tooth on them. Also, thank you for those those uh, gifted subs. Very nice of you. They got kind of a rounder tooth, and that's what it is. East Coast accent? No, I was born on the West Coast, man. West Coast, best coast. Grew up in California, moved over to Colorado, moved back to California, now I live in Washington. Yeah, they're good noodles. They're good noodles. But we, we bring in a lot that are in a really bad way, and then we bring them back to health. And, um... We don't always succeed, but we always try. Because the way that I feel about it is, not every animal is going to make it, but every one of them deserves a chance. And you guys have put us in a position where we can give them that chance. So thank you. And, um, yeah. Sorry, I'm kind of messed up. We, um, we lost one this last week that we were trying to save. And it didn't work out. Do you rehome? No. A lot of them have really bad medical conditions. They stay with us. Like, I don't know if we can see him here. No. Uh, Mocha and Latte have DIM, which is Disseminated Idiopathic Myofasciitis, which is a autoimmune condition where the neutrophils in their blood, basically, a part of your, a component of your immune system, uh, explodes in population and then attacks all of their soft tissues. And it is devastating. Well, we have him on chemo. So we have to do chemo every couple of weeks. It is uh, cyclochemo, which causes their, their bone marrow to be suppressed. And we do that specifically so that they produce less neutrophils. And it saved their lives. Right now, unfortunately, Latte is not doing well. But Mocha is almost a normal animal now, which is wild. So if you look at this, 
Let me find this. Oh, it's not actually there. Mocha Adventure, there we go. This is Mocha. Mocha can run around and actually use the tube and everything now. When he came to us, he actually couldn't move. He could just poop and pee on himself and nothing else, because he has Dim. Most ferrets with Dim never recover. This new treatment has allowed us to have two that are moving towards remission. Mocha's doing the best out of it. So, like, that's a very big deal. It's an incredibly rare condition, and it's super shitty, and we don't know enough about it yet, so cases like this teach us a lot, and we can pass that on to other veterinaries and other, other rescues as well, which is what we do. How's my man Beef doing? He's got some kind of a hormone problem, poor Beef does, so we've, we're taking him in for an implant soon. Yeah. Is the bald one Mocha? No, the bald one is, um, is Max. He passed last month. Yeah. He was 10 years old. He doesn't look it. Well, he kind of looks it, but he doesn't act it here. But he was 10. Most ferrets only live to about 5 years old in the United States, so he made it. He made it, dude. And uh, he passed with his, his original owners and us there with him, so he got the good end. Yeah, he was a super old man, and he got the good end, man. And he got to meet all his friends and everything like this, so he got the good one. How many can you take? About 25 is the maximum. Uh, we're trying to move right now so we can build a, a larger facility is the idea. And we're we're hoping to get up to 100 and have, have volunteers come in and also hire people in to go and do this stuff. And um, that's sort of the idea is to get up to 100. Is Ghost there? Yeah, Ghost is... Uh, we started doing more be behavioral therapy with Ghost to try and fix her demeanor. And I've had a little bit of success, actually. I've gotten her around some of the other ferrets for a longer period of time. So I'm trying a, I'm trying a new path with her to see if we can fix the behavioral issues, which is good. My hope is eventually we can integrate her, but that's a long way off. So, Where's this located? Uh, in Washington State. We're not ready for any type of volunteers yet. That'll be something that after we get moved. Moving out of state? No, moving in state. We're moving to a different area. I, I need to... There's two reasons I have to move. One, uh, crime here is enormous now. It wasn't like this before the pandemic, and it's very bad now. I actually have, like, blue and red graffiti around my neighborhood because it's the Crips and the Bloods fighting each other and, and marking their territory. It's not great. It's actually really shitty. Um, my neighbor's, like, house got tagged and shit. It's just not not good, dude. So, yeah, it's not it's not fun. Not Seattle. No, no, no. South of Seattle. But, like, with that in, in mind, it's um, it's time to go. You know, it's, it's time to leave. So I want to find another area that's more rural where we can do that. The the difficulty right now is like, I need a more rural location so we can have the whole ferret rescue on it. But also I need fiber internet. Shit. <laughs> so, and I don't want to leave Washington because there's a great need for ferret rescue here, specifically. Yeah. Yeah, fiber do be like that. Yeah, no, it sucks. Yeah. So I'm not leaving the state. Not at all. If you're taking volunteers, uh, will you be able to register a 501c? I don't want to take volunteers. Um, I know I said volunteers earlier. I don't want to register as a 501c. What we're doing is actually, like, profitable, and I just earmark it towards the ferret stuff. That way I can move the money around and, and move stuff into it without having a problem with that or having to go through all the legal constraints and hoops and shit. So my hope is to not have people work for me for free. I don't like people working for me for free. I don't like just volunteer work for that. I like paying people. So my hope is to pay people, right? Get Starlink so you can lag like Dan Clancy streams. Dan Clancy does an awesome job. He does his best, dude. Except for when he's eating ice in the mic. <laughs> that was the funniest thing on the planet. He was doing that Twitch stream, and every time he'd go, he'd go get his drink and he'd eat ice in the mic. I was like, Dan, stop. Oh, God. Oh, God. Like a piece of me was just dying. I was like, please, man. Please. <laughs> Don't do that into the microphone. Oh, Dan. He's actually really fun to watch, though, if you've ever seen his streams. He's a musician. Does a really good job. He's also the CEO of Twitch, funny enough. Yeah. Free water, dude. I know, I know. I mean, eat the ice. Just don't do it into the microphone, you know. I want to come to work for you for minimum wage. Wait a minute. I'm under attack. Yeah, I mean, that's sort of the idea, right? Is I, I don't want... I don't want anyone to work for me for free. Nobody at my, my studio does. Um, nobody works for me for free. I, it's, it's not something that I ever want. Wait. Glorious luck. Do you hear that? Do you hear that sound? Hey. 
shit. <laughs> it was a shiny. I thought he would live. I thought he would live. I thought he would live. Shit. Shit. I know he was a level four. Oh my god, dude. Jesus Christ. There's so many of them. You know, I'm just gonna go over here. They'll figure it out. Look at all this free stuff, dude. I love free stuff. Excuse me, you fat penguin. There we go. Oh. So anyway, now that I've murdered a shiny and a lot of human beings, is that PvP? No, it's just a random event that can happen. Sometimes it sends horrifying monsters after you, sometimes it's a whole bunch of people. I expected him to live. I'm upset about it. That's very funny. It's very funny, but I wanted another shiny. God damn it. Oh. Oh, by the way, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Has anyone here not voted for the streamer awards? It's- I think it's the final day. Go vote. Go vote, you goblins. Do it. Okay, okay, okay. It's the final day. It's the final day. Go vote. Go vote. Go vote. If you're a partner, go vote for yourself, dude. Tell your community. Go vote. It's the final day. It's the final day. It's the final day. There's 28 categories, man. There's 20. Go vote for people that are cool as shit. Like, I voted for Doig Swift and, like, Gotham Chess and Primogen and Simple Flips and Jackie Codes and Excessive Profanity, High Rollers D&D and Selbit, Extra Emily, Lethal Company, Doig Swift again, because I like Doig Swift, <laughs> and Bonjo, Admiral Baru, Kit Boga, Endgame. By the way, and I, I really have to call this out. Um, I think this is something that a lot of people overlook a lot of the times. And I... I feel pretty deeply about this one. I really feel like people should vote for Kit Boger for best just chatting. I'm gonna- I'm gonna put that one out there. I usually don't, like, say, hey, you should vote for somebody. Just chatting is a very massive audience with a ton of different objectives. Kit Boger, there's something on there that is absolutely wild. A lot of people don't realize that the scam baiting work that he does is actually in just chatting as a category. There's no category for what he does, so he's in just chatting. And he does something that is so beneficial to the world, it's incredible to me. Yeah. He's pretty much Batman, a little bit. Yeah, he's in. He's a just chatting streamer, and everyone forgets that. When I talk about Kid Boger, they're like, oh yeah, scam baiting. I was like, did you know he streams in just chatting? And they're like, what? He's a just chatting streamer. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah. It's actually wild to me. Yeah, lo there's a lot of groups that do it, like, a lot more now. And, um, Kid Boga's just, like, the big name for that. I think the biggest thing that he's done now is that new Seraph program. The Seraph Secure program. It's just so cool. Yeah, no, he's really good. Do not redeem! You can catch and sell humans in this game? You can. You can also butcher them. I did earlier. Cheers from Portugal. Cheers to you. Kid Boga put a bot the demo bit to the scammer in his stream after you read it. <laughs> That's so good. That's so damn funny, dude. I love seeing those memes spread across Twitch. Yeah, no, I... I That's one of the big ones for me, is like... I, I find that that kind of work usually gets overlooked because people are like, Oh yeah, no, there's, there's a cool category for that, and there isn't. That doesn't, that doesn't exist. And um, software and game development is normally where I stream, and that category didn't exist before we fought for it. I, I put in a user voice request, we fought for it for eight months, everyone voted on it, and it, it finally went through, and Twitch said yes. It almost took a year, but they, um, they made us a home, you know? So, like, I, I really wish, I really wish there was more of that on Twitch. More categories for that kind of cool shit. Draws attention to it. Yeah, Software and Game Dev is the first time stream where it's, you know what, Primogen? Did you know that I voted for you? Did you know that? Everyone told me for, to vote for myself, but I felt weird about that, so I voted for you. 
It's true. It actually is. I did vote for you. I voted for you. Nice. Bros. Bros forever. Yeah. I have the voice. You have the facial hair. Together, we form a full programmer with most social skills. <laughs> Oh, uh, it'll work. We'll for we'll fuse. It'll be fun. It'll be fun without bugs. No, I, w I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. That's a bit much. Thormogen. Oh no. This is just gonna be another iteration of Theomogen, dude. Burly body. Holy shit! That is. That is a lot of stats right there. Okay, hold up. You're going over here. And then we're coming up here. Oh, wait, I can't go up there. Uh, what is in my inventory? Oh, look, it's everything. Yeah, I need to, I need to build the thing for this. We're going to build a saddle for it. There we go. That's good. But what we need to do is we need to we need to do this. We need to perform the ritual. Are you ready, chat? The ritual. Because this one is horrifyingly strong. The ritual. There it is. There it is. Version two. I think I have two kidneys. Eh, you don't need them both. Whoever needed two kidneys, man. Whoever needed two kidneys. What was that? Saddle for that? No. We need this one. And now we need that one. Start production. And now we need a man. We need a man. man named Beans. Come here, Beans. You don't need to sleep anymore. Yeah. I've removed that weakness. Now build those gloves for me. Good. Good, yes. Waggle that finger. Fantastic. Waggle the finger. Are there shiny humans? I haven't seen one yet, although I, I have a sneaking suspicion they may exist. It's not a mount. Is it not? Yeah, it's a glider. That's fine. I'm okay with that. It's a cool glider. It's just a lot of stats. It's actually going to replace my chicken, I think. We got ads, by the way. By the way, I pause for ads. Because ads on live content suck, but... It is good for the channel. You never realized you were gifted a sub till right now? Oh, yeah. You got that fancy pirate software gift sub, dude. The community is wild here and loves sending a lot of gift subs out, and it's wild to me. Oh, yeah, I have to hit this. Killer Squid 2603 with 500 bits said I'm going to submit my game, or however far I get, to the yard. I was wondering if there is even a chance in hell I win. Winning isn't my goal, just curious if there is even a chance. Yes. There's always a chance. You may build something that's completely innovative that we've never seen before. A unique take on something. And I think it might be interesting. You know, so like, do it. Absolutely do it. And don't feel like you are not good enough. Don't feel like you're not able to do these things because of some outside factor or that everyone else is going to be better than you. Because they're all worried about the exact same damn thing. Every single one of them. What's with the worm, Jester? Oh, you mean the worm? It's the ad worm. That's right. That's right. The adworm. It's Heidi Klum. It is. Kaidus with 500 bits said 777. Hey Thor, I'm currently in my third year of software engineering at university and I feel as though the skills I have learned are minimal. 
I know okay. as they say practice makes perfect and eventually I want to go into development, but I'm unsure what field of development. I like the idea of games, however, I know it's super competitive and in Australia the opportunities are quite limited. Any advice on finding the right focus for me? So the general sense that I always have is the same. If you want to get into the games industry, the first option is... So for those who just came back from ads, hello, how's it going? So... If You ever just, you ever just punch your microphone right in the wires? You ever do that in your life? Who here has ever done that? It's fantastic. It's a wonderful day when you just, you know, right into the wires. It's great. <laughs> anyway, thank you for thank you for watching the ads. Um, I wait for you when you have the ads, so don't worry. I've just been sitting here watching this man build me some gloves. Yeah. So the question here was, uh, I'm currently in my third year of software engineering at university, and I feel as though the skills I have learnt are minimal. It's kind of a normal thing. I know as they say practice makes perfect, and eventually I want to go into development, but I'm unsure what field of development. I like the idea of games, however I know it's super competitive, and I'm in Australia. The opportunities are quite limited. Makes sense. Uh, any advice on finding the right focus for me? So, one of the things that I find quite often is many people are like, I want to get into the games game industry, and then they go... There's nowhere for me in the games industry. Or the pay is very low in the games industry. As an example, I've been in the game industry for about 20 years. Uh, one of my major jobs that I had in it was working at Blizzard Entertainment as a senior red team specialist. In that position, I was paid 36% of industry standard. I could have gone anywhere else and made three times as much pay for the exact same job. That's a pretty common experience in the games industry, especially in AAA. That's just how that works. Many, many industry jobs just critically underpay. So what I usually suggest people to do is go and get a day job that pays you a lot of money. Any type of development position is actually good. Learn COBOL. COBOL is a great choice. The reason why is because most of the banking industry runs on COBOL. Get that position, get that paycheck, and go home and use that paycheck to run a side project where you go and make indie games. And eventually, maybe, maybe your indie games do well enough that you leave your day job just like I did. It's the same thing. This is repeatable. It's not just because of me. It's because I tried it. I failed. I adapted. I failed. I adapted. I failed. I adapted. And you just have to keep doing it. And that's it. That's the whole point, man. So don't count yourself out, but do be very realistic about income and bills. Yeah. 100%. Would you rate this game? I really enjoy it. Um, it's got a lot of really novel concepts to it. It's got some really interesting progression. The monsters are quite cool. The interactions between the monsters is very cool. You can do a lot of really interesting stuff like this. As you can see, I now have a glider that is an animal. But also, you know, there's all kinds of interesting things you can do with... Well, that's also one of my pals there, you know. That's kind of neat. It's kind of an interesting thing. But I, I think this is going to be one of the, the fan favorites right there. You know, like, this is... This is something else. Just a little bit of something else. I enjoy that. You can make all the faces you want. Ooh, God, it feels good to do that. Something about that just feels funny. It's a novelty that just won't wear off. I think so. I, I think that's the biggest thing. It's a novelty that won't just wear off. I have been playing this now for over 20 hours, and I find that the novelty of just... ...hasn't worn off yet. And I thought it would. I thought it would. I think it's mostly that it's just a good... ...contrast between like... Oh, look! Look at all my cute little pals, and then also... ...I am a murder machine with a boomstick. You know? Is the world randomly generated? No, but it is enormous. And by enormous, I mean... ...really... Really enormous. Did you blast a Pokemon? No, I blasted a potential pal for experience points. Here's another one of my pals. Yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of pals. But, uh... Beans is the one that runs with me right now. You want to see me pet him? Come here, Beans. He's a good Beans. He's a good pal, you know? He's a pretty good, pretty good pal, I have to say. 
She butcher beans? No, I would never butcher beans. Not yet. Oh, I see Zaphroth is setting up a small encampment here. Very cool. Fantastic. How much RAM does this need to play? This game is very well optimized. Incredibly so. Cruel? It's not cruel. There's nothing cruel about that at all. Overpopulation. See, here's what you don't understand. Anyone that I kill in this game was actually a villain. You know, I know that you may not understand that. It may look like I'm just killing a helpless little pal. But, in reality, I'm a hero. So anyone that I kill was clearly a villain. Any one of them. Especially that one. And that one over there. Yeah. Villains. They're just villains. Look at this one. Villain. Incredibly villainous. See, look at this. Can't believe it. I missed. <laughs> He's running away. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh. Oh, it's so grim. The button is on. Don't worry, the button is on. Let them let them post, chat. Do not spam them. Let them post so that the bot will eat them alive. Yes. Very good. Watch as they die. Watch as the Q slowly increases in power. Good. It's keeping up with them. In fact, it's faster than them right now. Watch as all of them die, slowly. Break yourselves! Upon my automation! I feel nothing. Ooh. Mm, what's going on? Spam bots. Spam bots dying to my automation. Just let them post. Just let them post. They'll wear themselves out. It's glorious, actually. It's wonderful. More water, yes. <sighs> Another. There they go. There they go. Being deleted. It's keeping up with them, too. I'm surprised they have that many bots this early. Interesting day. There we go. Easy. And... Don't. Alright, we're good. Easy. That's a one-button tool, by the way, that I built inside of StreamerBot. And it just absorbs all of their dumb messages and then... eats them. That's it. Yeah. You don't even have to bongos anymore. Yeah. It's a pretty easy thing to set up. It takes one button for them, it takes one button for me. Nothing really works for them, you know. How's the game? It's fun. I've been enjoying the hell out of it. Ooh, I need to get more of these foxes so that I can merge them into my other fox to give them an even better... Even better flamethrower. I'm not sorry for this. I just... I need to chop some of your health off. Oh, those are green ones. Gross. I don't want green ones. Whatever. Look, it's still banning them. Deeply funny. And it's done. Easy. It did it, chat. I love that it launched at a discount on Steam. Yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. I'm probably going to do that for Heartbound as well. In fact, I am going to do that for Heartbound. Yeah, using a bot to ban bots, selling botted bot, you know, services is quite funny to me. 
In this house, we use automation beat automation. Which is very funny. Is this multiplayer? Yeah, there's actually other people on this server with me. Um, it's moderators. It's my moderators that are on here. Although I had to stop them from interacting with my stuff because they stole all my stuff. Because my moderators are goblins. They can't handle themselves. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, botcher side. A little bit of botcher side. They did. They stole all my shit. And then they had to give it back. I was like, what are you doing? Stop it. What? That's a little weird. Is that a little bit weird? That looks a little bit weird. Something about that is not right. What's happening with the water physics here? Alright. Alright. Mm. Water physics are hard? Nah, it's Unreal Engine 5. Not as hard as you would think. It is early access, though, so we're going to see a lot of weird shit. So you shoot Pokemon? Well, not just Pokemon. And they're not Pokemon, they're pals. This was a mistake. Oops. Is this Pally.gg? Hmm. Clever, clever. Any features you've noticed? Yes. I had a short out for it today. Um, if you'd like to see it, I'm going to go link this in chat for you. It's very funny to me. Legally distinct friends. I agree with that. Oh, wait. Did someone steal another one of my... Th oh, my God. One moment. I'm about to just go dunk this channel. Alright, now I'm gonna get back to dunking this channel. My favorite thing in the world is every time I have something that goes viral, there's like a whole ton of, like, other channels that just steal all of the content and then instantly re-upload it. One of my videos went, like, giga-viral. So now, I'm going to copyright strike every one of these channels. And I have an automated system for it. I have to hit, again, one button. Which is really funny to me. Who? It's like 40 channels. Yeah, it's like 40 of them. And the only thing I have to do is type in that I'm the owner of this. Nuked from orbit! Be gone from YouTube! Be gone from YouTube. Stop re-uploading my shit. Gone. Deeply funny to me. Happens every day. Happens every day. Yay! It was actually 50 of them. <laughs> How do you find them? YouTube does a really good job of actually just, um, detecting all of the re-uploads of your stuff, and they will alert you and say, hey, this person has taken this percentage of your video, and it was just like, here's 50, it's a percentage of your video, and that's it. So now I have to go to TikTok, and on TikTok you'll see something deeply distressing, which is, well, well, this. See this one at the top? That one's me. See all these? I've reported all of them and they haven't done shit. It's been like two months. They don't care. They haven't done anything. This one's real. That one's actually me. There's even ones that don't have my name that are just re-uploading my stuff. There's nothing I can do with it. Which is fantastic. You love to see it. You love it. Wonderful, wonderful place that is TikTok. Deeply fantastic website, frankly. Uh, let's see. Let's go pull this up. Just help my son catch the chillet. He's going, well, dude, the chillet is cool. Chillet is super cool. 
Some of the environmental stuff in this is really nice. Now, here's something I kind of wanted to try. Oh, that's a cool combo. That's a good combo. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? I don't have enough stamina. Shit. Oh, I almost drowned. <laughs> so anyway. Stamina. So this is just Pokemon Arc? That's probably the best way to see it. Legitimately. Go forth, my beautiful sand tornado. Yeah. yeah, it's like, you don't get the arc comparison at all, we have towns. We have towns where we have to build stuff just like an arc. And you actually have the pals go and do different automated activities for you inside of your town. So it's, it's a pretty accurate comparison. Oh look, it's Elphidorin, the gentle sky dragon. I think we tried to fight this bastard before and we killed him, but he almost murdered me. I'm stronger now. But I also don't have any good owl ball things on me, do I? Oh wait, I do. I have Gigaspheres. Alright. This is it. You play with friends? Yeah, up to 32 people in a dedicated server. Let's go... Hey, Mammo Rest. Let's kill everything in this room first. Because last time, these pieces of shit decided to engage. And this time, I'm not giving them a chance. Oh, I missed. That was definitely the effect was gone, like visually, but it still did damage to me. Headshots actually matter as well. Getting there. Jesus. Oh. Gotta hit him one more time. Come on. 
We got three chances. Shit. One more chance. After this. Nope. Damn. Now nah, there's no chance. Had to kill him. Yeah, I had to kill him. Ton of XP, though. If you look at the XP in the top left, that's one hell of a lot of XP. And we got a lot of high-quality pal oil, which is kind of what I was after anyway. It is Sag, but there's nothing we had to do. Can you see the map? Yeah, it's massive, dude. Like, absolutely enormous. The map is huge, dude. How's little Chili doing? Chili's doing great, actually. Um, I think he's had a quarantine in, like, three or four days? Something like that? Is a rat man map randomly generated? No. It's actually hand-built, the whole thing. Do bosses respawn? They do. Yes, indeed. Bosses do respawn. Headshot it. Headshotted. That thing is nasty. Wanna see if we can catch it. Six percent. Six percent of the time every time. Here we go. The slow memeing of the video game. You only have one pal out at a time. You can have more if you have certain passives. Like, certain pals can actually have passives to do that. Yeah. But not all of them do. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Well, I had to get 6% first, and then it'll roll a secondary, and I'm not getting lucky with that 6%. If we go through five more of these and I don't get a second roll, I'm just going to burn him. Character looks cool. Thanks. I'm actually using the gruffest face I could possibly have, and then also, like, the highest pitch anime girl voice that I could also possibly have, because I thought it was funny. Too many. Yeah, there's another 2K over on YouTube, so hello, YouTube. How you doing? It's the human trafficking game. No, it's not the human trafficking game. I like how I like how there are people that are like, I'm gonna drill this down to the the most ridiculous take possible. Then tell everyone of that. No. The game is not about human trafficking. Very funny. Music is very loud. No, shouldn't be. Is the game audio too loud for you guys? No? Alright. But you can sell humans, right? It's not good to, though. It's better to merge them. There was music? Yeah, in-game, man. I actually want this one. I'm just gonna- I'm going all in on it. We're just gonna we're just gonna do it with my crappy low level spheres. Oh. We have to roll a nat twenty on one of them. We slaughtering pals today a little bit. Give me that nat twenty, dude. It'll work. Oh, it will. You just have to believe, Chet. Believe. You have to believe. Believe. 
believe in the me that believes in you, that believes in the ball. Alright. I can't shoot it again. If I shoot it again, it'll die. It's too close. Nat 20, you get a 1 in 3. That's correct. There's the nat 20. Failed. We've had three failures like that. There's the nat 20. Failed. Believe in the me that believes in the power of the ball. That's right. We could do it. Believe, Chet. We have 201 spheres left. Nope. It's that's three one and threes or five one and threes. We failed now. I believe. I believe. I got hit. Into space with you. Oh. Oh. We got him. Thank you for the belief, Chet. Thank you for the belief. You did it. Oh. <laughs> There's only one choice here, Chet. First, we need to talk to him. Just a friendly conversation. We need to buy things from him. Let's see what he's got. Anything good? Why, sir, I do believe that you only have garbage. Oh, we have ads. We get away for the ads. We have ads. We're waiting in the ads. We're waiting in the ads. Jeff Bezos has arrived. Yeah, I haven't made the stun stick yet. It took a lot of parts that I just didn't have. When are we getting poggers for the ad screen? Tomorrow. I'm gonna change it. It seems pretty polished, too. It is incredibly polished. We're getting what for the ad screen? Bezos. Hog Bezos. Have you not seen him? Any advice for my annual review? Don't overthink it, bud. You already know if you did well this year or not. You know you did. Oh, oh god, wait, sorry, that was... That shouldn't, that shouldn't be there, that's, that's private, let me just... Just get rid of that. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, don't, don't worry about that. Don't look at it, it's... Shh. Secret. All right, so, this man is selling us garbage. As such, his guard's lives are forfeit. If you make that noise, they can't hit you. It's true. Trees. 
the best defense against AK-47s. Don't do it. That's a mistake. I'll break your legs. That was a mistake. I warned you. I will warn you again. I have to kill your guard now. Oh, stop being a bodyguard to your bodyguard. I want to know what happens when I catch us. When I catch him. I have to know. I have to know. Believe, chat. We have 183 of these. We have to catch the wandering merchant. I don't know what happens when we do. He's gotta be good. Believe in the me. That believes in you. That believes in the ball. Alright? 1 in 50. It's 1 in 50 and then 1 in 3. There's 1 in 50! It's 1 in 50 and then 1 in 5. One in fifty, and then one in five. Yeah. Believe, chat. Believe. Oh. You just have to believe. Yeah. It's a oh. one in two hundred and fifty chance. Huh. One in two hundred and fifty chance, chat. Huh. Believe. Unlimited balls? No. 160 hit left. You believed. The wandering merchant is ours. I wonder if he still sells stuff in town. I wonder if he does. I actually have no idea what will happen. I don't know if he still sells things, because the other NPCs, when you when you capture them, actually still keep saying their lines. So I have no idea. Yeah, we got a new pal, dude. Shit. Shoot in the leg. Dead. Never mind. F. Catrices are really nasty. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. That's a. It's a mining node. <laughs> Sir. Thank you. Pretty nice. Pretty nice if I do say so myself. Pretty nice. Would you recommend this game so far? Yeah, I love it, dude. I mean... No, it's terrible what's happening to those cute little pals. You know, like, it's just... It's just awful, you know? Look what it's made me, making me do. So unethical? Nah, ethics. Is it unethical that we take chickens, which are descended from dinosaurs, and then farm them, and then turn them into meat products that are shaped like dinosaurs and then eat them? Because I love chicken nuggets. And I love my dino nuggets. It's unethical? Well... 
Why is being unethical so delicious? That's the question I have. It is disturbing. When you really think about it, it's kind of horrifying. Dino Nugget Recall? Is there actually? Is there unironically a Dino Nugget Recall right now? Some of these pals are thick. You've unlocked something within yourself right now. Well, that sucks. I don't actually have any Dino Nuggets. I haven't had a Dino Nugget. I actually haven't had... What? The, what? I haven't had a Dino Nugget in years. I haven't had a Chicken Nugget in years. Stop it. Don't you kill her. That's mine. I haven't had a Dino Nugget in a very, very... I haven't had a Chicken Nugget in, in years and years and years. Probably like 15 years. They recalled 30,000 pounds of Dino Chicken Nuggets? Well, maybe I'm happy I don't eat chicken nuggets, to be honest with you. Have you tried to catch a person yet? I have a lot of people. I have an entire farm. Filled with humans. I tried to breed them, but it won't let me, so I started merging them together to create a superhuman. It's been really interesting, actually. Yeah, I have a merchant now. I, I actually want to see if the merchant lets me keep interacting with it. Like, I want to know if I can buy things. I do. I have a whole farm. We actually have, like, a lot of, like, food production, and we have uh, ore production now, which is good. You actually build automation using your pals, and the human pals are really good at certain activities, but not everything. Yeah, it's only specific activities. Like, they're good at, like, crafting items, and I think that's it. They can't do anything else. Have you tried breeding humans? You can't. I tried. They don't have a gender. They're genderless. Yeah, it's not a thing. They're genderless and you can't pick them up, so you can't assign them. Yeah. The normal pals have genders. You play this game with friends? I currently am. Not a thing yet? I guess that's true. Mods will fix that. Yeah, they will. Do they reproduce asexually? I think humans in this game are actually mushrooms, to be honest with you, so maybe. I can see that. I am blind, apparently. I didn't know that could be a status effect. That's interesting. Like orcs. Yeah, they're like fungus. Just like the orcs. If you put them all inside of a, a box together and you feed them propaganda, they can become a wish machine. You know that? Yeah, believe, Chet. The Super Repel, it's a really good one, and I'm trying to get as many of them as possible. Catrices. They only show up at night and usually only in this part of the map. 4% chance to go into the second roll, which is then a 28% chance. So it's like 4% into a 1 in 4. Yeah. 1 in 25 into 1 in 4. So it's 1 in 100. Is there an endgame you know of? Yes. In fact, I've been there. And all the monsters are like level 40 plus, and they're horrifying. Is there 151 different pals? Got him. It's another Catrus. It's the third one I've gotten before. They're really good. They're really good. Ooh. Hold up. This is gonna get real ugly real fast. Give me my bullet. That one's down. That thing aimed.
multi-track drifting. Yeah. Oh, that's so rude. This 12 and 16% thing is starting to get old. I'm gonna die if I don't kill one of these. Fight him. Fight him inside the wall. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to die to poison, I think. Oh, didn't die to poison. Okay. I need... I need to go up here. What happens when you die? You drop all of your stuff. And you have to go get it back. Which is not the best. Amazed that work? Yeah, I mean, if it's gonna bug once, it's gonna bug twice. That's kinda how I felt about it. Yeehaw. Let me just stop having this be a thing. Someone called it Pokemon Silver? <laughs> People don't make any sense, dude. You have a bit of Peter Griffin thing going on with your voice sometimes? That's funny. Good. Maybe I want to. So Pokemon Red, White, and Blue. That is probably the best joke out of anyone that I've heard so far. You win the prize. A little bit of Pokemon America happening, which I think that's fine. What do they call you, Thor? It's my middle name. That's what I go by. I have since I was a kid, because it's my middle name. Why are there plants in both of these? Tomato seed. I think this will now allow me to make the thing. What was I trying to make? There was something I wanted to... Ah, the pistol. I can make a gun now. Wait. I need more ingots. Okay. Are you ready, chat? It's time for me to make another gun. Are you ready? Okay, I don't want him to be there. I need you with your tiny little hands. I think she has to finish harvesting this, which I don't like that she tries to harvest anyway. We have to finish the harvest. It's gonna help out so it goes faster. Okay, now we can pick her up. God, she's like ooze. They should let guns evolve? I mean, they do, technically. Yeah. Throw them there. No. Oh my god, dude. 
Well, I guess he's making it. You ever just... You just have to deal with a pal. You ever have to do that in your life? Oh, so he can take over. That's fine. Was that guy broken again? All right. So we have our mount, we have our flying mount, and we have our gliding mount. Gliding mount is ridiculously good. Check the merchant. Ah, yes, the merchant. Let's see. We're gonna set that to there. Wandering merchant. Oh. oh my god. I have to bring him inside here. You get out. You can no longer talk to him. I wonder if I have to set him up in the town, because I think the other one I had to set him up in the town. It's so cool having a wandering merchant, though. Oh my god. I can buy and sell at him at any time. Oh man. Oh man. It totally worked. Oh hell yes. Yeah, buy all of it, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the best. He doesn't even know what to do. He's like wiggling around wrong. This is fantastic. You work for me now. Yeah, exactly. What? What is hap- What are you- why are you underground and sad? Oh, this game sometimes. Where are the guns? Right here. So anyway, we're going to keep that dude there. What is he good at? Nothing. Okay, fantastic. And then... You are both dumb. There we go. Help stepfather, I am stuck, yes. Now you get assigned to do this. I really only need her to do stuff when I assign it anyway. Stuff like this. Is tomorrow going to be a standard day? Yeah, tomorrow's going to be a standard day. It'll be a normal day tomorrow. We'll go back to doing the queue and doing everything normal tomorrow. Uh, we will not play Power World tomorrow as much as we all want to. As much as we want to. I have work to do. I have things I have to get done. I just want to see what it's like to wield a handgun in this game. That's it. Next. Text 23 with 500 bits said my company offers DevOps training, Google Professional Cloud Security Cert or Azure Security Engineer Associate Cert. I have no experience in any of this. Do you have experience in this? For Google Cloud Security Cert or Azure Security Engineer Associate, I think we were talking about that earlier being a DevOps security thing. That's not something I've ever had to deal with. I'm offensive security. I'm red team. So that's not my side of the house, and I don't really know much about it, unfortunately. I wish I did, because that might be more helpful for you. But yeah. How World is a top-selling game on Steam worldwide now? No shit. Maybe I will just play it tomorrow. How long have you been playing and you finally got the handgun? A lot. We have played a lot, dude. The tech tree takes a long time. It's not as simple as you would think. Yeah. The game is, is very deep. Time played? I don't know. Let me go look. Twenty two point five hours. It's a lot. Yeah, there's a sphere launcher. It lets you shoot from very far distances. I don't need to do that. I just throw. Yeah.
I did it. I made a handgun. <laughs> Something about that just feels so out of place. Alright. It doesn't do as much damage as our boomstick musket. But it reloads... It's gonna reload really fast, so... It's just a gun, dude. It's a gun. What do you have? I have a gun. Handgun ammo. How do I make handgun ammo? I don't even know how to make it, actually. Handgun ammo. I need gunpowder. That's it? Every five shots? Really? Okay, so this is a little bit weird. Coarse ammo, which is what is used for our musket, is 10 shots per one ingot. Handgun ammo is 5 shots per one ingot. Coarse ammo does dramatically more damage than handgun ammo does. So that's a little bit weird, right? I feel like it should do more damage than that. The World Lara Croft style? Maybe. The reload is kind of cool. It's crap? I don't think it's crap. I just think it's interesting. It's kind of... It's a sidearm, I guess. It is definitely a sidearm. But, like... Nothing's really gonna beat that. You know what I mean? What is Skilled Fingers? Skilled Fingers lets them build uh, weapons. Yeah, they can actually build weapons much faster. Faster speed for specifically weapon crafting. They have tiny, weird child hands. It's creepy. <sighs> Updates should make upgradable weapons? I don't know. Maybe five magazines? I, I feel like it should just be more ammo. Like, give me like 20 ammo for a pistol, if that makes sense. Okay. <sighs> Massivist and clumsy, F. Be doing a 32 player server I will be so we're gonna be setting one up to do that all right here we go I'm understanding the appeal of the pistol I understand yeah they raided me NPC raids. They happen all the time. Yeah, it's all DPS. It's DPS on, like, softer targets. Oh, my armor broke. Very nice. Well, that's not great. Is this game worth a try? I believe so. It's very fun. Are VPNs really useless for cybersecurity? If you're using a VPN as a security solution, you're using a VPN incorrectly. That is not what they are for. They are there for you to change geolocation, not anything more. That's it. You're not keeping your traffic more safe. You're not pulling a fast one on your ISP. Your ISP knows you're using a VPN. And if anybody wants to find out if you are using it for nefarious deeds they can always subpoena it and they can get the information from your isp and then from your vpn it is just a shell within a shell 
poor. 50% of the exit nodes in poor are owned by the FBI. We had the same conversation yesterday. Nothing you're doing is untracked. Sorry to say. The internet I grew up on is not the internet you get to grow up on. That's it. VPNs can definitely keep you safe. Literally just said that to be subpoenaed. Said it had to be subpoenaed. Yeah, so does your ISP. It's exactly the same. The difference is your ISP, some of them, get kickbacks. That make it so that it's easier for them to do that process before getting subpoenaed. That's not keeping you safe. It's just with extra steps. If they're actually going after you, they're going to do it either way. It's not going to keep you more safe. It's not going to do anything, actually. So, enjoy pirating until they go after you? Like... Yeah, a VPN is equivalent to wearing a mustache and glasses to in public to protect your identity. Bingo. Yep. What about Molvad, who doesn't that doesn't keep logs? If they're not keeping logs and they're in a jurisdiction where they have to, that's their problem. Also, a lot of them that say that they don't keep logs actually do. And I know that because I've been in offensive security for 20 years, and it's come up quite a lot when you want to catch somebody that's doing something quite bad, and suddenly they have logs. Always interesting. Mulvet has a proven track record of not storing logs. Mid arrest requested more than once, hand them over, and they never do. Well, I'm interested in what happens on the ISP side then, because the ISP can see that you're using a VPN. They know that you are. And if they have any way to determine that you're using Mulvet, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to shut down your service as a result of that. I don't know if that's happened in the past, but likely that would be the, the correct course of action on the ISP side. If they refuse to work with law enforcement, that ends up being a liability for the ISP, and they got to go forward with that. What are you using Tails for accessing the web? What specifically are you doing? That's really what that comes down to. In a USA, at least a VPN will protect you from getting pesky copyright complaints for casual torrenting. No, it actually won't. So something you have to remember is this. When you are v using a VPN, your ISP knows you are using a VPN. They may not be able to see the traffic that's in there, but they know you're doing something suspicious, generally. If you had a track record of, of doing piracy before that, and then you switch over to a VPN, they now have a basis for going after you to find out what's going on, and if law enforcement ever contacts them, they will give up that you are using a VPN and which one you are using. What works. You can, you can disagree all you want. This is my bread and butter, man. That's not evidence for anything, though. It's evidence enough for them to drop support for you. As a customer, they can drop support for you at any time. There are plenty of legit reasons to use a VPN, but everybody wants to center on the idea that somehow they're safer using a VPN. But in reality, what they're trying to say is that it's harder to catch them pirating things over VPN. That's not safety. That's not security. And that's not what we're talking about. It's just you trying to be like, I, I'm more secure pirating this w movie because I'm using a VPN. No. No. You are just trying to stay hidden from your ISP. That's what you're doing. I don't know why this comes up every day. It is outrageously hilarious to me. No, not getting heated. Just, it's... It is deeply depressing to me that VPN advertisement has worked so well to basically confuse people about how it works, where they believe that it is a security feature, when in reality it is not a security feature. Not, not whatsoever. There's nothing inherently increasing your security by using a VPN. And I find that to be deeply distressing, and the general internet doesn't understand this. Yeah. If your ISP is worse than your VPN, then it's a security feature. No, it's not. That's not what a sec Oh, God. They don't understand what security means. What does increase security? Using two-factor on all of your accounts and never using the same password twice. Pretty basic shit. No. VPNs do not increase your security. They make you obfuscated and they allow you to appear in a different geolocation based on the settings that you've provided. 
It is also not stopping your ISP from knowing you're using a VPN. <laughs> They're a security blanket and a security of the name. It's always strange to me that people are like, oh, it keeps me more secure, so my ISP doesn't know I'm downloading, I'm not torrenting stuff. No, your ISP knows you're using a VPN. They know you switch on a VPN at a certain time of day to do certain activities and then switch off of it. They know you have a pattern of behavior for doing that stuff. They know that at any time, if they're ever subpoenaed, they will let, your, let the police know that you are using this stuff. 100%. And if they are under a, an amount of suspicion that you are using illegal services over that VPN, then they will absolutely cut your connection. That being said, all of this aside, none of that is security feature. None of that has anything to do with security whatsoever. None of it. Not a single bit of it has anything to do with security. That has everything to do with obfuscation, which is all a VPN is good for. Changing the location that you appear in the general world based on your IP address. It's just obfuscation, not security. It is obscurity, not security. So stop saying it's a security feature, because it's not a security feature. It never will be. Never has been, never will be. Hello, my name is Thor. I've been a hacker for 21 years. I have three black badges from DEF CON. My last job was hacking power plants for the federal government. A VPN is not a security feature. It is there to obscure your traffic. It does not keep you more secure. Dear God, you clowns. Outrageous to me. Always outrageous to me. Why do you think I don't pitch VPN shit? And I never will. No, it's not ego. It's fact. That's my job. I know this wheelhouse better than anyone. And the fact that there are people that out there believe that somehow a VPN is keeping them more inherently secure means that the general internet and the advertising therein has fooled them to a degree that they are dumber as a result of these companies existing. And I won't stand for it. <laughs> Blows me away, dude. What about antivirus? The only thing you really need as a general user is, uh, like, all, all you need is Windows Defender and maybe a spot check system like Malwarebytes. If you really think that there's an issue. That's all. Malware, like, you, you'd be amazed. Anybody who works in the security like space, anybody who's working in malware, they know Windows Defender is king. It's actually fantastic. Bonkers to a lot of people. Yeah, Defender's come a very long way. It's incredibly good. And you might want to use something like Malwarebytes if you have a spot check. I, what I generally do is, is like, if a kid goes and downloads one of our games illegally, like they pirate it, uh, we, have an, we have a self-reporting pirate system, and they'll go and report it to us, and they're like, hey, I got this error, and I'm like, oh, you pirated it. And they're, and they're like, oh, and I'm like, don't worry about it. I sit him down, I walk him through the process of turning on Windows Defender, making sure that everything is working correctly. We go and get MBAM, we, we use MBAM to do a spot check on their computer, clean up the machine, and then I give him a key for the game. Happens all the time. And it's mostly for me to teach younger, the younger generation about how this shit is actually dangerous. That's it. And it works every time. And then they leave it going, oh wait, maybe I shouldn't download shit on LimeWire, which no one did for us when I was a kid. ta -da. Easy stuff. There was no one there to catch us, so I get to catch them. Limewire was the best, dude. Seems disingenuous to say obfuscating your traffic is no value. Where in there did I say obfuscating your traffic is no value? You clearly need to pull the wax out of your ears. I said it's not a security feature. It's not a security feature. Not that it has no value. You need to listen. Yeah. It's not a security feature. It's an obscurity feature. And it will always be an obscurity feature. Would you consider using VPN to add encryption to your traffic on an insecure Wi-Fi network security? No. I would never use an insecure Wi-Fi network security. Ever. I don't use public Wi-Fi for a reason. Ever at all. Whatsoever. Under any circumstances. And the reason why is because I know how a Wi-Fi pineapple works. I can just set up a Wi-Fi pineapple in any mom and pop shop. I can do it at any Starbucks that I want to, and take every single piece of secure, every single piece of traffic that goes through there through man-in-the-middle attacks. And I've done it before because that was my job to do so. I don't use public Wi-Fi. I never use public Wi-Fi. 
I don't use my phone for anything for secure traffic in any case at all whatsoever. I don't do that over phone networks. I don't do it over telecom in any way. I don't log into my, my bank over my phone. And I never will. That's how that works. There's no point for that. I want to eat the greener grass, but the farmer might see me. What are you talking about, Taffy Day? It's security in the same way as saying you live in number 11, and in reality in number 9, and a tiny bit of security is obscure. It's, yeah, it's, it's people trying to be secure through obscurity. But no, I don't use public Wi-Fi stuff. I know too much about that stuff. I've, I've worked in that field for too long to want to deal with that. And I have the devices, and I've used the devices on sites throughout my career to know that it's not safe to do these things. So I don't. Then I don't have a problem. What is Thor? It's a distributed network, allowing you to jump between nodes that are run by individuals to obscure your traffic. And 50% of the exit nodes are run by the FBI. It's not keeping you secret. <laughs> Never has. Hasn't for a long time. How do you think they caught the people from Silk Road? Like, Silk Road was one of the largest drug trafficking rings in the world, and it was all run over Tor, and they caught them. Multiple times, by the way. It's not security. It's obscurity. It always has been. It's just more and more layers of s obscurity. Oh. Too many wa people watching too many YouTube videos. <laughs> Silk Road way deeper than Tor? No, Silk Road... Silk Road was hosted... The, the front-end marketplace of Silk Road was hosted on Tor, my dude. What? What do you mean, way deeper than Tor? It's way deeper than Tor, guys. It's in the deeper web. Do you even know what the deeper web is? It's called a mesh net. Like, that's what that is. <laughs> what are you talking... What is... What is happening? Why are there so many armchair experts on this subject? It's one of the strangest things I've ever seen in my life. Have you used a hacker up? Yeah, I have one in my office. In fact, I think... Where is it? It might actually be in the other room. I think it's in the other room. Yeah, I have a hacker up. I like using it to listen to radio down here in the basement. It's quite funny. I do it over SDR. I think Tor and Thor are connected. It's very funny. Yeah, loads of guilty consciousnesses in chat, afraid that I am correct. <laughs> Unfortunately for them, I am. Oh, deeply distressing. Do you want to know my favorite... my favorite analog to this? My favorite thing ever was part of what my job was before. I'll turn the audio off for a second. Part of what my job was before was catching people that were botting in video games. Specifically when I worked at Blizzard, right? There were band waves that I put through that had 60 to 100,000 bands at a time. Uh, in my time there, I banned over 2 million accounts. Had a blast doing it. Loved doing it. And each time we would do these band waves, we'd actually go on to places like Owncore, read all the crying in the forums, and then eat pizza while laughing at it. Not even a joke. It was deeply funny. We had, we had parties every single time. We had a massive band wave. So the part that always made me laugh is every single one of the bot makers would try to advertise the exact same thing to the users. And it was... This is not injected into the client. Ever. They always said this is not injected. This is out of process every single time to try and trick those people into thinking that they were somehow secure from being detected. Every single one of them injected into the client. What that means is it's actually adding a code cave written in assembly directly into the code of the client. Well, once you're in the client, you're in my house, in my living room, and I can see you standing there. And now I have you. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. And that's it. That's how that works. So, this is the same shit all over again. It's exactly the same shit all over again. It's, oh, you're deeply, deeply secure from all the hackers and bad guys out there. No, you're not. You're just obscure. You're being placed in a different part of the world. In a different location. That's it. That's all it is. You shouldn't be using a VPN if you think it's going to stop you from getting viruses. It's not how it's going to work. Or malware. You can still download malware over a VPN. The only thing it's going to let you do is pirate stuff until you pirate too much, and then your ISP actually gives you up to the cops. Normal shit. Yeah. Normal shit. Uh, 
I like how it's all exploding now. I took a cybersecurity class in college. I wish we had more of those classes. Yeah. I think there's a lot of stuff out there that people just don't know. They just don't understand how this works. It wasn't just because DPR had te terrible OPSEC, Taffina. It's also because all of those exit nodes exist. After all of that went down, after everything happened with Silk Road, FBI started setting up its own exit nodes for Tor. They own fi no, roughly 50% of them for Tor, which means that they can deobfuscate your IP when you're using Tor. And it's a normal thing. It's a, it's a super normal thing to understand that. Like, a really, really normal thing. And, like, I, I find that a, a lot of this knowledge isn't even esoteric. It's just right there and no one is searching for that they just want to believe that they're like a secret hacker man on the internet and that's not how this works like that's not how it works at all you live in a time where it's it's way easier to detect and track you than any other time in history the, like you didn't you didn't get to grow up in the time that i grew up in which is where people could actually be hidden on the internet it's not really a thing anymore frankly it hasn't been for a long time. And <laughs> I think it's funny because people want to like hark back to their like, I'm a secret hacker man. I can do whatever I want because I'm on a VPN. Dude, the, the joke used to be, good luck, I'm behind seven proxies for a reason. We made fun of people that acted like that, and now it's the standard. That was We made fun of people that acted like that 15 years ago, and now it's the standard. It's even dumber now because now it's monetized. You're buying it. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It's never made any sense. That's a Mudahar. Mudahar's cool. Like his shit. Love his shit, actually. But you almost touch on it? Is there not a bit of security obscurity? No. Obscurity is not security. Ever. At all. Obscurity can never be considered security. Just because you make it more secret doesn't mean it's more secure. They are completely separate concepts. And that's something that you have to really understand if you are working in the security space. I'll give you a really good example of this. Back when I was on, on or at Blizzard, they kept trying to keep things secret inside of, like, World of Warcraft releases. And they kept leaking. The WoW releases kept leaking. And the way that they kept leaking is because players would find the information on the CDN, the Content Delivery Network. And every single time, the WoW team would come to me and go, what can we do to hide this better? And I said, stop putting that shit on the CDN. And they go, oh. And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, but the, the name is really long and obscure. Yeah, and they found it every time you've done this. So stop putting it in the CDN. Okay, we'll do that. And they never did. And they just kept doing it and doing it and doing it. Until finally, I became the lead of application security for Battle.net. And then they finally listened to me and they stopped doing it. <laughs> Security through obscurity is not security, and it never has been. It never will be at all. Whatsoever. Anyway, I'm going to go shoot Palmons. <laughs> oh, man. I think I have all my stuff now. Make some meat? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Butcher repel? I don't need to butcher one. I think I just need to make all these berries. I feel like I don't have enough dudes doing this. Where did the dudes go? Game audio is muted. Let me fix it. Yeah, I find it to be a really interesting thing, though, is this, this topic keeps coming up. And it's people who want to valiantly fight for a service that they're paying money for to do something that they shouldn't be doing, thinking that they are somehow absolved of the crime because they pay $15 a month or whatever the hell it is. And it, it doesn't make any sense. It's never made any sense. And you're just running the risk of being a dumbass. That makes no sense. It's very stupid. And no, it's not making you more secure. It's just making you more obscure. That's it. I use my VPN to watch British TV on YouTube. Valid use of that shit. VPN is great if you want to change your geolocation. 
That is totally fine. That's a great use of that. That's it. In fact, that's probably one of the best uses of it outside of interacting directly with a private network, a private network for work, things like that. That's about it. And I would only do that over a secure home network that you have full control over to connect to a private network that is a secured network outside of that. And even then, that still introduces risk because it's still binding that network to your home network. That is still going to introduce risk, which is why we have extra steps in place to VLAN those people out when they're connected to that. That's all. That's the whole point for that. Ta-da! Used to pen test power plants? Yes, I did. I had power plants for the federal government. I can't tell you anything about it. Outside of that I did that. Yeah, getting around region lock content is totally fun. That's exactly what VPNs do. That's a pretty standard practice for that. And whether that's good or bad or negative or positive is kind of up in the air, right? It's it's an ethics and morals thing at that point. But that is what it is. Hobby hacker. Jesus Christ. Would you go to jail? No, it's my job. I did this legally for two decades. Why well, can't we go to nuclear energy? We should. It's the cleanest. Ridiculously so. I also have three black badges from DEF CON, which is a uh, hacking convention in Vegas every year. Can I see your base? Dude, what? Legally boring. Yeah, no, uh, here's here's how legally hacking stuff works. Um, I got to make a lot of money, and then I got to sleep at night. It was pretty nice, actually. <laughs> like, to be real with you, you don't have to do this stuff illegally anymore. When I was a kid, there was no options for that, but now there is. In fact, part of my Discord is specifically there to train you guys in this stuff, to teach you this stuff. If you go onto our Discord which is discord.gg slash pirate software. We have a role in here called, what do you want? You want to learn a specific seal? Click hack it. And then if you come down to this role, if I can find the damn thing, I can see all the channels. You don't have to see this many. There's so many in here. And you click on resources. We have a ton of resources for you to learn this stuff. You'll notice something really quickly is that the hacking community really wants to share information with you. Like a ton of information with you. Everything. We want you to learn this stuff. We want you to learn it because you're going to be more secure, and maybe we get another cool hacker that gets to go do cool stuff and keep the planet a little bit safer. That's the whole point. That's the entire point. Yeah, try hack me is awesome, dude. That's the whole point. So, like, this is what we do. Also, Lana, thank you for the raining party of 374. You you appeared in the middle of a rant. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Yeah. Cool beans. Yeah, this is this is to teach you stuff. And if you ever need to ask anything, I'm always around. And there's a lot of other hackers that are around, too. People from the Psychoholics, which are the people that I compete with at DEF CON. They're on my team, right? They're awesome people. People that I trust more than anything else. A lot of them are in chat many times a day. So, people that are good at different stuff. My general wheelhouse is controller physical access control systems, which is breaking and entering. Wi-Fi related, related vulnerabilities, web-related vulnerabilities, and social engineering. Gurn, who's in the community, does a whole bunch of stuff with malware and reverse engineering stuff. And then Crux does a whole bunch of stuff with electronics and many, many other things. Everybody on the team has different skills that does all kinds of different stuff. And they're fantastic. There's a lot of us. So, Yeah, Discord's mad. Let me review the alert. Hey, look. Market has resolved. Normal human beings. Fantastic. There's 64,000 of you now, by the way. Boop. There we go. Yeah, you broke Discord. Happens all the time. What would you recommend for a beginner? Game designers? Uh, I have a website called develop.games. You can actually find it here. It'll crash the moment that I show this to you because people will flood into it. But develop.games is actually the website that I build to give you as much information as possible about making video games. And it's everything from who am I, what skills are required, how to pick a genre, how to build a team, what tools are needed. Fun fact, there is no best engine. Um, how to finance all of this, how to market everything, where to launch your game and why. Everything is on there. That's it. That's all it is. Is the VPN protect your IP being leaked? Yes. Generally. Because the VPN is going to obscure that. Remember, the VPN is obscuring your exit location. That exit location is then going to go into that VPN and then pass back to you. There are ways to get around that if somebody is clever, but it is adding an extra layer for that. Does that matter, though? Not really. Yeah. IP getting leaked these days is not really that big of a deal most of the time. People come after you, and that's fine. You just go and change it. Contact your ISP and be like, I want a new one. They're like, cool, let me reprovision. It's a pretty normal thing. Think we took down Hack the Site? I'm not surprised. 
Yeah. I am not surprised that Hack This Site is down. Hack This Site is one of my favorites. Fantastic website. Tons of different challenges. Lots of cool shit. AT&T won't change it? Ooh. Internet through AT&T. That's rough. That's rough, dude. Can I get, connect to a VPN if my ISP blocked it? See that right there? You see that? If it's so obscure, then how is the ISP blocking it, chat? Hmm. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> Literally the same thing I was just talking about. Oh my god, dude. ISP's in your network. Who knows? Yeah, they guessed and got it right, definitely. AT&T Fiber isn't bad? I didn't actually know they had a fiber service. If they do, that's a good thing. Uh, we need more fiber, to be honest with you. One of the things, like, I live in Washington, and one of the biggest problems that we have here in Washington is, like, lots of technology, very little, very little fiber. The fiber network here is pretty grim, actually. It's very few locations have, have good fiber here. A lot of the state is just kind of devoid of that, and it's sad. It's, like, really shitty. Used to be Uverse. It switched over to, like, CenturyLink, and then CenturyLink now has, like, a sub-company called, like, Quantum or some shit. And they moved everything over to Quantum, which is weird. 